As the morning alarm clock rang, he woke up in a daze. At this time, his eyes were lifeless and his pupils were slightly dilated. But soon after, his pupils suddenly contracted, reflecting something as red as blood. The man who was still in a daze, now woke up completely. He jumped out of bed. At this time, Fu Wang Hu looked up at the ceiling. He saw dense lines of blood-colored characters on it. The bright red characters were distorted, like tadpoles swimming, looking very strange. He found himself extremely surprised and confused. His face was covered in sweat and a little angry. What's going on? Which bastard wrote on the ceiling of my house? At that moment, the bright blood-colored characters gradually disappeared. He couldn't believe his eyes and rubbed them hard. Was he dreaming? The words just now were so clear and real. But just after waking up, Fu Wang Hu didn't think much. When he was about to get out of bed, he subconsciously looked around. Suddenly, his whole body froze as if struck by lightning. He couldn't believe his eyes when he looked at the strange room in front of him, trying to find something familiar. But everything was strange to him. Where is this? Why am I sleeping here? What's going on? I didn't drink last night, nor did I go to the wrong door. I clearly remember that I went home, ate a bowl of instant noodles, watched a movie, and went to bed tired. But now, the instant noodle box at the head of the bed and the used tissues from last night have all disappeared. At that moment, a series of chaotic and unfamiliar memories flooded into his mind. They were all orphans of similar age, and similar in appearance, but their lives were completely different. This time, he hugged his head tightly, his face showing fear, sweat dripping down his face. His head felt like it was going to explode. After a while, Fu Wang Hu came back to his senses, looking at his hands in a daze. Could it be that he had crossed over to a parallel world? Entered the body of another Fu Wang Hu? At this moment, he was very confused, not understanding what was going on. Even if he had really crossed over, what were the blood-colored words just now? He searched his memory but couldn't find any relevant information. This made Fu Wang Hu feel very uneasy. The strange blood-colored words just now did not exist at all in the memory of the original owner. Could it be that what he had just seen was true? Just then, a woman's gentle voice suddenly came over. Honey, wake up and have breakfast. She leaned lazily against the door, wearing a silk suspender nightgown. With a very charming figure, she quickly ran to Fu Wang Hu's side. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu was stunned, standing still. Could it be that Fu Wang Hu in the parallel world was already married? At this time, the woman had sat down on the edge of the bed, looking at Fu Wang Hu gently. Honey, are you awake? Get up and have breakfast. Fu Wang Hu saw the food in front of him, and suddenly felt that crossing over was not so bad. He swallowed, if I hadn't crossed over, how could I have such a beautiful and gentle wife? Seeing that Fu Wang Hu still didn't respond, her face was as gentle as water. She spoke softly again, Honey, you awake? Have breakfast. Fu Wang Hu hurriedly tried to reply, because when communicating with others, if you don't respond within two seconds, it would be very impolite. But at this moment, he didn't know what to call her. Wife? Honey? Or darling? Then his face flushed red. Or should he call her good girl? After a brief ideological struggle, he finally decided to call her name, which was the most appropriate. Perhaps the memory of the original owner was still in his brain. Immediately, he cleared his throat, folded his two fingers together, closed his eyes and began to search. He tried to recall the memory of this wife. However, something terrible happened. No wife's name. No dating process. No hobbies. No favorite love positions. Nothing. There was not even such a person in his memory. Thinking of this, Fu Wang Hu immediately collapsed, feeling the blood in his body freeze. His heart skipped a beat. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu lowered his head slightly, not daring to look at her. Fear appeared on his face again. So who is this woman who calls herself his wife? And the woman stood still, smiling at him gently. It had been more than two and a half seconds. The woman still had a gentle smile on her lips. The only strange thing was that her smile did not change from beginning to end, as if it were an exquisite white porcelain statue carved on the face of a beautiful woman. At this moment, for some reason, Fu Ang Hu no longer felt as gentle as before, but instead felt creepy. The warmth just now also began to turn cold. After a while of thinking, Fu Ang Hu looked at her, and with difficulty opened his mouth, Who are you? As soon as he finished speaking, the smile on the woman's lips suddenly changed. A look of extreme surprise flashed in her eyes. The gentle smile on her face suddenly became exaggerated. Her originally fair and smooth skin now cracked incessantly. In the blink of an eye, countless dense black cracks appeared all over her body. From her mouth came a suffocatingly joyful sound. You can see me. Immediately, Fu Wang Hu felt as if he had fallen into an ice cave. 
cold sweat pouring down his face. For a moment, his mind was in chaos. I'm sorry, my mind is a little confused. Let me think again. But the woman did not give him a chance, and opened her mouth wide towards Fuang Hu. A non-human roar came from her mouth, ha ha ha, you can see me. Fuang Hu's fear surged like a tide, and tears of old age immediately welled up. His body froze in place. Immediately afterwards, the black shadow of death came as promised. A big mouth directly covered Fuang Hu's head. His head was eaten alive by the woman on the spot. Then an unimaginable pain hit his whole body. He had died many times, and each time he died in a different way. But after he died, he would always return to the starting point. However, the next second, the space around him began to shatter like a piece of glass. Everything returned to nothingness. He found himself screaming in horror, gasping for breath, and once again waking up in bed. At this moment, he was covered in sweat, with a look of bewilderment on his face. What the hell had happened? Just now, hadn't he died? Or was he dreaming? But at this moment, he once again paid attention to the ceiling. The blood-colored words he had just seen appeared on it again. Don't let them know you can see them. These words were like an alarm bell, also making him realize that what had just happened was not a dream. And these blood-colored words, under his gaze, suddenly began to disappear slowly. At this moment, he couldn't believe it, and couldn't figure it out after thinking about it a hundred times. Was this sentence reminding him, telling him to pretend to be blind? But think Thinking about it again, it didn't seem right. The original owner of this body was not blind, he was just an ordinary person. Moreover, there was no memory of him having a wife, he had always lived alone, and had never heard or seen any unusual movements. Therefore, the meaning of the sentence just now must be not to let his wife know that he could see her, just pretend that he was the only one in the house, and completely ignore the existence of his wife. At this moment, a gentle voice like water came from outside the bedroom. Still those words, those words, honey, are you awake? Get up and have breakfast. The voice was so gentle, so affectionate. However, to Fuang Hu, how affectionate it was. However, for Fuang Hu, it only brought fear. He tried to suppress his fear, and kept thinking in his heart, that perhaps, just like the original owner of the body, if he chose to ignore her and live a normal life, he would not be killed. So he suppressed the fear in his heart, lowered his head, and tried to pretend not to see his wife, as the blood-colored words had reminded him. But who would have thought that this wife would not play by the rules, and directly squatted down to stare at Fuang Hu? For a moment, their eyes met, and the air seemed to freeze. At this moment, Fuang Hu appeared calm on the outside, but his heart was already in turmoil. He clenched the bed sheet tightly, trying to calm himself down, and kept telling himself not to move, not to look. But at this moment, his wife once again used her ultimate move, and directly twisted her head 180 degrees. Seeing this, Fuang Hu gritted his teeth, and cold sweat poured down his face. Damn it, how is this possible? Before he could react, his wife had already stuck out her 40 meter long tongue, and kept licking his face. This action also made Fuang Hu lose his composure immediately. His wife also realized this, you can see me. In the next second, blood splattered everywhere, and Fuang Hu died once again. Not long after, Fuang Hu gasped for breath again, awakening from his fear. At this moment, he clenched his fists, gritted his teeth, and cursed, damn it. Then he held his head in his hands, trembling, not knowing what to do. What the hell was going on? Was this a cycle of death and rebirth? Or was it like in the movies, an infinite loop? No matter how many times he died, he would always return to the starting point, just like saving a file in a single player game. After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu tried to calm himself down, and then his mind quickly started working. Just now, when he had lowered his head and not looked at her, she had taken the initiative to approach him. This further proved that she must have confirmed that he could see her before she attacked, so he reached for his phone, intending to use short videos to divert his attention. At the same time, his wife appeared behind him, honey, get up and have breakfast. Fuang Hu's back was already drenched in sweat. Suddenly, his wife bent down slightly to look at his phone, and said, Honey, how could you watch other women in front of me? Have you stopped loving me? However, Fuang Hu was already cursing in his heart, love my ass. He tried to overcome the fear in his heart, and continued to watch the video indifferently. This time, he had learned from his previous experience, though he deliberately brought the phone as close as possible, almost to the point of sticking it to his face. Suddenly, his wife whispered in his ear, Honey, I remember you're not nearsighted. Why are you holding your phone so close? Can you see me? Hearing this, Fuang Hu's heart skipped a beat, and cold sweat dripped down his cheeks. Could it be that he couldn't even do anything unusual? But seeing that his wife didn't attack him directly after saying this, 
He breathed a sigh of relief. Then he once again tried to calm himself down. And then swiped to the next video. But at this moment, his vision suddenly froze. It turned out that the young woman in the video was his wife. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu was both shocked and furious, damn it. Immediately, he jumped up from the bed, and threw the phone away. But at this moment, his wife, who was beside him, had already approached him. He saw her ferocious face. Her skin cracked, and her mouth kept repeating one sentence, you can see me. After saying that, she opened her bloody mouth wide at Fu Wang Hu. But this time, Fu Wang Hu did not sit and wait for death, but roared, I can see my ass. At the same time, he clenched his fists and punched her, but his wife did not flinch, and directly dodged to the side. Immediately afterwards, she opened her bloody mouth wide again, and bit off his arm. In an instant, the whole room was filled with screams. At this moment, his wife wrapped her tongue around his arm, and enjoyed it with a satisfied expression. Fu Wang Hu seemed to have accepted this outcome. There was no longer any fear on his face like before, but a sense of calmness. This time, I'm going to be eaten. Ha ha, then what will happen next time? At present, Fu Wang Hu has been resurrected six times, but he is still terrified by his wife's sudden approach. Approach. Then Fu Wang Hu will be eaten. These times, he died because of bad acting, and died because he could not control his instinctive reactions. After waking up again, Fu Wang Hu had lost all reason. The tragic scene of his last death was still clear in his eyes, and now he seemed to go crazy and stuck his head out of the iron bars. With a look of horror, he shouted, Ah, damn it, save me, let me out. But the beautiful wife smiled and walked out, you can see me. It was predictable that he would be eaten. While Fu Wang Hu had died eight times, during that time, Fu Wang Hu always wanted to escape, but he couldn't, so he decided to smash the vase. Since it was unavoidable, he would choose to enjoy it. In the countless times of dying and coming back to life, he also received the memories of the owner of this body, and also understood what kind of world this was. The only difference from his previous life was that this world was obviously more strange and bizarre. After Fu Wang Hu died 18 times, the surroundings became unusually quiet. 18 times. Immediately afterwards, he began to think, why can I die and come back to life countless times? Who wrote the blood-colored words on the ceiling? Why did the blood-colored words disappear after I saw them? What are they? Are they all ghosts? Are they all caused by them? It seems that my wife is one of them. She's a ghost. Thinking of this, Fu Wang Hu made a decision, as long as I'm alive, my wife must die. At this moment, his wife walked towards the bedroom again, and the familiar voice rang out again. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu did not flinch. Having died 18 times, he was now very clear. The so-called breakfast was not for him to eat at all, but to turn him into breakfast. Suddenly, he discovered something. Every time his wife woke Fu Wang Hu up, she never made any physical contact with him. Could it be that before she could confirm that he could see her, he could not make physical contact? Thinking of this, Fu Wang Hu decided to try it once. Immediately, he stood up and walked in front of his wife. Seeing this, his wife looked at him gently. Do you want to have breakfast first or do you want to eat me first? So, husband, you can see me, right? After saying that, she blushed and waited for Fu Wang Hu's reaction. Fu Wang Hu tested his previous thought, and resolutely walked through her body. At this moment, he was secretly delighted. Sure enough, she could only attack when she confirmed that he could see her. As for Fu Wang Hu, who was so busy with dying that he hadn't had time to eat, he went straight into the kitchen to fry eggs. Seeing this, his wife by his side was angry, husband, I've made breakfast for you, come and eat quickly. Fu Wang Hu was embarrassed and expressionless, and sighed, sure enough, the more beautiful a woman is, the more deceitful she is. To put it bluntly, you asked me to have breakfast, but in fact you didn't make anything. Very quickly, he finished making a sandwich. Fu Wang Hu planned to leave after finishing breakfast, and go out to find clues about his wife, and to search for the abnormalities of this world. Just then, his wife suddenly appeared on the dining table. At this moment, she smiled slyly at Fu Wang Hu, husband, why don't you eat the breakfast I made for for you. Could it be that you think my cooking skills are not good? For you? Is it because you think my cooking skills are not good enough? This time, Fu Wang Hu was not frightened by her sudden appearance, but ate on his own. After finishing breakfast, Fu Wang Hu went straight to the bedroom door. He had to get out of here. Only by getting out of here would he have a chance to take revenge. But just as he put his hand on the doorknob, his wife's beautiful face appeared on it again. Her eyes filled with sadness, husband, can you not go out? Can you stay home with me? Before she could finish her words, there was a click and the doorknob was twisted open. Fu Wang Hu calmly walked out of the bedroom, and then slammed the door shut. At this moment, the flames of hatred were burning fiercely within him. No one could kill me 18 times and still be at large. 
It was hatred for his wife, and hatred for being killed 18 times. After thinking it over, he resolutely walked down the stairs. But at this moment, he suddenly realized that the surroundings were eerily quiet. It was broad daylight, but there was no one around. But he didn't think much about it at the moment. All he could think about at this moment was one thing, and that was revenge. He had to find a way to destroy the ghost, destroy the ghost, and then go back and kill her. Very quickly, he walked through the old and dilapidated dark stairs, and the green door appeared before Fuang Hu. He slowly pushed open the single door, and the sunlight that had not been seen for a long time shone in through the crack of the door. Next, he stepped outside, and rushed into the sunny world outside. But suddenly, Fuang Hu's whole body froze in place, and his blood almost froze. At this moment, his whole body was enveloped in sunlight, but he no longer felt any warmth. He looked at the outside world with lifeless eyes, and unconsciously muttered, as this hell? He could only see that on this street. In the sky, there were all kinds of strange and ferocious creatures. Looking everywhere, they were everywhere, flooding everywhere. The scene before his eyes was extremely strange and terrifying, but it was not enough to make him collapse mentally. On the contrary, it made him laugh. His laughter was extremely distorted and resentful, making people's hair stand on end. At this moment, he saw this strange world, and for some reason, he suddenly felt that this world was very interesting. At this moment, he realized that his laughter could attract the attention of the ghosts, so he hurriedly covered his mouth with his hand, but the distorted laughter could not be suppressed, and it kept spilling out from between his fingers. Fingers. The resentful laughter made him cough incessantly, to the point of vomiting. Immediately afterwards, he leaned against the electric pole and vomited continuously. At the same time, a child's voice rang out, Uncle, what's wrong? Are you sick? The little girl who suddenly appeared made Fuang Hu's pupils suddenly dilate. He saw that the little girl had two pigtails, and looked only about four or five years old, and she was still sucking on a lollipop. Seeing this, he tried to suppress his smile, and tried to make himself look more gentle. It's okay, little girl. You can call me brother. After saying that, he couldn't help but reach out and stroke the little girl's head. The little girl was so cute. If only he had such a cute daughter, it would be great. However, in the next second, the little girl's cute face suddenly changed, becoming ferocious and baring her sharp fangs, and said a familiar sentence, you can see me. Fuang Hu was dumbfounded on the spot. Then he raised his head slightly and looked at the girl in front of him. He saw that the girl had become extremely large, and the lollipop in her hand had also turned into a white bone cane. She screamed crazily, crazily, you can see me. But this time, Fuang Hu was not afraid, but instead laughed laughed out loud, ha ha ha, how interesting, really too interesting, Huang Hu wiped away the tears from laughing, and then pointed at the little girl in front of him, compared to before, I still prefer your current appearance, because that way, when I kill you later, I won't have to worry about anything, at the same time, the little girl screamed crazily, crazily, and at the same time raised the cane in her hand, in the next second, the black shadow of the cane fell and enveloped Fuang Hu completely, but Fuang Hu was still smiling, strange things like you guys, there are so many of you, there's no need to worry that there will be a time when you'll be killed, this is really exciting, all of you must die, before he could finish his words, with a thunderous boom. Fuang Hu was directly smashed to pieces, and turned into a pile of minced meat. Very quickly, Fuang Hu woke up from his sleep again. At this moment, the madness on his face had disappeared, and instead, it was replaced by a calmness like still water. This was his familiar but strange beautiful wife who once again came to the bedside, and called him to get up for breakfast, and he repeated his previous actions, then left the house. He saw that at this moment, he had come to sit in a park outside. Not long after, the cute little girl from before appeared in front of him again. The only difference was that this time, the little girl was not holding a lollipop, but her face was full of sadness and tears. Uncle, I can't find my mother anymore. Can you take me home? At this moment, Fuang Hu did not answer, but instead observed his surroundings, lost in thought. He discovered that this world seemed to be filled with all sorts of ghosts, and these ghosts were divided into two types. One type looked strange, had no reason, and although they were aggressive, they were like air, and could not affect objects. The other type looked no different from humans, no different from humans. They stay by the target's side, pretending to be relatives or friends and talking to the target, and after receiving a response, they will attack, just like his dear wife, but even ordinary people, basically do not realize their existence, but they still wrap themselves around a person to play a role, why is that? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu was very suspicious. Suddenly, a flash of light flashed through Fuang Hu's mind, and a creepy thought came to him. 
Could it be that the ghosts are trying to integrate into human life? Thinking of this, he couldn't help but feel his mouth and tongue dry. So he rode his bicycle to the store to buy a drink. But after paying, when he looked at his phone, he found that all his money was only three digits. Immediately, he felt that he had to quickly find out the truth about this world. And then find a way to make money. Right now. Suddenly, there was a ting sound. The sound of a text message. It turned out that his boss was mentioning him in the work group. Fuang Hu, it's already afternoon now. Why haven't you come to work yet? How many times have you been late this month? Do you still want your bonus? Seeing this, Fuang Hu suddenly remembered that half a year ago, his former boss had sold a villa, and the commission had not been paid yet. If he could get this commission back, he could hold on for a while. Immediately afterwards, he typed on the screen, and saw that he had composed a message asking for a leave of absence, and at the same time said that he would go to the sales office to find his boss to ask for his commission. After saying that, he rode his bicycle to the sales office. Not long after, he stopped at his destination, but just a quick glance, and he was stunned. Looking at the gloomy building in front of him, his pupils suddenly constricted, and cold sweat trickled down his face. Where is this? Where is the sales office? Immediately afterwards, he got off his bicycle, and walked straight inside. He saw that there was still a sign hanging on the pillar, and on it were clearly written the six large characters, Tansun Mental Hospital. At this moment, Fuang Hu's phone suddenly rang. He only heard a worried and concerned voice from the other end of the line, Brother Hu, why did you just answer the phone? Did something happen to you? Fuang Hu told the other end of the line that nothing had happened, and confirmed. Are you guys at the company now? As soon as he finished speaking, an angry voice came from the other end of the line. That's right. Wu Dehai called you many times, but you didn't answer the phone. Now he's taking all his anger out on me, and he's making me work overtime. Fuang Hu said, I'll be right there. I'll talk to you later. After hanging up the phone, Fuang Hu stared at the mental hospital in front of him, lost in thought. It was clear that the entire building had turned into a gloomy mental hospital. But according to his colleagues, working inside was still not affected. Could this hospital also be haunted? This is really too interesting. At this moment, he decided to go inside to take a look. At present, there was only the sound of Fuang Hu's footsteps. However, the very next second, Fuang Hu showed a look of difficulty and let out a cry of pain, as if he had bumped into something. He couldn't believe his eyes as he looked at his hands. Could it be that this mental hospital was impossible to enter? But Fuang Hu didn't believe in bad luck, and immediately reached out his hand again. The very next second, there was a loud bang, and a soft and elastic feeling came over him. Taking a closer look at the two round buns, their plumpness and softness were striking. In a flash, Fuang Hu was greatly surprised, and his face turned slightly red. Immediately afterwards, a large and heavy hand slapped him in the face. At this moment, the woman held her chest, and cursed, you son of a bitch, I'll sue you. Meanwhile, Fuang Hu held his swollen face, looking bewildered. At this moment, the security guard at the checkpoint heard the noise and came out. Why is it so noisy? He also noticed Fuang Hu standing beside her. Oh, isn't this little Fuang? What are you doing here? At this moment, the woman had already run to the security guard, and began to talk non-stop about what had just happened. At this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention, but unconsciously turned his head to look towards the hospital. As a result, he discovered that the gloomy mental hospital had disappeared. In its place was the luxurious Bai Lu Academy. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was instantly stunned. Immediately afterwards, he unconsciously blinked. When he opened his eyes again, the mental hospital had reappeared. He looked around, lost in thought. What on earth is going on? Could it be that time is chaotic, and space is overlapping? Immediately afterwards, he reached out and touched it. As a result, an unbelievable scene occurred. The palm of his hand went straight through the wall. Seeing this, he had a guess in his heart. This mental hospital could be seen, but it could not be touched in reality. I'm afraid that it's just like those other ghosts, and can only act after receiving a response. As for the strange hospital room in front of him, it seemed that it could only be touched when a certain condition was met. So what is that condition? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu decided to test it out. Immediately afterwards, he put his hand back on the wall, and then, without hesitation, charged straight into the wall of the hospital room. At this moment, it was as if he had crashed into air, and he went straight inside. He saw that this place had gray walls, like the underworld. The walls and floors were covered with blood that had dried long ago. He looked at the horrifying scene in front of him, always feeling that this place must hide a great secret. Fuang Hu's only thought at this moment was to explore the secret in the mental hospital. He didn't take the normal path, but went straight through the wall. He passed through the hall, the dining room, the bathroom, 
the activity room, but there was not a single person in any of these places. Until he came to a hospital room, he couldn't help but stop in his tracks. This hospital room looked very special. The main door was dark red, and after passing through so many places, only the hospital room had a strong smell of blood. The hospital room had the number 104 written on it very prominently. At this moment, Fuang Hu had the urge to take a closer look. He walked to the door of the hospital room, put his hand in, and then, without hesitation, firmly walked through the door of the hospital room. In the blink of an eye, he was inside the hospital room. On the bed, a girl in a hospital gown was lying on the bed curled up, her whole body trembling as she sobbed. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked intently, as if he could not see the girl. Suddenly, the girl seemed to notice Fuang Hu, and then slowly stood up. The next second, she suddenly turned her head. The girl stared at Fuang Hu. Her eyes were empty and without eyeballs. One could even say that she had no facial features. Her mouth made a creepy sound. Big brother, come and play with me. But Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention to her, but walked straight ahead. The girl stood there in a daze. After Fuang Hu passed through hospital room 104, and had just passed through the wall, a four-eyed ghost with blood-red eyes suddenly appeared in front of him. But he was not afraid of this sudden appearance, but continued walking without stopping. At this moment, he showed no emotion at all. The four-eyed ghost looked at Fuang Hu with a puzzled expression. Until he left this hospital room, he continued to explore the hospital rooms here. Fuang Hu counted roughly and found that there were dozens of hospital rooms like this. Moreover, some of the hospital rooms had their doors wide open, and there was even the possibility that evil spirits could escape. Although he passed through these hospital rooms, he always encountered disgusting ghosts that came close to his face. Now Fuang Hu could face them calmly, and all of this was thanks to his wife's 18 consecutive kills. At this moment, he came to a doctor's office. There were some medical records and files on the floor. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was secretly pleased. With these documents, he might be able to get some useful information. Just then, he suddenly saw a medical record, on which was written experiment number 128 transformation into evil spirit. Seeing this, Fuang Hu's pupils suddenly constricted. Could it be that evil spirits were all transformed from humans? Could it be that the ghosts in that hospital room, were all people before? After thinking about it, an indescribable shock surged in Fuang Hu's heart. Immediately afterwards, he sat down and was about to continue reading. But this space was all an illusion. He couldn't touch it, let alone turn the pages of the medical report. Suddenly, a few strands of fine hair appeared in front of Fuang Hu's eyes. These strands of hair hung down from the air, not knowing what they were connected to. But he wouldn't be so foolish as to look up, and stood up directly as if nothing had happened. Just then, above him, a female doctor in a white coat, with limbs like a spider, was clinging to the ceiling. Her face was pale. Her eyes were bloodshot and staring at Fuang Hu. You're here. Do you want to explore the mystery of life with me? Fuang Hu ignored her, but thought to himself, there were already clues in the doctor's office, so there must be some in other places as well. And the answer to all the questions must lie in the center of this mental hospital, that is, the director's office. After thinking about it, Fuang Hu went to look for the director's office. He quickly identified an office area, and this office area coincided with the sales building. But this was not the director's office. Immediately afterwards, he went to the second floor, which was where the previous owner worked. Just then, a voice suddenly called out, Brother Hu, why did you just come? Wu Dehai is about to go crazy. Don't rush to find him. Before he could finish speaking, Wu Dehai came out aggressively, pointing at Fuang Hu, who had just come upstairs. Do you still dare to come to work? I've already fired you. Do you know that? But at this moment, Fuang Hu showed no emotion, but pushed the two of them away and walked right through them. Seeing this, Mr. Zhao looked at Fuang Hu with a puzzled expression. Hu with a puzzled expression. As for De Hai, he was both shocked and angry, pointing at him, You little brat, you dare to push me? Do you want to rebel? What are you going to do? Who allowed you to go to the third floor? Stop right there. I've already fired you. Get out of here right now. You're not allowed to go upstairs. However, Fuang Hu ignored everything, but ignored it all and went up to the third floor. Very quickly, Fuang Hu went up to the third floor. His eyes immediately focused on the door of a room not far away. At the same time, he was secretly pleased in his heart. I've finally found it. On the door was written the words director's office. Wu Dehai panted and chased after him. At this moment, Fuang Hu's eyes were fixed on a door. He quickly walked to the door. In the real world, this was the office of the chairman of the sales company. He was seen turning the doorknob to unlock the door, and immediately all three of them stood there in a daze. Dehai's face turned even paler. 
It's over. This time it's over. In the room, a pair of long legs in black stockings, a voluptuous figure, a woman in a business suit appeared in their sight. Hearing the noise, the two people hurriedly stopped their shameful actions. The man was cursing loudly while pulling up his pants, while the woman was blushing and covering her chest. At this moment, Fuang Hu stared at the woman, or more precisely, at the desk in the office. Suddenly, Fuang Hu stepped forward, walking straight towards them. Then he grabbed the woman's hand, and pulled her off the desk with force. Fuang Hu was seen lying on the desk, staring at the parchment paper. Just a glance, and he was filled with excitement. Immediately afterwards, he was secretly pleased. As expected, there is a shocking secret hidden in this mental hospital. On it was written the words the chosen one. Do you want to know the truth of this world? Do you want to know what evil spirits really are? If you want to know all the answers, go to room C520. There you will find everything you want to know. Very quickly, Fuang Hu finished reading the entire content, and his heart was heavy. The name signed at the end was Chu Tan Fong. Who must be the director of Qingshan Mental Hospital? Then who was this letter written to? Was this letter written to? Could it be that he knew in advance that I would come? At this moment, Fuang Hu turned and walked out, thinking as he walked. The old doubts had not been solved yet, and now new doubts had emerged. Room C520? Perhaps there really are all the answers there. Just then, the corridor that had been bright suddenly turned pitch black. Fuang Hu took out his phone to shine a light. Suddenly, he felt that something was wrong. At this location, at this time, it was not simply a power outage. Thinking of this, he quickly used the flashlight of his phone to shine towards the second floor. The result was that he found that Qingshan Mental Hospital had disappeared without a trace. He immediately ran up to the second floor. He wanted to see if there was any sign of the mental hospital anywhere else. As for the man behind him, he was furious, and reached out to Dahai for his phone. But Wu Dahai said awkwardly that there was no signal, and that he could not make any calls now. Just then, the man said confidently, with my status, I can access more than you can imagine. Regarding the secret of this world, the phone has no signal, the light is blocked. If I'm not mistaken, these signs indicate one thing, we have most likely entered the ghost realm. Hearing this, Fuang Hu gave a creepy smile, haha, ghost realm? On the other side, the employees of the sales building were also very anxious. The report had just been completed and had not yet been saved. And just as it was about to be completed, the power went out. At this moment, Brother Dahai's voice rang out, don't yell here anymore. Quickly send someone to see if the circuit breaker has tripped. At the same time, security guard Uncle Zhao went upstairs, and saw the man from earlier. He hurriedly asked, the power in the building suddenly went out, is everyone okay? I'll go and see if the circuit breaker has tripped. Hearing this, the man looked annoyed, everyone is fine, but just thinking about having to work overtime later makes my teeth itch. On the other side, a female colleague turned on the flashlight of her phone, but suddenly found that the light of the flashlight was also getting weaker. The colleague sitting next to her asked curiously, is there dust on it? Try wiping it. But she had almost wiped the phone through, and the light still did not get brighter. One by one, her colleagues took out their phones, out their phones one after another, turned on their flashlights, but the results were the same. The light was very weak. At this moment, Fuang Hu remembered what his superior, Vong Tu Dang, had said. So he turned to ask him, what did you mean just now when you said, ghost realm? Hearing this, a female colleague next to him was so frightened that her heart pounded and her legs trembled, ghost realm. Are they talking about the ghost realm? As soon as she finished speaking, a male colleague looked at her with disdain. How can there be ghosts in this world? Don't scare yourself here. At this moment, the colleagues began to whisper among themselves. As for Vong Tu Dang, his face was gloomy. Suddenly, he looked towards the noisy colleagues and shouted, shut up. Then he looked at them with a serious expression, everyone be quiet now. What I'm about to say is very important, and it has to do with whether we can survive or not. As soon as he finished speaking, the colleagues all looked horrified, and the atmosphere became tense. At this moment, Vong Tu Dang took a deep breath, to put it simply, there are ghosts in this world. The ghost realm, that is, the territory of ghosts. It can also be understood as a different dimensional space. And now, this is the world of ghosts. Here on the territory of ghosts. Hearing this, everyone was terrified out of their wits, standing rooted to the spot. After a while, the male colleague finally came to his senses, and suddenly asked the person next to him, Where's Uncle Zhao, the security guard? Has he come back yet? He said he was going to check the circuit breaker earlier, but he's still not back. It's not like he really met a ghost, is it? This made Vong Tu Dang lose the angry look he had just now. Instead, it was replaced by an unprecedented fear. Ordinary people in the ghost realm must be even more careful with their words, actions, and avoid violating the ghost's killing rules. Otherwise it would be no different from seeking death. As soon as he finished speaking, 
Go Dai Hai was so scared that he didn't know what to do. He grabbed Vong Tu Dang tightly, and asked with a trembling voice, Then young master Vong, what should we do now? Vong Tu Dang looked at Go Dai Hai, his face expressionless, and said coldly, Now, the only thing we can do is think of a way to escape from this damn ghost realm. Otherwise, everyone will be killed by the ghosts. At this moment, the surroundings were eerily quiet, and one could even hear the sound of their own heartbeats. It seemed that this place held some kind of magic power. Suddenly, a beam of light appeared. At this moment, Fuang Hu Hu's cold sweat was dripping down his face, and he tilted his head slightly to look to one side. This familiar feeling was definitely not mistaken. It was a ghost. Immediately afterwards, he calmly told everyone, the ghost has appeared again. His calm voice seemed to contain some kind of magic power, or perhaps the information in his words had shocked everyone. The others were so frightened that their scalps went numb, and they looked at Fuang Hu with both fear and anger. What nonsense are you talking about now? Where's the ghost? Just then, countless long hairs suddenly fell down from above the woman's head. By the time she reacted, it was clearly too late. Her mouth was tightly wrapped by the long hair, and she could not make a sound. Just a moment later, her whole body was tightly bound. As for Fuang Hu, he stood there, calmly looking at everyone. His fair and handsome face, together with his expressionless face, made him look like a somewhat strange living doll. Suddenly, Fuang Hu slowly opened his mouth, Vong Hula, she's nowhere to be seen anymore. A colleague shouted in fear, you're talking nonsense. Vong Hula is clearly right next to me. After she finished speaking, she turned to Vong Hula, Vong Hula, say something. But then she realized that there was no one next to her. At this moment, everyone seemed to go crazy. Vong Hula had really disappeared. Could it be that the ghost had really appeared? Seeing this, Vong Tu Dang suddenly turned to Fuang Hu and asked, Can you see what the ghost looks like? Although the two of them often had conflicts, but in the face of a life or death crisis, everything became meaningless. At this moment, Fuang Hu calmly replied, My vision is limited. I can't see the ghost. I only saw Vong Hu La disappear. At the same time, a man pointed at Fuang Hu, who was standing next to him, and said, Our colleague was just taken away by the ghost. Why is he still so calm? He's not normal. He must be possessed by a ghost. Vong Tu Dang looked at Fuang Hu with suspicion. It seems that you're not afraid of ghosts at all. Could it be that you're a spirit master? Hearing this, Fuang Hu shook his head, and asked Vong Tu Dang back, what is a spirit master? This made Vong Tu Dang even more suspicious. Fuang Hu could be so calm when the ghost appeared, but he didn't know what a spirit master was. What kind of person was he, after all? He explained, a spirit master is someone who can control their own spiritual power. My cousin is a spirit master, and the best way for us to break the current situation is for someone to become a spirit master. As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu smiled sinisterly. In other words, spirit masters are trained in the ghost realm? How is that possible? Vong Tu Dang was suddenly very surprised. In this situation, Fuang Hu could still make such sharp judgments. Perhaps he really was the key to their escape from here. Immediately afterwards, he looked at Fuang Hu with a serious expression. My cousin said that, to become a spirit master, one can only borrow the power of ghosts. Moreover, two conditions must be met at the same time. One is to experience extreme terror between the boundary of life and death, stimulating the fluctuation of spirituality. The other is to come into contact with ghosts so that the power of ghosts can penetrate into the spirituality. But it is important to note that the power of ghosts is like a blood-soaked rag. While it can wipe away the dirt on a night shining pearl, it will inevitably risk contaminating the spirituality. And the so-called soul light, is actually the light of the spirituality itself, a distorted product. As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu was a little doubtful, between the boundary of life and death, coming into contact with the strange. He has already met both of these conditions. Why hasn't his soul light been ignited yet? Or perhaps it has been ignited long ago. It's just that he himself hasn't realized it yet. At this moment, he looked at his own hands. Lost in thought, could it be that because of his untimely death after transmigrating here, he didn't really come into contact with ghosts? That is to say, his wife and the ghosts in the mental hospital. As long as he didn't respond, they were just illusions from another dimension, and could not be considered contact at all. Currently, the ghosts lurking in the shadows could really invade from the virtual world into the real world. Even without the activation condition, it could still kill people. Therefore, as long as he came into contact with these ghosts more, he would gain the ability to destroy them. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu once again became frenzied. 
couldn't help but let out a cold laugh. At this moment, there was only one thing on his mind, and that was to kill it, kill his wife to avenge himself. Therefore, Fuang Hu made up his mind. He must become a spirit master. It was also at this moment that Fuang Hu suddenly noticed a movement. He turned his head to look, and then continued to utter shocking information, someone else has disappeared. Hearing this, everyone was so scared that they jumped up. Then they looked around and found that Jia Luang, who had been standing right next to them just now, had disappeared silently. At this moment, Vong Tu Dang was on the verge of collapse. The continuous disappearance of people had caused the last bit of his sanity to vanish. Immediately afterwards, he shouted at them, all of you, shut up. Do you want to summon the ghosts? Right at this moment, Li Fai Fai looked at him with tears in her eyes, young master Vong, what should we do now? I don't want to disappear. Vong Tu Dang was furious. If you ask me, who should I ask? At this moment, Fuang Hu calmly said, two to three minutes. Vong Tu Dang and the others all looked at him with frightened eyes. All looked at him with frightened eyes. Only Fuang Hu calmly analyzed. The interval between the disappearances is two to three minutes. To be more precise, women are two minutes. Men are three minutes. Starting from the time when guard Zhao disappeared. Three minutes later, Wang Xiaoli also disappeared. Two minutes after Wang Xiaoli disappeared, it was Jia Luang's turn to disappear. So if my calculations are correct, three minutes after Jia Luang disappeared, someone else will disappear. Hearing this, everyone was extremely shocked, not knowing what to do. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu calmly stepped into the darkness. Seeing this, his close friend Zhao Hao asked suspiciously, Hu Ca, what are you going to do? Do you not want to live anymore? Hearing this, Fuang Hu turned his head slightly. Of course I'm going to find a way to survive. Do you want to stand here and wait to die? Suddenly, Vong Tu Dang shouted at Fuang Hu. Damn it. Stop right there. I already said. No one is allowed to act recklessly. Are you deaf? However, Fuang Hu did not turn back, but walked into the darkness on his own. At the same time, he calmly said, Currently, there are about eight survivors here. Survivors here. According to the analysis, every two to three minutes, someone disappears. So in about 20 minutes, everyone will be wiped out. You might as well take a chance and find a way to escape. Hearing this, Vong Tu Dang was furious. You're just an ordinary person. How do you know about ghosts? Before he could finish speaking, Vong Tu Dang was suddenly frightened. At this moment, he couldn't speak. Only to see Fuang Hu's face was expressionless at this moment. Like a pale corpse, not showing any sign of life. But it was very convincing. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu said, if you say one more word, I'll kill you before the ghosts appear. Immediately, Fuang Hu walked towards the darkness alone. Seeing this, his close friend Zhao Hao followed him, only to see the two of them walking in the dark corridor. At this moment, Zhao Hao, who was following behind, was covered in cold sweat. His face full of fear, Hu Ca, something's wrong. Why haven't we reached the stairs yet? Hearing this, Fuang Hu gestured for silence, shish. At the same time, he stopped in his tracks and stared intently into the depths of the corridor. Just a glance, at the end of the corridor, suddenly a faint light appeared. Seeing this, Fuang Hu couldn't help but frown. This light was exactly the same as the light in the Tan Sun Mental Hospital. In an instant, an incredible guess popped into his head. Immediately afterwards, he quickened his pace towards the light. When he had completely stepped into the light, he realized that this was the Tan Sun Mental Hospital. Only to see that now the place was covered in blood, and hospital equipment was scattered everywhere. At this moment, Zhao Hao was hiding behind him, trembling with fear, not daring to look directly at him, Hu Ca, am I hallucinating? Immediately afterwards, tears streamed down his face, why does this place look like a hospital in a horror movie? Hearing this, Fuang Hu was extremely surprised, you can see the hospital too? Then Fuang Hu reached out and touched the wall, and immediately let out a sinister smile, as expected, the mental hospital has now overlapped with the real world, just like the entities with those ghosts, that's why we couldn't see it in the sales hall before, it turns out that it was already inside, this mental hospital has swallowed the sales hall, could this be what is known as a ghost realm? After a moment of contemplation, the two continued to walk forward, suddenly, their expressions froze in an instant, it turned out that in the corridor not far away, they discovered bloodstains everywhere, as well as torn security guard uniforms and women's work uniforms, seeing this scene, Fuang Hu completely understood. The female colleague in the sales hall had delicate features. A slender figure and her physique and amount of flesh were much less than that of a man. Therefore, the time it took for the ghost to devour a man was about three minutes. While it only took two minutes to devour a woman, this was the time when they disappeared. Hearing this, Zhao Hao, who was beside him, suddenly turned pale. You mean they were all devoured by ghosts? At this moment, 
Fu Wang Hu squatted on the ground, carefully observing the shredded clothes, and said at the same time, we are temporarily safe. Jia Luang was just taken away. Zhao Hao trembled, that is to say, the ghost is somewhere eating Jia Luang. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu didn't pay attention, but stared at the end of the corridor, lost in thought, this place, most of the strange things are locked in the ward. Ward. Although some of the ward doors were open, the strange things inside had long since escaped. Previously, this had not been encountered in the mental hospital, but these clothes were cut very neatly, obviously caused by some kind of blade, based on the signs. It could only be the female doctor he had met earlier, because as a doctor, she would not be locked in the ward, and could move around freely. Fu Wang Hu looked at the corridor, just thinking about it, the strange thing that could move around freely here, what exactly was it, when suddenly, in another part of the corridor, there was a sound of chaotic footsteps, hearing the sound getting closer, Fu Wang Hu and Zhao Hao's pupils suddenly constricted, looking in horror towards the direction of the sound, as the sound got closer, Zhao Hao was now extremely terrified, while Fu Wang Hu, who was used to strange things, also showed a look of fear at this moment, only to see in the dark corridor, Vong Tu Dang and the others, each and every one of them showed an expression of disbelief, seeing the familiar place suddenly turn into the scene of a hospital, everyone couldn't help but show a look of panic. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu and Zhao Hao were very helpless, and at the same time felt fortunate that instead of being unexpectedly helpless, they had also followed. Fortunately, the sound just now was not that of a ghost. At this moment, Wu Dai Hai looked at Fu Wang Hu on the opposite side. Trembling, he asked, you two went ahead. Did you see Lao Zhao and Wang Xiao Li? Just then, Li Fei Fei suddenly screamed, pointing at the blood under Fu Wang Hu's feet, so much blood. Hearing this, Vong Tu Dang stared intently. In an instant, cold sweat dripped down his face. That's Lao Zhao and Wang Xiao Li's clothes. Could it be that they have been eaten? At this moment, Li Fei Fei grabbed his arm, her voice trembling, young master Vong, let's get out of here, I want to go home. And Vong Tu Dang also suddenly came to his senses at this moment, right, right, let's go quickly. Then he looked at Fu Wang Hu beside him, you lead the way. But at this moment, Fu Wang Hu and Zhao Hao did not say a word. Fu Wang Hu stared at his phone with a gloomy expression. Suddenly, he looked at everyone with an indifferent expression, without any emotion in his voice, time's up. Hearing this, Li Fei Fei, who was in a state of fear, couldn't help but ask, time's up for what? As soon as she finished speaking, there was a crackling sound from the ceiling behind her. Li Fei Fei and Vong Tu Dang turned their heads mechanically to look, only to see that at this moment, on the ceiling, the female doctor suddenly appeared like a spider. She was wearing an old and tattered white coat, her hair was disheveled, and she was hanging upside down from the ceiling. The crackling sound just now was the sound of her twisting her neck. Seeing this, Li Fei Fei was so scared that she didn't know what to do, and she was directly stunned on the spot. Wordless fear began to spread like a tide. In the next second, the female doctor frantically waved her limbs, like a human-shaped spider, quickly crawling towards everyone. At this moment, everyone seemed to go crazy, desperately fleeing. And Vong Tu Dang this time did not need anyone to lead the way, and even felt that they were blocking his way in front. Just then, Vong Tu Dang suddenly stopped. He felt something pulling at his clothes, and was so scared that his heart jumped out of his throat. Immediately after, he slowly turned his head to look. It turned out that Li Fei Fei was lying on the ground, tears streaming down her face, grabbed his clothes, begging Vong Tu Dang to save her. At the same time, the female doctor was also approaching quickly. Seeing this, Vong Tu Dang immediately slapped her hard, don't get in the way here. Then Vong Tu Dang ran and shouted, directly passing Fu Wang Hu and Zhao Hao. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu had no intention of running away, standing there indifferently observing what he had just guessed. That's right, it was indeed the female doctor he had met before. Li Fei Fei was so frightened that her whole body went limp, crawling on the ground, her mouth shouting in panic, young master Vong, don't abandon me. But Vong Tu Dang and the others had already disappeared. Then she looked at the two remaining people in the corridor. She hurriedly reached out her hand for help, tears streaming down her face, her expression full of longing. Brother Hu, Brother Hao, save me. At the same time, the female doctor's long hair fell down, only to see the female doctor grab her by the hair, one hand holding a scalpel. But at this moment, Fu Wang Hu did not dare to risk going forward to save her, as he was not a spiritualist. He could only stand by and
and watch. He saw the female ghost doctor grabbing her by the hair with one hand, one hand pulling out the scalpel she carried with her. As the scalpel slowly approached her neck, Li Fei Fei's tears streamed down her face, constantly calling for help from Fuang Hu and Zhao Hao, who were being cautious. But before Li Fei Fei could finish her words, a flash of silver light flashed by, and fresh blood immediately gushed out, like a fountain gushing out. Seeing this, Zhao Hao was so scared that he was stunned, stammering, Li Fei Fei just died like that? At this moment, Li Fei Fei was lying on the ground, her eyes closed and blood gushing out of her neck. However, the female doctor who had killed Li Fei Fei did not stop, but continued to swing the scalpel, beginning to dismember her limbs. Seeing this scene, Fuang Hu broke out in a cold sweat. This female ghost doctor's technique was precise, and in her previous life, she must have performed countless surgeries. He and Zhao Hao were right next to her, but she didn't notice them at all, and was particularly serious and focused on Li Fei Fei's body. At the same time, the female ghost doctor was now licking the fresh blood, extremely excited, and then licked the blood clean from the scalpel clean from the scalpel. Finally, she stuffed the knife into the gap in her chest, and she began to eat the flesh like a hungry tiger. This was the bloody scene that Fuang Hu saw, and he guessed that killing was an instinct after turning into a ghost. After understanding the law of killing, Fuang Hu made a bold decision. He slowly walked towards the infirmary. Very quickly, he was standing next to the female doctor. Suddenly, Fuang Hu clenched his hand into a fist, and punched her hard. Only a boom was heard. A heavy collision sounded. At this moment, Fuang Hu was extremely surprised. When he retracted his fist and saw the fresh blood flowing down his fist, he couldn't help but sigh in his heart. It's as hard as steel. This punch also made him realize the difference between himself and the female doctor. All the ghosts he had encountered so far possessed a lethality that humans could not resist. Humans were like weak ants in front of ghosts. It seemed that only by becoming a spiritualist could he change the status quo. At this moment, Zhao Hao behind him trembled and said, Brother Hu, let's run quickly. But Fuang Hu not only did not run, but calmly stood still. The killing rule of this ghost is to kill the nearest person, and only attack one person. When she is eating, it is the safest time. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao was so scared that he opened his mouth and said, but I think she's almost finished eating. Fuang Hu was now frighteningly calm, and said something creepy without any emotion, although Li Fei Fei looks very bloody. But the places where there should be meat are very full, so the amount of meat on her should be enough for at least three minutes or more. Hearing this, Zhao Hao, who was already extremely tense, but when he heard the words amount of meat, he suddenly felt nauseous. Then he lowered his head and vomited violently. But Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but thought to himself, Vong Tu Dang said, to become a spirit spiritualist, you need to let the power of the ghost invade your mind, and in this entire ghost land, the place with the strongest ghost power, is of course beside the ghost, physical contact will definitely be invaded a little faster, after thinking, he stared at the female doctor's 2.5 meter long legs, 0.5 meter long legs, then he reached out his hand directly, and resolutely began to caress her, at this moment, Fuang Hu felt a very cold sensation, as if he was touching a corpse, Zhao Hao had just finished vomiting and saw this scene behind him, and immediately felt his three views collapse, immediately afterwards, he was extremely surprised and shouted, Brother Hu, I always thought that I was perverted enough, but I didn't expect you to be so bold, even daring to take advantage of a ghost. Fuang Hu caressed her long legs, and said with an expressionless face, I plan to stay a little longer. If you're afraid, you can go first. At this moment, he looked at Fuang Hu, and thought of what Vong Tu Dang had said before, and also understood Fuang Hu's purpose. Immediately, he made up his mind, and gritted his teeth and said, Okay, let's do it. Then he stubbornly walked towards the female doctor. Fuang Hu saw him coming, and immediately moved his hand back to make way for Zhao Hao. Zhao Hao squatted down next to her long legs, and then fell into an ideological struggle. Then he closed his eyes, turned his head to one side, and at the same time stretched out his right hand. Very quickly, he placed his trembling hand on it. At this moment, Zhao Hao was as if struck by lightning, and took a deep breath, it's so cold, but he didn't take his hand away. After the two of them had touched for a while, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with embarrassment, 
brother Hu, it seems like I don't have any reaction. What about you? Has your body changed in any way? Huang Hu replied softly, number. At this moment, Zhao Hao spoke again. I never thought that the first time I would touch a woman's thigh would be a ghost's. But I have to say, these long legs are really long, even longer than my life. Seeing this, Fuang Hu glanced at Zhao Hao who was drooling, and couldn't help but sigh in his heart. This kid has a pretty good adaptability, although he was scared out of his wits at first, but now he was in the mood to joke, maybe he has some potential. After a while, Fuang Hu looked at his phone and said, it's been a minute, touch it for another 30 seconds at most, leave enough time to escape leave enough time to escape, time passed by every second and minute, 30 seconds passed by in the blink of an eye. Fuang Hu stood up without hesitation and ran away. Although Zhao Hao was a beat slower, he also followed closely behind. At this moment, Zhao Hao wondered from behind, Brother Hu, are you sure we can escape? Also, have you been here before? Why are you so familiar with this place? It turned out that before, when he entered the mental hospital, Fuang Hu had paid special attention to the direction and some of the main roads, so he was confident that he could use the terrain to his advantage to widen the gap with the female doctor. However, just as Fuang Hu and Zhao Hao were about to run to the end of the corridor, the situation changed. A few black hairs suddenly appeared in front of Fuang Hu's eyes. Seeing this, Fuang Hu looked up, and met her blood-red eyes. At this moment, Fuang Hu was shocked. Could his judgment be wrong? According to Li Fei Fei's amount of flesh, there was clear Clearly at least two minutes left to escape. But why was the female doctor chasing so fast? Thinking of this, he immediately turned his head to look at Li Fei Fei's body. Immediately afterwards, his pupils dilated. He saw that Li Fei Fei's body had been eaten clean, turning into a pool of blood. On the pool of blood, there were obviously a few large pieces of silicone left. Seeing this, he completely exploded. Fake silicone. He had calculated every possible way, but he didn't expect to make a mistake at this point. Just then, a silver light flashed behind him. At the same time, Fuang Hu screamed miserably. I hope there is no silicone in heaven. And this also caused him to die at the hands of the ghost once again. He had thought that this death would take him back to his wife. But when Fuang Hu woke up, he was surprised to find that he had not returned to his wife, but was still with the female doctor and was touching her thigh. At the same time, Zhao Hao, who was beside him, walked over tremblingly, and also reached out to touch the female doctor. Immediately, Fuang Hu hurriedly took out his phone to check the time. A thought came to him like a tide. Could it be that the return after death is like an event in a game? The first stage was near the residential area, and this second stage was the Qing Shan Mental Hospital. The reason he didn't return to his wife this time was because he had passed the first stage. Therefore, the remaining time automatically switched to the second stage. At this moment, Fuang Hu didn't have time to think too much. Last time he died because of silicone, so this time he absolutely couldn't make the same mistake. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu immediately stood up, and at the same time patted Zhao Hao on the shoulder. All right, let's go. Zhao Hao was drooling, and looked at him with regret. Brother Hu, I'm just getting started, and we're leaving already? This is my first time. Before he could finish speaking, Fuang Hu turned and left. At the same time, he said in a low voice, she's all silicone, inside and out. Hearing this, Zhao Hao was immediately stunned, and then exclaimed in surprise, silicone? No wonder it's so big. After saying that, the two of them ran all the way, and soon reached the stairs. At this moment, Fuang Hu said decisively, let's go down. After running for a while in the stairs, he met Wang Ziding and the others. At this moment, Wang Ziding was guarding at the back, and when he heard the sound behind him, and when he heard the sound behind him, his heart pounding, he looked like a frightened bird at this moment, and hurriedly waved his hands and ran, the ghost is chasing us, run quickly. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was very puzzled, and immediately called out to Wang Ziding. Then Fuang Hu sped up, resolutely jumping down from the upper floor, and landing steadily in front of them. At this moment, Wu Dehai wiped his sweat in fear, it's you two brats, you scared me to death, I thought the ghost was chasing us. At the same time, Zhao Hao looked at everyone in surprise, why are you guys running so slowly? Hearing this, the group turned around and glared at him, we've already come down at least 20 floors at this speed, I don't know how high this building is anymore. Zhao Hao was immediately shocked, 20 floors? Impossible. Brother Hu and I only went down three floors before we met you guys. As soon as the words were finished, everyone's eyes widened in shock. What? Zhao Hao, don't talk nonsense at this time. Be careful, or I'll hit you. Wang Ziding, who was beside him, 
finally reacted at this moment. With a look of panic and trembling all over, this is a ghost leading the way. At this moment, his cold sweat was pouring down. At this moment, cold sweat was streaming down his face. Not knowing what to do. It must be a ghost leading the way. Then he looked at one of them in panic. My cousin said that the power of the ghost can cause people to hallucinate. And it is possible to cause the phenomenon of ghosts leading the way and ghosts leading the way. Anyone who encounters a ghost leading the way will keep going around in circles on the spot. And will never be able to get out. This is also the reason why Fu Wang Hu and the others chased them so quickly. Because they were always going around in circles on the spot. Fu Wang Hu looked at the panicking crowd. And couldn't help thinking. How interesting. Ghosts leading the way. Wang Zidang's words were like adding fuel to the fire, making everyone even more frightened. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu looked helpless, and then reached into his pocket to look for something. Then he looked at everyone calmly, if any of you have anything extra, throw it on the ground to mark it. Hearing this, Wang Ziding immediately understood, and hurriedly cooperated, that's right, mark it. Quickly take out the things you don't need. When everyone realized it, it was too late. Immediately, everyone searched all over their bodies. All kinds of things fell to the ground. There were bottles of water, cigarettes, lighters, and even Wang Zidang's condoms. After marking it, Fu Wang Hu turned around and looked at the people behind him. Let's go. Let's go downstairs. Everyone followed behind Fu Wang Hu and went downstairs nervously. But after walking down a floor, they suddenly stopped at a corner. They saw that the things they had marked before appeared in front of them again. Seeing this, everyone couldn't help but be afraid and shouted in horror. This is the lighter I just threw, and my money. This time it's really over. We've really encountered a ghost leading the way. What should we do now? If the ghost chases us later, we'll be dead. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu's face turned gloomy, and he picked up the condom that Wang Ziding had just thrown. It seems that Wang Ziding was right. We've encountered a ghost leading the way, going around in circles. Just then, Wang Ziding shouted, don't shout anymore. My cousin said that ordinary people can't escape from ghosts leading the way. The only way to break it is to rely on your intuition to recognize it. Quickly check if anyone has intuition. After saying that, he concentrated and prayed, hoping that he could open up his intuition. He wasn't sure if being chased and killed by a ghost before counted as a life and death experience. But for now, he could only pray. The others looked puzzled. How do we check if we have intuition? A boy next to him also looked puzzled. I don't know. Then he said hesitantly, why don't we try to do the same as brother Wang? With that, he clasped his hands together and began to pray. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu didn't pay attention to their actions, but walked along the stairs and went down and began to grope. Fu Wang Hu remembered that when he passed by the mental hospital before, the exit of the stairs was on the right, although he didn't know which building this was, but the layout should not be much different, since the ghost leading the way was caused by hallucinations. Then close your eyes, use your hands to touch the right side and go down, and you will most likely be able to find the door. At this moment, Wang Ziding noticed Fu Wang Hu's actions, and turned to look at him with a puzzled expression. Fu Wang Hu, where are you going? But Fu Wang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but went downstairs on his own. Instead of sitting here praying in vain, it would be better to concentrate on finding clues. Seeing this, Zhao Hao hurriedly followed. Wang Ziding at the back looked at Fu Wang Hu's actions, and his thoughts wandered. He felt that there was something wrong with Fu Wang Hu. Too calm. From the beginning to the end, there was no panic on his face, even when he met a ghost. At that time, after the female ghost appeared, Fu Wang Hu was the closest person. But instead of running away immediately, he stood close to the wall, to avoid being stabbed and falling. We all ran to the stairs, but the other three didn't follow. Now that Li Fei Fei is missing, it goes without saying that she is dead. But the two men and the female ghost were in the corridor for at least one minute. What did they do? Why didn't the ghost kill them? Could it be that they were cultivating together, taking advantage of the evil spirits? Thinking of this, Wang Ziding shook his head repeatedly, to get rid of this strange thought. Impossible, that's a ghost. The other two looked puzzled when they saw him lost in thought. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu and Zhao Hao had already gone down the stairs, some distance away from everyone. Fu Wang Hu was just walking and touching the wall, but he only felt solid and rough walls, and no other strange sounds. Seeing this, Zhao Hao looked at him with a puzzled expression, Brother Hu, what are you doing? Just show me the way, and I'll help you. But at this moment, Fu Wang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but counted the steps as he walked down one by one, 11, 12, 
At the same time, his hand kept touching the wall. Suddenly, he stopped at the fifteenth step. At this moment, the sensation on his hand became smooth and cold, as if he had touched metal. At this moment, Fuang Hu's pupils couldn't help but tremble. And he couldn't help but say, I found it. Zhao Hao was stunned. Found what? Then Zhao Hao followed Fuang Hu. Very quickly, he also noticed the difference. At this moment, he couldn't help but be overjoyed. It's a door. Brother Hu, you're amazing. Hearing this, Wang Ziding upstairs was extremely shocked. And he looked at Fuang Hu with an incredulous look. Immediately afterwards, he ran to Fuang Hu and he looked at Fuang Hu with an incredulous expression and pushed him out of the door. Wang Ziding was overjoyed and pointed at the iron door with a big laugh, we're saved. There's a door here. But in the next second, the smile on Wang Zideng's face gradually disappeared, replaced by a look of despair. He stared at the iron door in front of him, but how do we open this door? As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu next to him also frowned. Hearing him say this, he also began to doubt in his heart. After a moment of thought, Fuang Hu stepped forward, and quickly found the doorknob. Then he opened the door with both anxiety and hope, praying in his heart that it was not locked. Only a click was heard, and the door opened. Seeing this, he pushed open the iron door, and a long and dark corridor came into view. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was about to enter. But at this moment, Wang Ziding seemed to have gone mad, and once again pushed Fuang Hu away and was the first to rush in. Seeing this, Fuang Hu frowned, but said nothing more. Then the rest of the people saw the exit in front of them, and also rushed in like crazy. Fuang Hu stood still and watched everyone, stood there watching everyone. At this moment, Zhao Hao turned to look at Fuang Hu with a puzzled expression. Brother Hu, why aren't you running? Why are you still so calm? As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu suddenly smiled slyly, in the face of danger. They only think about running away. But the interesting thing is, when facing the female doctor who is a ghost, there's no need to run too fast at all. At the same time, a surprised voice came from behind, you too, run quickly. If you're not going to run, get out of my way. Don't drag me to my death if you want to die. But at this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but thought to himself, sometimes running too fast is not necessarily a good thing. As long as I make sure I'm not the last one, that's enough. That way, it's more convenient to touch the female doctor's thigh, and open up my psychic abilities sooner. Moreover, in this mental hospital, there is also a strange escape situation. It was only luck that I didn't meet them before. If I meet one, it will be very interesting. On the other side, Wang Ziding, who was walking in front, suddenly stopped. The people behind him also stopped one after another. It turned out that a fork in the road appeared before them, one to the left and one to the right. Both forks were very long, and no one could see clearly what was behind the two roads. Everyone looked at each other at the fork in the road. Suddenly, a man looked at one of the two forks, pointed at the left fork and said, you go and try the left one first. The other man was immediately furious. You're really smart. You want to harm me, don't you? Why don't you go yourself? Just then, Fuang Hu walked over, neither fast nor slow. Immediately, everyone's eyes were on Fuang Hu. Then Wang Ziding hurriedly asked Fuang Hu which way to go. Just now, when the ghost led the way, you were the one who found the way out. You must know the way out, right? Fuang Hu frowned again. When we were running, you pushed me away. When you encounter difficulties, you think of me again. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu couldn't help but laugh. Seeing this, everyone was angry and embarrassed. What are you laughing at? Hurry up and tell us, the ghost is about to catch up. What are you pretending for? We asked you because we trust you, and you're still acting all high and mighty here. But at this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention to them, because to him, these people were just tools. Then Fuang Hu walked towards the fork on the right, and thought to himself, the female doctor is invincible at the moment. The only way to buy time is to use human lives to make up for it. At the same time, everyone saw Fuang Hu walking towards the right, and they followed without hesitation. They also chose to run to the right, but just then, the sound of bones cracking rang out. Hearing that sound, everyone knew that it was the sound of the female doctor, and at the moment, the last person running was manager Go Dai Hai, who was overweight and therefore not very fit. At the same time, Fuang Hu remained calm and smiled slyly. She's here. This is really interesting. Right at this moment, the figure of the female doctor suddenly appeared on the ceiling, and quickly rushed towards the last person in the group. The female doctor looked like a spider, and her white blouse was very conspicuous in the corridor. She hung upside down from the ceiling, turned her head, and stared at everyone with her yellow eyes. At this moment, the crowd immediately panicked, and desperately ran forward. But the speed of humans was simply no match for the female doctor. In the blink of an eye, she appeared above Go Dai Hai's head. Seeing this, 
Go Dai Hai desperately tried to escape. At this moment, there was only one thought in his mind, I can't die. Then he reached out his hand, and grabbed the collar of someone's shirt. Why are you running faster than me? This is fate. You're the one who has to die. With that, he pulled him back hard, using his momentum to run forward. The man he had pulled fell backwards, and now he was sitting on the ground, trembling. Now he had become the last one, just waiting to die. The next second, a silver light flashed. The last person, who had been pulled back by Go Dai Hai, had his throat cut, and before he could even let out a scream, his head was separated from his body. Go Dai Hai didn't feel guilty at all. He turned his head and muttered to himself, he he, Xiao Chen, don't worry, I'll burn incense for you during the holidays. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu also slowly stopped walking. Seeing this scene, Fu Wang Hu couldn't help but despise him. A person who has lost his humanity is no different from a ghost. At the same time, the female doctor took out a scalpel and began to cut Xiao Chen open. Fu Wang Hu calmly walked towards her. He didn't know how to quickly awaken his spiritual sense, so now he could only try more, hoping to quickly awaken his spiritual sense, and become a spirit master in order to reduce the number of casualties. Just then, Zhao Hao suddenly realized that Fu Wang Hu had disappeared. In the crowd, he anxiously searched for him. Suddenly, Zhao Hao froze in place. He saw Fu Wang Hu approaching the female doctor again, and then squatting down facing her thighs. Then his hands touched her thighs. Suddenly, Suddenly, a voice rang out beside him, and a trembling hand caught his eye. Brother Hu, it's not right to eat alone like that, you're touching her thighs without calling me. At this moment, the man's face was flushed, as if he had been stimulated, and his nose was bleeding. He eagerly looked at Brother Hu's thighs. Next time, if you have the chance to touch her thighs again, remember to call me. With that, he began to reach out and molest her, repeatedly praising her, your skin is so smooth, as white as jade. Do the thighs of a living girl feel like this? Jade. Do the thighs of a living girl feel like this? Brother Hu, have you ever touched it? At this moment, Fu Wang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but just smiled at him, as expected of Nyat Thien. Even at this moment, you can still spout idioms. Who knows, maybe he really can awaken his spiritual sense, and join forces with me to escape from this mental hospital. Time passed very quickly, and soon it was time for the appointment. Fu Wang Hu and Zhao Hao quickly ran to the others. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu said with a serious face, aren't you afraid that the female ghost will kill you? Hearing this, Zhao Hao had obviously accepted reality. Waiting to die is more uncomfortable than being killed directly. Besides, don't you still have me here? Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu immediately looked at him with a helpless expression. Very quickly, the two of them caught up with the others. Then they went to a restaurant. The restaurant was very large, but there was not a single person in sight. Zhao Hao was wondering if there was any food. I didn't get to eat dinner because I was working overtime, and I've been running all the way here, and now I'm starving. At the same time, Vong Tu Dang was very excited. Restaurants usually have a back door. Let's split up and look for it. That, he looked at the other two and began to draw a picture. Don't worry about finding food. Find a way out first. Once we're out, I'll treat you to a feast of delicacies. As many girls as you want, I'll give you as many as you want. Fu Wang Hu looked around on his own. I'm afraid I don't have that kind of luck. Seeing this, Go Dai Hai hurriedly flattered him. Young Master Vong, don't pay attention to that kid. Even if there isn't a cave, I'll try to dig one for you. At the same time, a colleague behind him shouted, there's a door here. Hearing this, Vong Tu Dang immediately became excited. Don't touch it, let me. He happily ran to the door, muttering to himself, I'm saved, I'm saved. Then he turned the doorknob, and rushed in first. Seeing this, everyone followed suit. At the end, there was a narrow door. The closer they got, the more uneasy Fu Wang Hu felt. The environment became darker and darker, and the light was suppressed, as if it was hinting that they were entering the land of evil spirits. The space inside could not be called a door to life, but rather a dead end. Very quickly, everyone ran to the end. At this moment, Vong Tu Dang discovered that the door was unlocked. He opened the door, but it was filled with furniture. Fortunately, there were no ghosts inside. Seeing this, Vong Tu Dang no longer had the cheerful expression he had before, but was extremely angry and gritted his teeth. Damn it, there's no way out of this place at all. We've been tricked by the ghost. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu was still calm. Did we take the wrong path? It seems that we should have taken the left path next time. Then he looked back with a serious face. It's too late to go back now. Although we could sacrifice one person to help the others escape, no one knows how far we have to run, nor do we know how many more people we will have to kill. It's better to go back and find the female ghost so that we can die and be reborn. After thinking for a while, 
Fuang Hu resolutely turned back. Seeing this, Zhao Hao hurriedly stopped him. Brother Hu, if you go back now, you'll definitely run into the female ghost. But just as Fuang Hu was about to step out of the door, a voice of reproach came from behind. How strange. If it weren't for you choosing the wrong path, would we be trapped here? Fuang Hu was not angry at all, but smiled slyly. Blaming me? Humans are really interesting. Seeing this, Zhao Hao retorted angrily. Brother Hu didn't force you guys either. Didn't you guys follow him willingly? You guys were the ones who asked for directions earlier. And now that you've taken the wrong path, you're blaming him? If you're capable, then choose for yourselves. Immediately after, Go Dai Hai said sarcastically, we're not capable. But at least we wouldn't make decisions on our own like he did. If we don't know the way, we can discuss it. We trusted him, and let him choose. Who knew that he would just close his eyes and choose randomly? These words made Zhao Hao, who was not good at talking, so angry that he couldn't speak. At the same time, Vong Tu Dang stepped forward to stop the two people who were arguing. All right, stop arguing. It's useless to argue until the heavens and earth fall apart. Our urgent task now is to find a way to survive and escape. Then he analyzed based on what Fuang Hu had said earlier. According to my observation, this ghost only attacks one person at a time. Then there will be two to three minutes of safety. So the only way right now is to choose one person to lure the ghost away to create an opportunity for everyone to escape. When Vong Tu Dang finished speaking, the atmosphere in the room immediately became strange. Fuang Hu, who was beside him, smiled slightly, because he knew that Vong Tu Dang had a plan in mind. When everyone was blaming him, it would not be strange to be chosen to die. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu couldn't help but laugh. At the same time, Vong Tu Dang took the initiative to attack, advancing towards Fuang Hu. Then he pushed Fuang Hu with force, and at the same time said loudly, if it weren't for you, everyone wouldn't have fallen into this predicament. Therefore, Fuang Hu, you must atone for your sins. Seeing this, Zhao Hao shouted angrily, what are you doing? Let go of brother Hu. With that, he ran towards Vong Tu Dang. At the same time, Vong Tu Dang turned around and looked at everyone. You guys hurry up and help me. Hearing this, everyone looked at each other and fell into a stalemate. At this moment, Zhao Hao from behind strangled Vong Tu Dang's neck. Let go of brother Hu. Vong Tu Dang panicked and hurriedly shouted towards Go Dai Hai. Go Dai Hai. Why aren't you coming to help me? Receiving the signal, Go Dai Hai immediately reacted, directly using his fat body to press down on the thin Zhao Hao. Very quickly, Zhao Hao was pressed to the ground. Young Master Vong, I've restrained him. At the same time, Zhao Hao kept struggling. You're despicable. Get lost, you dead pig. Let go of me. Vong Tu Dang was kneeling on the ground, panting. Right at this moment, Fuang Hu suddenly slammed the iron door shut, making a loud noise. Hearing the noise, the people who were still fighting shouted in confusion. Who did that? At this moment, Fuang Hu was standing at the door, looking inside through the window on the door. At this moment, the inside and outside of the door were like two different worlds. Outside, Fuang Hu looked at them with a strange look, while inside, everyone had a look of shock, and the girls covered their eyes and didn't dare to look. It's not related to me. I didn't do anything. Zhao Hao couldn't even stand up, and cried out in pain, Brother Hu. At this moment, Vong Tu Dang looked into the small window on the door. A pale face was smiling and looking at them calmly. Seeing this, he immediately felt a chill, and then asked in horror, Are you a human or a ghost? Human or a ghost? Fuang Hu suddenly said calmly, I always thought that I wouldn't be interested in humans, but I didn't expect that humans are much more interesting than ghosts. Then he raised his head and smiled at them. Thank you. Thanks to you guys, I have regained my interest in this world. Next time, I will repay you guys very well. At the same time, a crackling sound was heard. A female doctor quickly walked towards Fuang Hu, and Fuang Hu also heard the noise, but he didn't even turn his head, still smiling at them. Immediately after, with a swoosh, a silver light flashed. Fuang Hu's head fell off, but his expression didn't change, still smiling at them. When Fuang Hu's body hit the ground hard, Vong Tu Dang inside the house shouted, run now. With that, he and Go Dai Hai quickly opened the door, and ran outside desperately. As for Zhao Hao, his eyes were filled with tears at this moment, and he cried out in pain, Brother Hu, I'm coming to save you. At the same time, as Vong Tu Dang was running away, he didn't forget to turn his head and look at Fuang Hu smugly, but the triumphant look on his face suddenly disappeared, replaced by a look of shock. Zhao Hao was seen holding Fuang Hu's head, crying like rain, 
but Fuang Hu still kept smiling, his eyes calm as if he was quietly looking at Vong Tu Dang. As for Vong Tu Dang, his heart was filled with fear. When he saw Fuang Hu's head, his heart stopped beating. He also felt Fuang Hu seemed to be saying, you wait. In a flash, a cold feeling, smoothly transmitted from Fuang Hu's palm. At this moment, Fuang Hu adjusted his head, muttering, it's back. Then he immediately stood up, and said calmly, let's go. Seeing this, Zhao Hao was not yet satisfied. Full of doubts, Brother Hu, why are we leaving? Didn't you say that Fuang Hu said again, it's silicon. Then Fuang Hu led Zhao Hao away, a sly smile on the corner of his mouth. Not long after, they met Vong Tu Dang and the others again. At this moment, Fuang Hu was still the same as before, jumping down from the stairs. Then he went downstairs without looking back. At the same time, Zhao Hao looked at everyone with a puzzled look. Why are you guys running so slowly? The eloquent man also looked puzzled. Slow? We've already gone down at least 20 floors. On the other side, Fuang Hu repeated what he did before he died, counting the steps as he went down. At the same time, Bong Tu Dang and the others were still arguing, we've been tricked by the ghost, we keep going around in circles. Before they could finish speaking, they only heard a loud bang as Fuang Hu opened the iron door. Seeing this, everyone was stunned. Didn't they say that the ghost was tricking us? How did we find the exit so quickly? Zhao Hao smiled. What are you guys still standing there for? Run quickly. At this moment, Vong Tu Dang's expression was complicated. He looked at Fuang Hu in front of him with a puzzled look. Have you already awakened your spiritual sense? Very quickly, they arrived at the fork in the road again. Just like before, Vong Tu Dang was the first to speak. Just now, you found the door immediately. You must know the way out, right? Fuang Hu, quickly lead us out of here. As long as you lead us out, everyone will definitely repay you. But at this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but looked at his phone himself. Then he said calmly, there's one minute left. In one minute, the ghost will appear. Hearing this, Vong Tu Dang was overjoyed, so you also know the time when the ghost will appear. It seems that you have really become a spiritual master. As long as you get me out of the ghost, I will give you 5 million yuan. After saying that, Fuang Hu slowly turned his head. The smile on his face also became clear. Seeing this, Vong Tu Dang was very expectant. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu smiled strangely. Don't worry. Before we go, I have one more thing to do. Vong Tu Dang looked at him with a puzzled look, and even felt a strange ominous feeling. Suddenly, Fuang Hu kicked him straight in the crotch. Immediately, a scream of misery resounded throughout the place. For a moment, it seemed as if there was the sound of an egg breaking. At this moment, Vong Tu Dang's face was twisted, his sweat pouring like rain, and screams of misery came from his mouth. As for Fuang Hu, he watched him kneel on the ground, painfully clutching his crotch, feeling elated. Then Fuang Hu looked at him with a sly smile, 5 million yuan to save your eggs. He tried to suppress the pain and slowly opened his mouth, if you think it's too little, just say so. Why did you have to kick my eggs? Fuang Hu looked at him indifferently, watching him roll around on the ground and moan. At this moment, the people around were all angry, especially the henchman Wu Dehai, who pointed at Fuang Hu and scolded him, Fuang Hu, what are you doing? Why did you suddenly kick someone? Why did you hit someone out of the blue? Moreover, you used such a despicable move. Hearing this, Fuang Hu calmly explained, the speed of this ghost is much faster than that of a human, so someone will definitely die in another minute. But now that Vong Tu Dang is incapacitated, then the one who will die is definitely him, so I'm saving everyone. Hearing this, everyone was stunned. Wu Dehai was even more bewildered, not understanding what was going on. Saving us? Something doesn't seem right. Just then, Fuang Hu made his move again. Then came the familiar sound of shattering. At this moment, Wu Dehai's face was twisted, and he cried out in pain. Fuang Hu stood beside him and looked at him indifferently, I told you, I'm saving everyone, and you deserve to die a long time ago. Only to see that Wu Dehai's posture at this moment was exactly the same as Vong Tu Dang's, at this moment was exactly the same as Vong Tu Dang's. Clutching his crotch and moaning in pain, the screams of misery were endless, but his endurance was obviously not as good as Vong Tu Dang's. After two screams of misery, he foamed at the mouth and fainted. Seeing this, Zhao Hao was so scared that he subconsciously hugged his crotch, Brother Fuang, you're too ruthless. Another person looked at him in confusion, and then glared at Fuang Hu angrily, what do you want to do after all? In a short period of time, for some unknown reason, he suddenly made two moves, directly seriously injuring two people at the same time. Fuang Hu turned around directly, ignoring him, 
Immediately afterwards, he walked straight ahead by himself, but the man still wouldn't let it go, and angrily shouted, attacking young master Vong was to save us, then what was the point of attacking manager Wu? Suddenly, Fuang Hu turned his head slightly, and looked at him with an unchanging expression, to keep one as a spare. Hearing this, Zhao Hao raised his hands, as expected, brother Fuang is still the most cautious. As for the man from before, he gritted his teeth in anger, and immediately choked on his words. At this moment, everyone was scared and started to talk, it's already over after wasting one person. You still wanted to keep one as a spare? Is he still human? It's really destroying the three views. At the same time, Fuang Hu stood at the crossroads, pointing in one direction, the right is the way of death, if you want to live, go left, you don't have much time. After saying that, Fuang Hu folded his arms across his chest, leaned against the wall and closed his eyes. At this moment, everyone looked at Fuang Hu with suspicion. If the left is the way to live, why didn't you go by yourself? Is there any danger in the corridor ahead? You also regard us as a spare. Hearing this, Fuang Hu calmly looked at everyone, and opened his mouth to say, I'm waiting to touch the thigh, and you only have 10 seconds left to escape. Immediately after he finished speaking, everyone present, except Zhao Hao, thought they had misheard. They looked at him with incredulous expressions. What do you mean by touching the thigh? At this moment, Zhao Hao was very excited. There was another chance. Brother Fuang, touch the thigh. Take me with you. He he, thigh, I'm coming. Just now, when the two men were questioning Fuang Hu, suddenly the familiar sound of bones moving rang out, only to see the female doctor attacking from the ceiling. Her head turned 180 degrees, her eyes staring at the people below. Immediately, both of them panicked and screamed. The man shouted to the woman behind him, quick, run to the left. Immediately, the two turned around and started running wildly, but they were afraid that Fuang Hu was deceiving them. After a while, they began to hesitate and stopped at the door of the corridor on the left. Then they huddled in a corner in fear, looking towards Fuang Hu outside. It was only to see that Fuang Hu not only did not run, but also stood still calmly. At this moment, the female doctor had reached the top of their heads. Seeing this, Vong Tu Dang looked at Fuang Hu in panic, Brother Fuang, save me. Before he could finish speaking, Vong Tu Dang suddenly realized that something was wrong. Immediately, he raised his hand to his eyes and froze in place. He only saw that Vong Tu Dang's hand was dripping with blood. At this moment, he went completely mad, with both hatred and anger in his eyes. Immediately afterwards, he reached out towards Fuang Hu's trouser leg, and at the same time roared in pain, Fuang Hu, you're going to die with me. Just hearing a thud, Fuang Hu directly stomped down with one foot, down with one foot, stamping his hand firmly under his foot. The severe pain made him cry out. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu slowly sat down, looking at him, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere, I'll be here with you. Suddenly Fuang Hu's expression changed, becoming fierce and gloomy, not only will I be here with you, but I'll be here to watch you die. At the same time, the female doctor's hand was on his face. Seeing this, he screamed in pain, number. In the next second, with Vong Tu Dang's final scream, with a crack, Vong Tu Dang's neck was snapped right there. At this moment, his eyes were filled with extreme terror and boundless hatred. He died with his eyes open. At the same time, Vong Tu Dang's blood splattered all over Fuang Hu's face. With that warm feeling, he froze in place. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu stuck out his tongue and licked the blood. This is the taste of revenge. This is the first time he has tasted the taste of revenge. At this moment, Fuang Hu was very excited. Stroking his hair, this feeling is not bad. At this moment, Fuang Hu could feel his heartbeat. His heart beating. He hugged his chest, his whole body trembling. Immediately afterwards, he laughed wildly. Is my heart beating so fast? At this moment, he couldn't help but start to imagine. Imagining one day, what it would be like to have his wife die in his arms. What a beautiful sight that would be. But very quickly afterwards, Fuang Hu's expression returned to normal, as if nothing had happened. Then Fuang Hu went behind the female doctor, put one leg on her shoulder and started to grope her thigh as usual. At this moment, the two people in the distance were completely terrified by Fuang Hu's actions. The two looked at each other, their cold sweat dripping down. Just now he said he was touching her thigh, so it was true. Touching the thigh of a ghost? Suddenly, Fuang Hu turned his head to look at Zhao Hao beside him. Before being reborn, Zhao Hao's actions in the storage room, Fuang Hu still remembered very clearly. Although there was no emotional fluctuation in his heart, Fuang Hu still hoped to be able to help Zhao Hao more. After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu suddenly shouted, 
which scared Zhao Hao as if he had been struck by lightning. He only saw Fuang Hu pulling his thigh with one hand. He only saw Fuang Hu pull his thigh with one hand, and put one hand towards Zhao Hao, his face covered in blood. The snow-white skin contrasted with the bright red blood, creating a strange and eerie beauty. Seeing this scene, the two people who had just been scared away by the ghost were now scared to death by Fuang Hu. Oh my god, a ghost. At this moment, Zhao Hao also opened his mouth in surprise. Hearing this, Fuang Hu was stunned. So that's it. It seems that dying 21 times has left my brain with nothing but thoughts of revenge and madness. Fuang Hu could feel that it was very difficult for him to have any emotional fluctuation at the moment. His humanity was also gradually disappearing. But Zhao Hao and he were different. If he didn't want to, he wouldn't force him. Right at this moment, because of a moment of hesitation, Zhao Hao finally decided to trust Fuang Hu. Immediately afterwards, he said to Fuang Hu in a loud voice, my family is very ordinary. My appearance is ordinary, and I'm always the outcast at the real estate agency. Only brother Hu is willing to play with me. Only you really treat me as a friend. After saying that, he scratched his face in embarrassment and shame. That's why I trust you, brother Hu. But you look so scary. The blood on his face splattered as if he had just killed a pig. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao took a step towards Fuang Hu. But at this moment, he accidentally kicked Vong Tu Dang's head. Seeing this, Zhao Hao hurriedly lifted his foot, clasped his hands together, Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, young master Vong, I didn't mean to call you a pig. After saying that, the corner of Zhao Hao's mouth curled up, his face flushed red, and he reached out his hand, the two of you, start slowly groping your thighs. Suddenly, Zhao Hao asked suspiciously, Brother Hu, why did you choose to attack Vong Tu Dang and go die high? Fuang Hu calmly explained, this ghost has a speed that humans can't match. If we want to survive, we can only use human lives to buy time. And with their status, who do you think they would push out as a sacrifice? Is it me, who has a conflict with them? Or you, who has always been looked down upon? Hearing this, Zhao Hao's face turned slightly pale. Just as he was about to speak, Fuang Hu suddenly raised his hand and interrupted him. Immediately afterwards, he said seriously, do you feel a cold air entering your body? Zhao Hao was stunned, then shook his head, number, moment, then shook his head, number. At this moment, Fuang Hu's heart skipped a beat. He carefully felt it, it was not an illusion. A strange cold air flowed from the female doctor's thigh into the palm of his hand, then spread throughout his body from the palm of his hand. Could this be the invasion of demonic power? At this moment, he closed his eyes, carefully feeling it. Such a weak cold air. He didn't feel anything when he touched his own thigh before. Could it be because he was about to reach a certain critical point now? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu opened his eyes. Could this be a sign that he was about to awaken his spiritual sense? At the same time, Zhao Hao next to him, his face flushed red, was changing the way he caressed his thigh. The cold air invaded his body. What's the matter with this cold air? I have to say, these legs are quite cold. Is it because my posture is not right? Seeing this, Fuang Hu was immediately speechless. A moment later, Zhao Hao looked towards Fuang Hu. Brother Hu, it's almost time, right? Let's go quickly. Hearing this, Fuang Hu, who was closing his eyes to feel it, said, not yet. Where is Go Dai Hai? I feel like I'm about to awaken my spiritual sense. Feel like I'm about to awaken my spiritual sense. At the same time, Go Dai Hai lay on one side, trembling. At this moment, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with joy. Really? Are you about to awaken your spiritual sense? Then aren't we saved? Immediately afterwards, he scratched his face in embarrassment again. But what does it feel like to awaken your spiritual sense? Why don't I feel anything? Hearing this, Fuang Hu said with a serious face, although you have been in contact with ghosts for a long time, you have never experienced a real life and death situation. So psychologically, you don't meet the standard. Therefore, you can't feel it. After saying that, Fuang Hu pulled Zhao Hao back to a corner. Very quickly after that, the female doctor grabbed Go Dai Hai, skillfully and happily began to cut the flesh. At this moment, after knowing the reason, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu, wanting to say something but stopped. Obviously, I have always been with Brother Hu, so how did he experience such a life and death situation? After the female doctor dismembered the body, she hugged Go Dai Hai and began to eat. Seeing this, the two of them stepped forward and continued to feel the thighs. This Go Dai Hai has a lot of fat. This Go Dai Hai has a lot of fat. Resisting for five minutes is no problem. But Fuang Hu still decided to only touch for two minutes, reserving three minutes to escape. Then he closed his eyes again, his palm stroking unconsciously, seriously feeling the cold air coming in. In his perception, more and more cold air gathered in his body. But after entering the body, 
these cold air currents were like salt in the sea, disappearing without a trace. This situation made Fuang Hu quite confused. He could feel these demonic air currents constantly invading his body. But where did they end up? Is it the spiritual sense? At this moment, he couldn't help but immerse himself in his consciousness. Letting his consciousness follow the cold air current, like a leaf boat drifting on a river, finally merging into the vast sea. And here, Fuang Hu felt a grey heart beating slowly, covered with a layer of dust, looking very dirty and all the cold air currents finally entered the heart, while the spiritual sense had no fixed shape. That is to say, I can control the shape of the spiritual sense. Control the shape of the spiritual sense. Immediately, Fuang Hu moved his mind. The gray heart slowly turned into a knife. It could even turn into himself. As more and more cold air currents entered the heart, it gradually emitted a faint light. Immediately afterwards, all the demonic air currents began to gather towards the opening of the heart, gathering into a bright red light. Then they entered the opening of the spiritual sense. Until finally, all the red light merged into the black light, forming a bright red sphere. Finally, everything returned to silence. At the same time, Fuang Hu's five senses also became extremely sensitive. All faction, hearing, and taste were all enhanced. And in addition to the senses, even the reaction speed of the nerves, the ability to control the body were all enhanced. He could easily reveal the potential strength in his muscles. At this moment, Fuang Hu slowly opened his eyes, suddenly discovering that it was as if a thin veil had been gently lifted. The most authentic world was completely exposed before his eyes. At this moment, he was lost in thought. Could this be the spiritual sense? It is a product of the spiritual sense being distorted by demonic power. And at this moment, Fuang Hu's spiritual sense has only been awakened by about 1%. It is necessary to have enough demonic power to merge before the greater power of the spiritual sense can be exerted. The ability of the spirit healers to heal is a manifestation of the power of the spiritual sense. In the depths of one's heart, what is most important, what is most desired, what is most needed, will manifest itself. At this moment, Fuang Hu couldn't help but doubt his own ability. Or to put it another way, what is the most desired thing in the depths of his heart? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu began to exert, exerting his pitch black spiritual sense power. Immediately afterwards, he hugged his chest, his face uncomfortable, because his ability is pain. His attacks can make the attacked person feel pain. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was a little disappointed. Is this also called an ability? At the same time, Fuang Hu also understood that it turned out that his heart was full of pain. But when Fuang Hu began to exert his ability, he was surprised to find that a familiar pain surged in his heart. Surprised to find that a familiar pain surged in his heart. Whether it is the physical pain of dying, or the negative emotions and psychological distortions, it was not until this moment that he fully understood what his ability was. It is to make the enemy feel the pain that he has endured. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu couldn't help but laugh coldly. Immediately afterwards, he couldn't help but burst out laughing. Wonderful. I'm so satisfied with this ability. At this moment, Zhao Hao next to him was so frightened that his mouth was wide open, questioning him. Brother Hu, did you succeed? But Fuang Hu did not answer, but instead threw his head back and laughed loudly. At this moment, his heart was screaming violently, extremely excited, to make the evil spirits feel the same pain as him. Is there anything more wonderful than this in the world? This is what he desired most in his heart. Suddenly, Fuang Hu's eyes became fierce. He thought of his wife. Fuang Hu was immersed in this state and could not get out of it, as if he had suddenly reached the climax, closed his eyes to enjoy it and smirked smugly. Suddenly, Zhao Hao next to him interrupted Fuang Hu. Brother Hu. Two minutes. Hearing this, Fuang Hu's expression immediately became calm. Then he looked at Zhao Hao seriously. You stay away for a while. I want to try out the power of the spiritual sense. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao was overjoyed, immediately giving him a thumbs up, and at the same time slowly retreating. In that case, have you really become a spirit healer like Wang Ziting said? That's great. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu walked towards the female doctor, slowly walking in front of her. He stood there looking at the female doctor eating. Then Fuang Hu raised his left hand, and at the same time infused it with spiritual sense. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu clenched his fist with all his might, assuming a posture of preparation to punch. This punch contained all the pain he had endured after dying 21 times. Who could stop this level? And as the number of deaths increased, the pain would also accumulate and compound, meaning that this was an infinitely enhancing ability. Let her be the first to feel this pain. With that, Fuang Hu punched the female doctor hard in the face. The female doctor who was eating did not react at all. At the same time, 
the female doctor suddenly let out a scream of pain. Then her body collapsed to the ground, her hands tightly covering her cheeks as she screamed continuously. Even her eating utensils, the scalpel, also fell to the ground. Although the female doctor looked very painful, it was obvious that it was not as painful as he had been before. This punch was generally not very effective, it only activated one spiritual sense, then it was exhausted. Very quickly afterwards, the female doctor recovered as before, and continued to eat by herself. At this moment, Fuang Hu stood there lost in thought. The female ghost's head had no obvious wounds. The punch could not break through her defense, resulting in the transmission of the spiritual sense being blocked. It seemed that the power of the fist was limited. It was best to use a weapon. But could ordinary weapons transmit spiritual sense? Just then, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with doubt. Brother Hu, shouldn't we run yet? Immediately afterwards, he started drooling again, looking at her thighs with a greedy expression. If we don't leave yet, I'll touch it again, hee hee. At the same time, Fuang Hu suddenly noticed the scalpel on the ground. At that moment the corners of his mouth curled up. Speaking of weapons, isn't there one ready here? Fuang Hu did not hesitate, directly squatted down to pick it up. When he held it, he felt very cold, like a block of ice. At the same time, as soon as he held it, Fuang Hu felt an extremely intense negative emotion that began to continuously attack his mind. This power contained resentment, the anger and hatred of countless people. Not long after, intermittent images continuously appeared in Fuang Hu's mind. There were countless half-human, half-ghost demons tied to the operating table. It was also at this moment that Fuang Hu fully understood. In this mental hospital, the female doctor had once used this scalpel to experiment on ghosts. Therefore, it had absorbed the resentment of countless ghosts, and the female doctor had been driven mad by its resentment, and then transformed into a ghost. This also meant that, this knife was the real ghost, and the female doctor had only been affected by it. Dot, and the female doctor had only been influenced by it. At this moment, Fuang Hu once again revealed an evil smile. So, if I get this knife, will I be able to kill the female doctor? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu was eager to try it out. Immediately afterwards, he walked in front of the female doctor again and told Zhao Hao to stay away. Zhao Hao was immersed in pleasure, his face full of embarrassment, his hands spread out, I've only just touched it for a while, but suddenly he saw the knife in Fuang Hu's hand, and hurriedly changed his tone, alright, Fuang Hu's face was expressionless, and he began to gather his strength, immediately afterwards, a silver light flashed past, followed by a crisp sound of metal clashing, the female doctor's neck was completely unharmed, at this moment, Zhao Hao hurriedly covered his ears, the sound really made one's hair stand on end. Fuang Hu was extremely shocked, and stared at him in disbelief, impossible. At the same time, Zhao Hao lifted up the female doctor's collar to check, and was also extremely shocked and puzzled. Brother Hu, this knife looks very sharp, but why is it that when you cut her, she doesn't get hurt? Stabbed into her body? As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao reached out and touched her neck. Immediately, his saliva flowed 3,000 feet, and his small face flushed red. Her skin is so smooth, and it's cool too. It's so comfortable to the touch. Hearing this, Fuang Hu paid no attention, and looked at the female doctor in deep thought. The scalpel can cut countless ghosts. Why didn't it work when it cut her? At that moment, Fuang Hu suddenly reacted. Could it be spiritual sense? This scalpel needs spiritual sense to control it. But now, my spiritual sense is exhausted, so I can't unleash its true power. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu gritted his teeth. Looks like I can't get revenge for the time being. At that moment, the female ghost doctor suddenly dropped her food, and stared at them. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not hesitate, and pulled Zhao Hao around to run away. Zhao Hao didn't understand what was going on, his face full of unwillingness. Brother Hu, I haven't even touched it yet. Hearing this, Fuang Hu was helpless. Run first, there's no time now. Now, at the same time, the female ghost doctor suddenly stood up and looked around, her mouth constantly muttering, where's the knife? On the other side, Fuang Hu and the other person quickly ran out of the corridor, and then came to a large hall. The hall was very empty and quiet. Suddenly, Fuang Hu noticed some movement. Ever since his spiritual sense was enlightened, his senses had become more acute. He could very easily hear the two people's rapid breathing and anxious heartbeats. Immediately afterwards, he stared at a pillar next to him. It turned out that they were hiding very well. He could only see two colleagues hiding behind the pillar. Their heads tilted in fear as they looked out. When they saw Fuang Hu, the two of them finally let go of their hearts that had been hanging in the balance. At the same time, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with a troubled expression, 
there are four doors to the east, west, south, and north. Which way should we go? As soon as he finished speaking, the two colleagues who had finished observing immediately stepped out from behind the pillar. Zhao Hao didn't know what was going on, and was so scared that his soul almost left his body. At this moment, he saw the female colleague crying with joy. That's great. You two are okay. The man looked at the two of them with a serious expression. Fuang Hu. Serious expression. Fuang Hu. You lead the way. We've been waiting here for you for a long time. As soon as he heard this, Zhao Hao immediately widened his eyes. Hey, didn't you two run very fast just now? Now you want brother Hu to show you the way? You two are really shameless. Seeing this, the two of them smiled wryly, and were momentarily speechless. At this moment, Fuang Hu paid no attention to the two of them, but stared at the four doors with a very calm expression. After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu replied to Zhao Hao seriously. It's very simple. Just try each door one by one. As soon as he said this, the three people beside him were all stunned, and looked at Fuang Hu in astonishment. At this moment, the male colleague looked displeased. We're racing against time. How do we have time to try each door one by one? At this moment, Fuang Hu paid no attention, but walked towards a door. Too much talk. If you want to go, go. If you don't want to go, then don't. At the same time, Zhao Hao also followed. Seeing this, the two colleagues behind didn't know what to do, and could only look at Fuang Hu with unease. At this moment, a ghost's roar resounded throughout the area, everywhere, causing the two of them to be so scared that their hair stood on end. Immediately afterwards, the ceiling also began to shake like before. The two of them didn't know what to do, and could only stare at the ceiling. The female colleague was so scared that she started to cry. Ghost. Ghost. It's caught up to us. The man looked puzzled. How is that possible? Wang Ziding and Wu Dehai were the two people who. How could it be so fast? At this moment, Fuang Hu suddenly thought of something. It was very possible that it was because he had attacked the ghost, or because he had taken its scalpel, that he had broken its rule of killing in order. Seeing this, the three of them sped up, and quickly ran towards the large door. He quickly pushed open the old door, and then shouted, Run quickly. As they entered the door, they discovered that this was a staircase leading upstairs. So Fuang Hu led everyone and began to desperately run upstairs. At this moment, Fuang Hu was leading the way. Zhao Hao was following closely behind. The other two colleagues were still arguing. The woman's physical strength was not as good as the others, so she panicked and pulled the man in front of her. Wait for me, it's caught up to us. Seeing this, the man looked at the woman angrily. Let go of me, don't drag me down. At the same time, there was a loud crash behind the two of them. A figure flashed into the stairwell like lightning. The female ghost doctor was lying on the ceiling, slowly turning her head. The sound of her bones creaking was terrifying. Immediately afterwards, its limbs clung to the ceiling, and it stared at the people below with ferocity. At the same time, it made a difficult sound. Give it back to me. Everyone thought that it would be like every other time, and that the last person running would be eaten. However, this time, it was unexpected, completely ignored the others, and quickly chased after Fuang Hu up the stairs. At this moment, the two colleagues were trembling with fear, and looked in horror at the direction Fuang Hu had disappeared in. Zhao Hao, who was following Fuang Hu, touched his thigh a few times, and was obviously much calmer than the others. At the same time, he discovered something unusual. Immediately afterwards, he shouted towards the stairs, Brother Hu, over here. As soon as he finished speaking, the female ghost doctor stopped beside Fuang Hu. She glared at Fuang Hu angrily, and suddenly uttered a single word, knife. After observing, the female ghost doctor curled her lips, stared at Fuang Hu, and opened her mouth to say, give me back my knife. At the same time, from the ceiling, she jumped down. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not have time to dodge, and was immediately knocked to the ground by her, and his arm was grabbed by the female ghost doctor. Immediately afterwards, the female ghost doctor roared angrily, opened her bloody mouth wide, and bit down hard on Fuang Hu's neck. There was only the sound of a thud, and blood splattered everywhere. Fuang Hu died once again, and at the same time, it showed that the west door was not open. As for Fuang Hu, after he was resurrected, he had to experience everything he had encountered before once again. However, all of his choices were no different from before. Once again, he kicked the testicles of Wang Ziding and Wu Dehai. Of course, he could not give up the scalpel. As usual, as soon as he picked up the knife, the female ghost doctor immediately stopped eating, and glared at Fuang Hu angrily. Where is my knife? At this moment, Fuang Hu raised the scalpel, looked at Zhao Hao, and excitedly shouted, Run quickly. Zhao Hao panicked and ran away. This time, Fuang Hu chose to run to the north door, and the north was an elevator that could be used. Fuang Hu ran into the elevator without hesitation, and pressed the up button. 
but because the elevator was too old, the startup speed was extremely slow. Seeing this, Fuang Hu used the hand turning speed he had practiced for 20 years and continuously pressed the elevator button. But just as the elevator door was about to close, a pale white hand suddenly reached in and pushed open the closing elevator door. Immediately afterwards, the pale white hand reached towards Fuang Hu. There was a thud and blood splattered everywhere. Fuang Hu once again proved that the north door was not open, and when he was resurrected once again, this time Fuang Hu chose the south door. The south door was the operating room, which was in chaos, with broken medical equipment everywhere. The deadliest thing about the south door was the dead end. At the same time, the female ghost doctor was lying in a corner, staring at him, only a step away from Fuang Hu. Immediately afterwards, the female ghost doctor pounced on him, and directly knocked Fuang Hu to the ground. One person and one ghost stared at each other. Immediately afterwards, blood splattered everywhere. Fuang Hu died once again. Now there was only one way left, and that was the east door. If this door was still a dead end, Fuang Hu would have no choice but to give up the scalpel. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu felt very unwilling. Although the female ghost doctor was much faster than him, he could use multiple resurrections to predict her attack trajectory. To some extent, resurrection was equivalent to predicting the future, and Fuang Hu clearly remembered that there was an emergency exit to the left of this place. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu took a big step, and walked towards the emergency exit. However, before he had run far, several strands of black energy appeared behind him, and began to wrap around Fuang Hu's neck. Immediately afterwards, there was a swish, and Fuang Hu's head was separated from his neck, welcoming his ninth resurrection. Standing on the brink of death, Fuang Hu thought that he had come very close to the emergency exit, and that next time he would definitely succeed that he would definitely succeed next time. At this moment, he pointed to the east, and said resolutely, let's go east. This time, he did not make a move on Wang Ziting and Wu Dehai, but unhesitatingly led Zhao Hao to run towards the east door. Wang Ziting and Wu Dehai also ran closely behind, but just after they had run into the east door, the familiar and creepy sound of bones cracking came again. Wang Ziting and Wu Dehai heard the sound, and were immediately terrified. Looking at the two of them who were about to pee their pants, they desperately ran in the corridor, afraid of becoming the last one. However, the ghost completely ignored them, and jumped directly over their heads, rushing straight towards Fuang Hu. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not look back, but just ran straight ahead. The female ghost doctor, on the other hand, continued to chase him from behind. Seeing this, Zhao Hao behind shouted, Brother Hu, hurry up. But before he could finish speaking, he was stunned by what he saw next. He saw that the female ghost doctor's hand had reached behind Fuang Hu's back, and was fiercely grabbing his head. As for Fuang Hu, it was as if he had eyes behind his back, and he only saw him tilt his head slightly. And the pale and strange hand almost brushed past his ear. Seeing this, the female ghost doctor was also shocked, her eyes wide open like two copper bells. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at it calmly, and could not help but sneer. Zhao Hao behind him was also very confused at this moment. At this moment, Fuang Hu took advantage of the moment when the female ghost doctor was stunned, and quickly turned around and ran towards the end of the corridor. Seeing this, the female ghost doctor finally became angry. She glared fiercely and shouted, die, and quickly approached Fuang Hu, using the nine white bone claws on him. After one move missed, the female ghost doctor immediately launched a second attack, extremely fast, accompanied by a fierce whistling sound. Fuang Hu ducked down, dodging it once again. At this moment, the female ghost doctor's hands were almost like afterimages, constantly attacking him, but Fuang Hu was always able to remain calm, easily dodging the attacks. In the process, after several resurrections, Fuang Hu had completely memorized the attack trajectory. In addition, after lighting up the soul, his physical fitness had also been enhanced. Therefore, at present, as long as he relied on his memory to avoid its attack trajectory, he would be safe and sound. At this moment, Zhao Hao was very excited, and looked at Fuang Hu with an adoring expression. Brother Hu, you are really great, amazing. At the same time, the female ghost doctor was so angry at Fuang Hu's actions that she gritted her teeth. At this moment, she lay on the ceiling in anger, looking exactly like a giant humanoid spider. Suddenly, it jumped down from the ceiling. Immediately afterwards, the female ghost doctor opened her mouth wide, and rushed towards Fuang Hu fiercely. However, just as it rushed over, Fuang Hu staggered, as if he had been tripped by something, and his whole body suddenly fell forward. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu fell heavily to the 
the ground. At the same time, the female ghost doctor was rushing forward at high speed. Seeing this, Fuang Hu rolled over, and then slid artistically. Fuang Hu had perfectly avoided the attack, and where he had just fallen, Deep Pit was smashed out by the female ghost doctor. At this moment, the female ghost doctor was even more furious when she missed her attack. It suddenly turned its head and looked at Fuang Hu, Ong Hu, and kept mumbling, Die, die. At this moment, Fuang Hu turned his head slightly to glance at it, and then continued to run towards the fire escape. At the same time, Zhao Hao and the other two were all stunned, only feeling dizzy, even at a speed that the eye could not follow. Fuang Hu could still easily dodge many attacks. At this moment, the female ghost doctor became angry, roared and stomped her foot, and chased after Fuang Hu again. And Fuang Hu saw the passage emitting a blue-green light, and immediately used all his strength to accelerate towards the blue light. At this moment, Zhao Hao's heart was filled with both admiration and longing. Is this a spirit master? It's amazing. On the other side, Fuang Hu at the end of the passage finally saw the sign for the fire escape. This was also the first time he had seen this sign after nine resurrections. As long as this was the real exit, then they would be saved. But at this moment, Fuang Hu realized a problem. How to avoid the next? Could it be that he had to die a few more times? But at this moment, a strange scene occurred. The female ghost doctor was chasing madly behind. When she saw the sign, she not only suddenly stopped chasing, but also let out a mournful scream, and then quickly retreated. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was very suspicious. At this moment, he only saw it showing a look of horror, and was so frightened that his whole body was trembling. At this moment, Fuang Hu frowned, wondering why it had suddenly stopped chasing. The fact that the female ghost doctor had run away did not make him happy. On the contrary, it made Fuang Hu even more worried. It was terrified. Could there be something inside that even the female ghost doctor was afraid of? After the scream, the female ghost doctor suddenly turned around, and ran in the opposite direction at a lightning fast speed. At this moment, Zhao Hao and the other two also ran over, and accidentally bumped into the female ghost doctor. Immediately afterwards, a giant ball slammed into Zhao Hao's face. It immediately hit Zhao Hao in the face, causing him great pain. Because the female ghost doctor's speed was extremely fast, Zhao Hao was knocked down and fell backwards. The two colleagues beside him were so frightened that their souls flew away. At this moment, Zhao Hao held his face and adjusted his glasses, with a puzzled expression. Damn it, was that just now? It was cold, but soft and very elastic. At the same time, the two colleagues looked in the direction where the female ghost doctor had left, and looked at each other in confusion. Has it gone? On the other side, Zhao Hao hurriedly ran towards Fuang Hu. Brother Hu, are you okay? Why did that female ghost suddenly run away? Fuang Hu shook his head to indicate that he was fine, and then began to analyze. According to common logic, going out of this door is the exit. But why did the female ghost doctor run away when she saw the sign? At this moment, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with a bewildered expression. Brother Hu, what are you doing? Fuang Hu did not answer at this moment, but thought to himself, either she ran away suddenly, which can only prove that this place is most likely not the exit, but a hiding place for something that even she is afraid of. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at the sign, and it was clear that there was a passage behind the sign, and the passage was very dark, relying entirely on the sign for illumination, but one could still vaguely see the iron door at the end of the passage. One could still vaguely see the iron door at the end of the passage. Behind the iron door was only a black color, like a giant abyss, filled with unknown dangers. At the same time, the female colleague behind saw the fire escape, and immediately smiled. Let's go. The male colleague saw Fuang Hu standing still, and asked anxiously, why aren't you going? Is there something wrong with this path? Hearing this, Fuang Hu's face was expressionless, and he suddenly turned his head. He did not say what he was thinking, but said to take a break before leaving. After saying that, Fuang Hu sat down directly on the spot, and Zhao Hao and the others also sat down. It's good to rest for a while. We've been running for our lives for the past few minutes, and we can't run anymore. The female colleague took a deep breath, and the male colleague exclaimed, I never thought I would see a ghost in my life. At the same time, Fuang Hu began to close his eyes and rest his mind. He wanted to wait for his soul to recover. After all, the female ghost doctor had been scared away, and he could not even fight the female ghost doctor, fight the female ghost doctor, so he had to wait for his soul to recover before trying it out. Time passed quickly. After resting for half an hour, Fuang Hu suddenly opened his eyes, and then stood up, startling the three people. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu said with a serious face, 
let's go. When they entered the fire escape, they saw a pitch black color. Seeing this, Fuang Hu cautiously held onto the wall, and walked forward step by step. When they had walked a distance, no one had encountered any danger yet, but the more this was the case, the more Fuang Hu felt that something was wrong. A place that could scare people so much that they did not dare to enter. How could it be possible that there was no danger? The further they went in, the darker it became, and a strange atmosphere permeated the air, causing Zhao Hao and the other two to look around nervously, feeling uneasy. At the same time, Huang Hu, who was walking in front, approached the three people behind him, confirming once again that there were no casualties, and then continued to walk forward. After walking a distance, they suddenly saw an iron door. Apart from that, there was nothing unusual happening at the moment. At this moment, Huang Hu stood in front of the door, hesitating, not knowing if there was really danger hidden behind this door. But there was no other choice at the moment, and the worst outcome would be to go back again. After thinking, Huang Hu slowly pushed the door open. The door creaked open, and the inside of the door was pitch black, without a single ray of light, like a black hole. Seeing this, Zhao Hao looked at Huang Hu in fear. Brother Hu, is there really a path inside? Is there any danger? Hearing this, Fuang Hu said with a serious face, even if there is danger, we have to go. After saying that, he walked directly into the door. The darkness was like a giant abyss, slowly swallowing his figure. It was so dark here that he could not see anything. The strangest thing was that this place was deathly quiet, and he could not even hear his own voice. There were no footsteps, no breathing, and no calls. So much so that Fuang Hu still did not know if the other three people had followed him. Seeing this, he tried to open his mouth, but no matter how his vocal cords vibrated, but basically no sound was made, so he tried to turn his head. The door behind him had long since disappeared. He thought he was seeing things because he was tired, so he tried to rub his eyes, but the result was the same, only darkness all around. At this moment, Fuang Hu realized that the darkness had swallowed the path ahead, but by now there was no other way. Fuang Hu could only choose to continue moving forward. Now he could only keep walking forward, until he reached his destination to find the answer. As Fuang Hu followed the path ahead, the surroundings were still pitch black. He did not even know how long he had been walking. It seemed that the darkness had not only swallowed the path ahead, but also the sense of time. Moreover, this path seemed to have no end. The loneliness of the darkness was such that it could almost drive an ordinary person crazy. But it had no effect on Fuang Hu, because his heart was even darker than this path. However, just when Fuang Hu thought that he would be trapped to death in this darkness, that he would be trapped to death in this darkness, a ray of light suddenly appeared before his eyes. Immediately afterwards, the light slowly expanded, and the darkness retreated frantically. The surrounding scene rushed in like a tide. Suddenly, Fuang Hu was stunned. He looked at the familiar White Willow Academy in front of him, with an expression of disbelief and astonishment. I'm out? At this moment, the surrounding scene rushed in like a tide. He could only see people appearing on the street unexpectedly, surrounded by beautiful green trees, which was the tree-lined avenue leading to the White Willow Academy. Seeing this, Zhao Hao could not help but shout excitedly, Brother Hu, it's great, we've escaped from the ghost realm. But after a while, Fuang Hu still did not reply, so Zhao Hao looked around to find him, Brother Hu, where are you? At the same time, the female colleague looked around, with an expression of disbelief, we're really out? The male colleague's face was tense, let's get out of this hellish place quickly. Immediately afterwards, Zhao Hao saw Fuang Hu not far away, and said fearfully, Brother Hu, let's get out of here quickly. What if the strange things inside run out? At this moment, Fuang Hu did not reply, but stared at the White Willow Academy. Gradually, he frowned. No, that's not right. Where is this? At this moment, Fuang Hu suddenly realized, the Qingshan Mental Hospital is gone. He did not see it before because he had entered it. But now that he was out, he should have been able to see the mental hospital. Now he could not see it. Only the White Willow Academy remained. At this moment, Fuang Hu was lost in thought, and could not help but feel uneasy. Why was only the White Willow Academy left? Why did we not encounter any danger? Could it be that we were able to leave the ghost realm so easily? At this moment, Fuang Hu could not figure it out no matter how much he thought about it. It was obvious that the female doctor had only glanced at the sign, and had been so scared that she had turned and run away. But we did not encounter any danger. Was it possible that the female doctor had some kind of restriction that prevented her from leaving the mental hospital? But when she saw the exit, she ran away directly? At this moment, Zhao Hao walked up to Fuang Hu and urged him, Brother Hu, Brother Hu, let's go home and rest. After what happened today, I'm exhausted. Otherwise, I won't be able to work tomorrow. Hearing this, Fuang Hu seemed to wake up from his contemplation, and stared at Zhao Hao, 
go home, go to work? Zhao Hao turned his head, and said with a serious expression, yes, go home tonight and go to work tomorrow. At this moment, Fuang Hu discovered something else that shocked him greatly, the strange things that had once filled the streets, and even the indescribable strange things in the sky, had now disappeared without a trace. He looked around and could not help but step back, what the hell is going on? At this moment, Fuang Hu's heart was in complete chaos. Suddenly, he ran towards his home, and kept muttering like a madman, it's gone, it's impossible, it's impossible. Seeing this, Zhao Hao stood there, with a bewildered expression, brother Hu, what do you mean by, it's gone, what are you looking for? Fuang Hu could accept the fact that he had escaped unharmed for no reason, and could also accept the disappearance of the mental hospital, but the one thing he could not accept was the disappearance of the strange things. Fuang Hu ran for a long distance, and finally ran to the street, then stood in the middle of the road to stop the cars. Zhao Hao shouted frantically from behind, Brother Hu, what are you doing? Come back quickly, it's dangerous. But at this moment, Fuang Hu was in no mood to pay attention, and continued to stop cars in the middle of the road. Because at this moment, Fuang Hu just wanted to get home quickly. The disappearance of the strange things left him at a loss. If they disappeared, he would not be able to take revenge. Especially my gentle wife. You can only die by my hand. My wife, you must stay at home and wait for me. After that, Fuang Hu ran into the road and stopped a taxi, and hurriedly urged the driver to go straight to his apartment. In the car, Fuang Hu kept muttering, while the driver looked at him in the rearview mirror with a puzzled expression. What's wrong with this guy? Is he lovesick? Fuang Hu was trembling all over, and kept muttering, No, you can't disappear. You can't disappear. At least my wife absolutely can't disappear. At this moment, Fuang Hu showed an unprecedented look of panic. His eyes were bloodshot and he muttered, My wife, you can't leave. You definitely can't leave. Soon after, the taxi stopped at the entrance of Fuang Hu's apartment building. Seeing this, Fuang Hu rushed out like a cheetah, and ran towards his apartment. The driver hurriedly shouted, Hey, don't run, you haven't paid yet. But Fuang Hu's speed was extremely fast, and he had already disappeared into the night. But the driver did not dare to go after Fuang Hu to ask for money. Not to mention that he had the speed of a flying person. Just thinking about Fuang Hu's strange behavior in the car made the driver feel scared. At the same time, Fuang Hu was running frantically in the stairwell. Just like the outside world, he could not see any strange things in this apartment building. This made his spirit even more abnormal. With a loud bang, Fuang Hu pushed the door open, and rushed in frantically. Fuang Hu was sweating profusely, breathing heavily, but he did not intend to stop, and immediately searched frantically for his wife. In his heart, the whole world could disappear, but his wife could not. The living room was empty, and he ran all over the house, his eyes bloodshot as he shouted, My wife, come out, I see you. But no matter how he called, and searched every corner of the house, he could not find his beautiful and gentle wife. Seeing this, Fuang Hu collapsed to the ground. At this moment, his spirit completely collapsed. At this moment, Fuang Hu muttered soullessly, you have killed me 18 times, without you, how can I live the rest of my life, my wife, you can't disappear, after a long while, Fuang Hu slowly stood up, and then walked towards the bedroom as if he had lost his soul, I have died dozens of times, driven to despair by my wife and the female doctor, and it was my hatred for them that kept me alive, he walked into the room in despair and lay down, his eyes looking vaguely at the ceiling, I swear to take revenge on all the strange things, and let them taste the same pain as me. But now the strange things have disappeared. Where can I vent my hatred? What is the meaning of life? Just like that, he stared at the ceiling all night, until Zhao Hao's phone rang the next morning. Seeing this, Fuang Hu picked up the phone without any emotion, and only heard Zhao Hao say with great worry, Brother Hu, quickly look at the news. The news reported that the Bai Lu Academy was on fire. At 1949 last night, hearing the four words Bai Lu Academy, a gleam of light flashed in Fuang Hu's eyes, and then he immediately stood up to watch the news. The news only said that at 1940 last night, in the development zone of Lu Tang City, the sales office of Bai Lu Academy suddenly caught fire. The fire was not extinguished until 2200. According to statistics, the accident caused 11 deaths. After the identities were confirmed, the list of the deceased was as follows. Wang Zi Tang, Wu Da Hai, Fuang Hu, Zhao Hao, Li Fei Fei. Seeing this, Fuang Hu suddenly burst into a fit of excited laughter, 
Wonderful. It's great that I have the ability to come back to life after death. Fu Wang Hu saw the news of his own death. He was really excited and thrilled. This also meant that the strange event was not over yet. I know, they are just playing hide and seek with me. Maybe the event where nothing strange happened was an illusion created by the strange thing. Thinking of this, he sincerely smiled sinisterly. My wife, I can meet you again. Just then, when Fu Wang Hu was laughing wildly with his head back, message notifications suddenly sounded. He opened his phone and saw that it was from the sales office's work group. The manager, Wu Da Hai, was asking Fu Wang Hu, why haven't you come to work yet? This was followed by a series of consecutive messages, all repeating the same question. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu not only did not panic, but also held his head and laughed out loud. Excitedly, Wu Da Hai is dead, but it's really interesting. It's really too interesting. A dead person is calling me to work. It seems that after he died, he became a capitalist ghost. Because Fu Wang Hu did not reply for a long time. A reminder on the phone became more and more frequent. Suddenly, Fu Wang Hu's laughter stopped abruptly. He stared at the phone screen. He saw that a line of blood red text suddenly appeared on the screen. Exuding a strange and bloody aura. Do you think I won't know where you are if you don't speak? Then the blood stains began to change slowly. And then gathered together. The blood bubbled like boiling water, gradually turning into an eye. The next second, it carried countless bloodshots, and came out of the phone screen. At the same time, Wu Da Hai's gloomy voice sounded, Fu Wang Hu, I see you. Fu Wang Hu saw a strange eye staring at him, Fu Wang Hu, come to the company to work immediately. At this moment, the scene was extremely strange, and could scare ordinary people crazy. But Fu Wang Hu was an exception. He immediately reached out and grabbed the strange eye. Then he calmly said, Okay, but I'm so sorry, I only have one phone. Please don't occupy it. At the same time, he pulled it out of the phone as if he was pulling out grass. Immediately, the eye let out a cry of pain. Then Fu Wang Hu squeezed it hard. The eye immediately dissipated like a soap bubble right before his eyes. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu opened his palm, but saw that his hand was empty. There was no eyeball, no blood. An illusion? This is getting more and more interesting. Then let's see what he wants to do. So Fu Wang Hu rode his mountain bike and quickly arrived at the Bai Lu Academy. This time, when he arrived at the Bai Lu Academy, he was shocked to find that the entire sales office had been burned to charcoal, and there was a cordon of warning tape around it. Seeing this, he stepped directly over the warning tape and walked towards the sales office. As he approached the Bai Lu Academy, Fu Wang Hu looked around, and could even smell a burnt smell. The effect was really realistic. When he walked in the door, he immediately saw Li Fei Fei in the crowd. Their clothes were torn. At the same time, Li Fei Fei also noticed Fu Wang Hu, and then ran towards him with a smile. Brother Hu, you're here. You came so early today. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu did not reply, but directly reached out to touch Li Fei Fei's chest. He only felt that it was warm, plump, and elastic. Is this real? Seeing this, Li Fei Fei immediately covered her blushing face. Brother Hu, you're so annoying. Fu Wang Hu suddenly pushed her away and smiled meaningfully, as expected. Then he went straight to the second floor. But after taking a few steps, he found Zhao Hao running over in a hurry. Looking at Fu Wang Hu in panic, Brother Hu, you were also arrested to work? Fu Wang Hu shook his head, his expression serious. I wasn't arrested, but I like to go to work. Where is Wu Da Hai? Hearing this, Zhao Hao was very surprised, but didn't think much about it, and pointed to his office. He's in there. Fu Wang Hu glanced over, and found that the colleagues who had died before, were now all at their workstations. Some were working, some were slacking off. No different from before. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu was stunned. In his memory, those who had died were still alive and well. What on earth was the truth? Fu Wang Hu had already arrived at Wu Da Hai's office. But as soon as he stepped into the office door, Wu Da Hai pointed at Fu Wang Hu and immediately began to scold him. Fu Wang Hu, why are you only coming to work now? I mentioned you in the group. Why didn't you reply? Do you know? Before he could finish speaking, Fu Wang Hu said with an expressionless face, interrupting Wu Da Hai's incessant chatter, when will my commission be paid? Wu Da Hai immediately snorted coldly, and slapped the table hard. You still have the face to come here and ask me for commission? With your work attitude, then. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu once again interrupted his yelling. Even after you die, you're still so hateful. Hearing this, Wu Da Hai immediately flew into a rage, pointing at Fu Wang Hu's nose, his mouth like a gatling gun. 
What did you say? Who's dead? Do you know how to speak human language? I'm still alive and well, and you're the one who's dead. His voice echoed throughout the work area, and every colleague looked over with curious eyes. Just then, there was a swish, and a silver light flashed past, and the whole world fell silent in an instant. A gleaming scalpel slid across Wu Da Hai's thick neck, and the handle of the scalpel was held tightly in a large hand. It was Fuang Hu. Immediately afterwards, there was a swish as Fuang Hu pulled the scalpel out forcefully, and blood immediately splattered as if a pig was being slaughtered. At the same time, Wu Da Hai's fat body fell to the ground with a thud. Fuang Hu immediately smiled sinisterly, and said calmly, now you're dead. At this moment, the colleagues in the work area were as if frozen, each one like a living dead, standing there blankly with faces as pale as death. Even Zhao Hao was the same. Seeing this, Fuang Hu patted Zhao Hao on the shoulder, trying to wake him up. But no matter how Fuang Hu called out, there was no response. The next second, Zhao Hao's eyes were suddenly burst open by his bulging eyeballs. Then all the muscles in his body flowed out like sewage, swelling up. The other colleagues were the same. Everyone's bodies began to twist strangely, their necks and spines bending into a strange human-like curvature. Seeing this, Fuang Hu muttered, Are they trying to transform? Then I'll break your spell. As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu attacked with all his might. Empowered by spiritual power, his figure was as agile as a leopard, holding a knife and charging towards the transforming crowd. At this moment, a fluorescent light flashed in the air. Fuang Hu held the scalpel and rushed towards the transforming crowd at an extremely fast speed. In just a short second, he went all over the work area, and saw that everyone was dying in different ways. Some had their throats cut, while others had their stomachs stabbed. When Fuang Hu stopped, he had reached the other end of the work area, and behind him, the sound of corpses falling to the ground rang out incessantly. Then Fuang Hu looked around, and said indifferently, have you played enough? If you've played enough, then come out. As soon as he finished speaking, the corpses on the ground seemed to sink into a swamp. Gurgling sounds could be heard as they slowly sank, gradually disappearing from sight. At the same time, the entire sales office shattered like a mirror. Seeing this, Fuang Hu remained calm as ever, standing still. As expected, it was all just a dream created by the monsters. At this moment, Fuang Hu covered his face, expressionless. Was it a dream? It seems that this is your ability. Immediately afterwards, a wisp of black smoke flew over, and slowly condensed into an eye, and then a hoarse voice came out. Strangely, how did you see through the dream? Fuang Hu remained calm as ever, it must be said that, you understand humans very well, so your dreams are also very realistic. It's just a pity that you don't understand silicone. The feeling of Li Fei Fei's hand in the dream was too soft. Hearing this, the ghost's eye looked puzzled. The feeling of the hand? Why aren't you afraid? As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu smiled and stared at it. It seems that you rely on fear to kill people. No wonder there were lists of the names of the dead to call me to work. To be honest, it's really scary to have to work even after you're dead. Fuang Hu spoke as he slowly walked towards the ghost's eye, and then stared at it with a cold expression. But I have to thank you. Thanks to you deliberately creating all sorts of strange events to scare me. I have a stronger desire to live. Thanks to that, I was able to recognize the illusion and escape. At this moment, the black smoke didn't say anything, but just stared at Fuang Hu, seeming to want to remember his appearance. The next second, it slowly left, and said indifferently as it left, a human who doesn't know fear, I will remember you. At this moment, Fuang Hu finally understood that it was this monster that could control dreams that had scared the female doctor away, if he guessed correctly. Then the female doctor who had been infected by the scalpel was probably the weakest person in this mental hospital, and the ghost's eye just now must have been created from a person through experimentation. It was one of the monsters that had escaped from the ward, with different abilities from the female doctor. At the same time, Zhao Hao was using both hands to strangle his own neck, his veins bulging and his pupils dilated. Fuang Hu approached and checked Zhao Hao's breathing, confirming that he was dead, and that he had died from strangling himself. At this moment, Fuang Hu recalled the scene in the storage room. Zhao Hao had cried and said that he would not abandon him. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu pulled out the scalpel, and stabbed himself in the neck. His consciousness began to blur, and then he woke up at the door of the fire escape. Seeing this, the two colleagues were overjoyed. This is the fire escape. The path to survival must be here. However, after experiencing it once, this time Fuang Hu did not choose to rest and
recover his spiritual power. Since that monster had the ability to control dreams, the best way was to not sleep. Huang Hu calmly said, let's go, and then pushed the door open and walked out. The other two immediately followed, but this time it was the same as before, they arrived at the Bai Lu Academy, and it was still the tree-lined path leading to the academy. Fuang Hu looked around, and again, he saw nothing. A world without monsters, it was a dream again. Seeing this, Fuang Hu decisively pulled out the scalpel, and stabbed himself in the neck. After Fuang Hu tried many times, but still fell into the dream, at this moment he finally understood that, no matter what, he would not be able to avoid falling into the dream. To pass this level, he could only rely on Zhao Hao himself to overcome his fear. Immediately afterwards, he turned to look at everyone. There is another monster in the fire escape. It will create all sorts of strange events in the illusion, and even make you think that you have escaped from the monster. But it's all fake. Hearing this, everyone was so shocked that their jaws dropped. What? There's another monster here? At the same time, Fuang Hu put his arm around Zhao Hao's shoulder, and stared at him. You must remember, as long as you can overcome your fear, then you can live. Also, if you see Li Fei Fei in the illusion, then you can touch her boobs. The feeling of fake and real is different. That is the flaw in the illusion. Hearing this, Zhao Hao was stunned. His face flushed all the way to his ears, but I've never touched the real thing before. Just now, Fuang Hu had experienced several similar dreams, although he himself could quickly escape. No matter how much he reminded Zhao Hao and the others, they still could not control their fear, and escape from the dream. He only saw a few people lying on the ground, strangling their own necks with their hands. In the process of experimenting so many times, Fuang Hu discovered that the dream was completely created by the monster. Therefore, everyone's dream would be different. In other words, only each person themselves could break their own dream. At the same time, Zhao Hao was strangling his own neck with all his might, his face pale and looking like he was about to suffocate. Seeing this, Fuang Hu hurriedly reached out to break his hand, so that Zhao Hao could breathe again, but his condition was still not good. Immediately afterwards, he pushed Zhao Hao, and at the same time shouted, Nyat Thien, wake up, but it was all in vain, it had no effect at all. At this time, Fuang Hu directly slapped Zhao Hao's face with a loud slap, trying to wake him up. Fuang Hu slapped him more than 10 times, and both sides of Zhao Hao's face were swollen, but he still did not wake up. Seeing this, Fuang Hu had no choice but to kick Zhao Hao's crotch hard. At this moment, the pain caused Zhao Hao to immediately grab his crotch, his whole body trembling, but it was still in vain. He still did not wake up. At this moment, Fuang Hu was very distressed, scratching his head. Beating him doesn't work. Kicking him doesn't work either. There's no other way. Fuang Hu had no choice but to pull out the scalpel. He wanted to try if stabbing him with the knife would work. So he decisively stabbed Zhao Hao in the leg. And even did not hesitate to use a little bit of spiritual power. Immediately, Zhao Hao's expression became even more painful. And his mouth kept making painful noises. But Zhao Hao still did not wake up. A moment later, Zhao Hao suddenly tilted his head. And died right before Fuang Hu's eyes. At this moment, he stared at Zhao Hao who had died. His face full of sadness. How could he save him after all? Was there really no way? After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu decided to try one last time. If it still didn't work, then he would have to give up. He used the scalpel to make a cut on his neck, and Fuang Hu died once again. After being reborn, Fuang Hu was lost in thought. How could he help Zhao Hao overcome his fear? At the same time, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with joy. Brother Hu, let me tell you a secret. Last night I dreamed that I was being pressed by a ghost. Moreover, it was a very beautiful female ghost in a white dress, and she pressed on me very softly. Hee <laughs> hee, thinking of this, Zhao Hao sighed again, but just when I was about to kiss her, I woke up. What a pity. At this moment, a colleague pointed to the sign in front, this is the fire escape. As for Zhao Hao, he shouted excitedly from behind, when we get out, I will definitely find a woman to touch. Hearing this, Fuang Hu suddenly came to his senses. He thought of a way, which was to divert his attention. He immediately turned his head to look at Zhao Hao. Although Nyat Thien is introverted and shy, his biggest characteristic is his sexual desire, since he can't overcome his fear. Then let's use another kind of strong instinctive emotion to avoid it. This made Fuang Hu feel that he had found a breakthrough. Eating and sex are also a kind of instinct. After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu looked at Zhao Hao with a serious face. Nyat Thien, take out your phone now. Turn the volume up to the maximum. Hearing this, Zhao Hao looked puzzled. What for? At this moment, Fuang Hu gave a rare smile. 
don't ask, just turn the volume up to the maximum and turn on the speaker, and play the movie you like the most. As soon as Fu Wang Hu said this, Zhao Hao began to doubt his own ears. At the same time, his face flushed red. But seeing Fu Wang Hu speaking so seriously, because of the pressure, he had no choice but to take out his favorite movie. I only saw a charming woman, wearing a teacher's uniform and holding a ruler, with charming eyes and blushing cheeks. Student Zhao Hao, if you do your homework wrong, you have to accept the punishment obediently. Hearing this, Zhao Hao immediately blushed. Brother Hu, don't joke anymore. If you want to watch it, wait until we get out and watch it. Playing the speakerphone here is no different from going to the toilet in the street. As soon as Zhao Hao finished speaking, Fuang Hu said with a serious face, I'm not joking with you. I'm saving your life. Now, turn on the movie immediately. Seeing this, Zhao Hao had no choice but to take out his phone, and reluctantly opened his favorite movie. As soon as Zhao Hao opened the movie, the atmosphere of fear in the dark corridor seemed to dissipate somewhat. Everyone's attention was focused on the phone screen. They only saw a cherry mouth sticking out its tongue. Very charming. Immediately afterwards, the teacher in uniform suddenly became serious, holding a ruler and scolding. Lie down. If you do your homework wrong, you will be beaten. Homework wrong, you will be beaten. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu pointed to the phone with a serious face. You have to watch it carefully for me. And you have to completely immerse yourself in the role of the student in the movie. And make yourself excited. When you enter the illusion, no matter what happens. Don't worry about it. Just close your eyes. And imagine the next scene. Only in this way can you overcome your fear. He turned to the two colleagues beside him. The same goes for you too. As soon as Fu Wang Hu finished speaking, Zhao Hao stared at the phone intently, and at the same time, a smug smile appeared on his face. Gradually, he began to get into the mood. Seeing this, the two colleagues looked at him with strange eyes. The male colleague looked puzzled. In this situation, you still have the mood to watch a movie? The female colleague blushed when she heard the voice in the movie. As for Zhao Hao, his face was extremely embarrassed at this moment. But he didn't pay any attention to it. He knew that Fu Wang Hu would not harm him. I only saw that in the movie. The teacher was using a ruler to beat the student. Does it hurt? Do you know where you went wrong? Obviously, the other two colleagues did not have the same sexual desire as Zhao Hao. So there were no movies to watch on the phone either. I had no choice but to follow Zhao Hao and watch it together. At this moment, everyone gathered around the phone, watching intently. After a while, Zhao Hao watched to the point where his blood was boiling. And with a bang, he reached the climax. Like a volcano erupting, unable to control himself. Moreover, he was completely immersed in the movie. Imagining that he was the student in the movie. And that the teacher was sitting on his lap, with her arms around his shoulders. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu looked at Zhao Hao. And seeing that he was engrossed in the movie, he calmly said. Okay, it's almost over, let's go. However, Fu Wang Hu specially gave a few more instructions. Remember, no matter what strange things you see later, they are all fake. Find the loopholes in the dream, and if you are not afraid, you will not die. After saying that, he walked ahead, leading the way to the fire escape. At this moment, he couldn't help but feel bored. After going through the dream so many times, Fu Wang Hu even missed his wife, and wanted to go home and see her as soon as possible. After they entered the fire escape, the dream quickly came. As for the two colleagues, they were the same as before, their faces extremely ferocious and terrifying, as if they had experienced something terrible, falling to the ground and dying. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu was not surprised at all. Fear is something that everyone finds difficult to overcome. I just hope that Zhao Hao can get out of the dream this time. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao next to him tore his clothes apart, revealing his chest and blushing face, pouting his lips and muttering incessantly, what a hot girl. This action left Fu Wang Hu dumbfounded. Next, Zhao Hao shook his head frantically, licking his lips constantly. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu helplessly supported his forehead. It seems that he is really heartbroken when he sees a beautiful ghost. He is truly a modern day Ning Taishan. Suddenly, Fu Wang Hu's eyes went blank, and he stared at Zhao Hao in disbelief. It turned out that Fu Wang Hu had discovered. An unusual aura appeared on him. At this moment, there were also soul fluctuations on Zhao Hao's body. At the same time, Zhao Hao in the dream was shaking his lower body, fast and rhythmic. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu was both frightened and secretly happy. Has Nyat Thien already enlightened his soul? Suddenly, Zhao Hao opened his eyes wide, with bloodshot eyes. Immediately afterwards, Zhao Hao jumped up from the ground, his face filled with regret and dissatisfaction. Fei Fei, don't run away, damn it, let's do it again. 
but when he saw the scene around him clearly, he was immediately stunned. Why am I in the fire escape? At this moment, he looked at Fuang Hu in a daze. Brother Hu, did we succeed? But before he could finish speaking, he seemed to think of something again, and looked at Fuang Hu warily from head to toe. You really don't have any emotional fluctuations. Very similar to the brother who I know. Suddenly, he remembered what Fuang Hu had said before. So he immediately put on a fierce face. And at the same time, he kept demonstrating the dragon claw technique. Are you brother who? Let me squeeze and see. Fuang Hu saw Zhao Hao's reaction, and couldn't help but feel happy. At the same time, he pushed Zhao Hao's hand away. Oh, not bad, your brain knows how to think now, although not much. Then, in order to prove that this is not a dream, Fuang Hu closed his eyes and sighed, pretending to be helpless. The revenge of the plumber, the female patient with big breasts, and even the flight attendant's uniform, Ultraman. As soon as Zhao Hao heard these words, his face immediately turned red, and he hurriedly rushed towards Fuang Hu, wanting to stop him. Ah, don't say it anymore. You dare to peek at my phone. Fuang Hu quickly dodged to one side. At this moment, Zhao Hao couldn't stop at all, staggered and fell face down on the ground, just falling on the two colleagues who had died earlier. Seeing this, Zhao Hao couldn't help but shudder, so scared that he couldn't speak, staring blankly at the dead colleague who didn't close his eyes. Then he looked at the other two in panic. Damn it, brother Hu, the two of them. Fuang Hu said calmly, they didn't make it. Okay, let's get ready to leave here. This time, the two of them stood in front of the real big door. Before that, their so-called opening the door, before that, their so-called opening the door, was actually just a strange dream created by the ghost. As soon as Fuang Hu put his hand on the door, he suddenly felt something strange. This time, the ghost didn't appear again. But at this moment, Fuang Hu didn't think much about it, but pushed the door open with force. As soon as the door opened, light immediately flooded in. This dazzling light and the dark corridor formed a sharp contrast. As the two of them stepped in, they quickly appeared on the street. Seeing this, Zhao Hao looked around, his face filled with disbelief. Immediately afterwards, he was overjoyed to have escaped the ordeal. Brother Hu, we're out. Hearing this, Fuang Hu looked up at the dome. The indescribable strange scene came into view again. He asked, is this the real way out this time? Then he said indifferently, Nyat Thien, have you enlightened your spirituality? Immediately, Zhao Hao was stunned, his eyes wide open like two copper bells. Spirituality? Suddenly, Zhao Hao thought of, indeed, in the illusion just now, he had a strange feeling. It seems that not only is he indifferent, but his strength has also increased. Seeing this, Fuang Hu looked at him in confusion. So, what ability have you awakened? As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao laughed out loud, felt it for a while, and then burst into tears. It seems that I can't feel any ability, Wang Ziding said. Everyone who enlightens their spirituality has an ability. Could it be that I'm the incompetent one? At this moment, Zhao Hao was no longer as happy as before, and lowered his head directly. Then what is Brother Hu's ability? Hearing this, Fuang Hu said seriously, my ability is to predict the future. Hearing this, Zhao Hao was stunned, his face filled with shock. What? Predicting the future? No wonder in the ghost realm, you always knew which way to go, and you even knew that there were ghosts in the fire escape. Fuang Hu nodded calmly. Then Fuang Hu looked up at the dome, as if he was thinking. If there really is an organization of spirit masters in the world, then compared to the ability to escape pain, predicting the future is more beneficial to improving one's self-worth, and thus can obtain more resources from the organization. Because Fuang Hu wanted to become stronger quickly, and then take revenge on the ghosts, especially my beloved wife. Suddenly, Fuang Hu found that he couldn't see the mental hospital, but in his perception, Ching Shan Mental Hospital was attached to the inside of the sales building. But now, why was it completely gone? Could it be that the ghost had merged with reality? But fortunately, the ghost we met this time was just a self-created dream, and had no ability to attack. If the ghost blocking the door was another attacking ghost, then even if we had the answer to death, we would still be trapped to death inside. Because in the face of absolute power, no matter how many times you do it again, thousand times, ten thousand times, it would be useless. Moreover, Zhao Hao had clearly enlightened his soul. Becoming a spirit master, but why did he have no reaction when facing the ghost? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu looked at Zhao Hao indifferently, and Zhao Hao was creeped out by his stare. Suddenly, Fuang Hu said calmly, Nyat Thien, look around and see if there are any ghosts around us. Are any ghosts around us? Hearing this, Zhao Hao was shocked. Ghosts? Where are the ghosts? 
I don't see them. Immediately afterwards, he hurriedly looked up, but only saw the bright moon and the pitch black sky. But what he didn't know was that, in the air, countless ghosts were flying around, like black crows. The pitch black ghosts were flying over his head, but Zhao Hao couldn't see them. He looked around anxiously. Brother Hu, are you mistaken? Seeing this, Fuang Hu frowned unconsciously. Maybe I mistook the bird for a ghost. At the same time, Zhao Hao looked around in fear, while a ghost was staring at him, and even put a hand on his arm, but he didn't notice it at all. At this moment, Fuang Hu was deep in thought. Could it be that even after enlightening one's soul, one still couldn't see ghosts? Or is it because Zhao Hao is too weak at the moment? I hope it's the latter reason. That way, there are still people who can see ghosts, and he himself won't be so lonely. At this moment, Zhao Hao stared at Fuang Hu, his heart filled with both admiration and envy. Immediately afterwards, he said to himself in his heart, I have clearly enlightened my soul, but I still haven't awakened my ability. But brother Hu can predict the future. I'm so envious. I'm both afraid of my brother suffering, and afraid of my brother leading the way. Isn't this mentality wrong? After thinking for a while, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with embarrassment. Brother Hu, this place is really scary, let's go. But at this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention to him, but walked forward by himself. Seeing this, Zhao Hao hurriedly followed. Suddenly, Fuang Hu turned his head slightly and asked, Speaking of which, how did you break the dream? Hearing this, Zhao Hao's face became so embarrassed that it was visible to the naked eye. How else can it be broken? Just do as Brother Hu taught. Don't care about anything. And then try to immerse yourself in the movie. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu glanced at Zhao Hao. And thought to himself, the first time, only I survived. And the ghost appeared. The following times, because the entire army was wiped out before committing suicide and returning. The ghost didn't have time to appear. But this time, everyone's dream ended. But it still didn't appear. This kid must have done something. Immediately afterwards, he looked at Zhao Hao calmly. Then why were you touching and kissing the air in your dream? Hearing this, Zhao Hao blushed to the roots of his ears. I, I also made gestures? Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu seemed to have thought of something and said, Yes, not only did you make gestures, you also made indescribable sounds. At this moment, Zhao Hao hurriedly waved his hand. Don't say it anymore. Brother Hu, I beg you not to say it anymore. It's so embarrassing. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu calmly turned his head. Then tell me, what happened in your dream? Of course, I'm not interested in your dream, but in the fact that you enlightened your spirituality but don't have any abilities. Perhaps it's because there was a mistake when you awakened in your dream. Hearing this, Zhao Hao clasped his hands together helplessly. All right, but you have to promise that you won't tell anyone else. Immediately afterwards, Zhao Hao's face flushed red, and he began to explain, actually, it's nothing special. After I entered the illusion, I closed my eyes and followed your instructions, and only thought about the beautiful girls in the classroom. But then, I heard all sorts of scary sounds, there's nothing special, telling me to stay with it. There was even an ice cold hand, like that of a female ghost nurse, groping all over me. At that time, I was so scared that I wanted to die. Then I tried to fight against my fear, thinking about what you said, and trying to imagine something else to divert my attention. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu looked helpless, and asked, what happened after that? Did you do it yourself then? Seeing this, Zhao Hao's face flushed red, and he explained, I only used that as a temporary way to divert my attention. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu nodded helplessly, and looked at Zhao Hao with a very sure expression. So what happened after that? After that, all the sounds around you changed. The creepy feeling in the classroom started to disappear, and was replaced by a sense of warmth. The soft, smooth hand that was groping me also became warm, and no longer felt as cold as before. The voice in the classroom also became Li Fei Fei's voice. Classmate Zhao Hao, aren't you paying attention to the lecture? After saying that, she knelt down in front of me, so I opened my eyes and saw that it was clearly Li Fei Fei, and I suddenly remembered what you said before, that if I met Li Fei Fei, I should pinch her chest to see if it was real or fake. Fake. That's the flaw in the illusion. Immediately afterwards, she lay down in front of me, her fair skin exposed before my eyes. She even put her hand on me. I tried my best to restrain myself, but she kept seducing me, and even wore a short skirt and lay on the podium. Seeing this, I couldn't hold it in any longer, and charged straight at her. What man could resist such a temptation? As I held her hands down, my face pressed against her chest, so I reached out to pinch her chest to see if it was real or fake. Although I couldn't tell the difference between silicone and the real thing, I didn't care much about that at the time. I just wanted to pinch it first. As I pinched down, a soft feeling spread from my palm to my whole body. Immediately afterwards, I closed my eyes, and slowly kissed her. But as I kissed down, I felt something wrong. 
Then her mouth began to split open, and she looked at me with bared teeth and asked, are you scared? At that moment, she really scared me to death. All that was left in my mind was fear, and I was also scared. Suddenly, she grabbed my hand, and opened her mouth wide at me. At this moment, I knew I was finished, but when I thought about the fact that I was still a virgin, it would be a waste to die like this. Even if I had to die, I couldn't die such a humiliating death. With that in mind, I threw caution to the wind. I threw her off me and pinned her to the ground. Besides, this was Li Fei Fei. Even if she was a ghost, I had to fulfill my wish before I died. Then I closed my eyes and went for it, not caring whether Li Fei Fei was a ghost or not, and started to make my move on her. At this moment, the evil spirit let out a shrill scream, shouting, let go of me, let go of me. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu covered his face helplessly, and at the same time understood why the ghost had not appeared again after the dream was broken. Perhaps it was because it was afraid of this ghostbuster, and was too ashamed to face anyone else. At the same time, Zhao Hao saw Fu Wang Hu's silence, and felt very embarrassed himself, so he quickly added, I'm going to die anyway, though why bother caring so much? The most important thing in life is to have no regrets. Don't you agree, brother Hu? At this moment, Fu Wang Hu couldn't even be bothered to look at me. I think you should go home. A moment later, Fu Wang Hu turned towards his home, and said as he walked, I'm going home to sleep first, and I'll contact you if anything comes up. Hearing this, Zhao Hao looked at Fu Wang Hu in alarm. Brother Hu, all our colleagues are dead, and you still want to go home and sleep? Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu turned his head slightly, his face expressionless. What's the matter? Do you want to call the police? Hearing this, Zhao Hao scratched his head in embarrassment. That's true. No matter how we explain it to the police, they'll think we're crazy. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu started walking again, and told Zhao Hao not to look for anyone, that someone would come looking for him. In this world, there are ghosts and spirit masters, so there must be an organization that specializes in dealing with ghosts. Otherwise the world would have been in chaos long ago. At this point, Fu Wang Hu suddenly stopped, and looked at Zhao Hao seriously. If anyone comes looking for you, just say this. After Fu Wang Hu told him how to answer, the two of them agreed on their story and parted ways. Each went home. A moment later, Fu Wang Hu arrived home. His gentle wife, whom he hadn't seen for a long time, was still wearing her white silk pajamas, her long, fair legs particularly eye-catching. She looked at Fu Wang Hu with seductive eyes, and said gently, Honey, you're back. Have you eaten yet? Would you like me to cook you some noodles? Fu Wang Hu looked at his gentle wife as usual, and at this moment, the heavy stone in his heart was completely lifted. He gazed at his wife's beautiful face, and could only feel that she was breathtakingly beautiful. Even photo editing wouldn't dare to do that. At this moment, he he couldn't help but sigh. It was so wonderful to see his wife. Immediately afterwards, he gave a rare smile. Yes, I'm back. As soon as he finished speaking, the gentle smile on his wife's face disappeared instantly. Her eyes suddenly turned bloodshot, and she stared at him with a crazed and ferocious expression. Immediately afterwards, her cherry red lips slowly opened. He could see that. Before his wife finished speaking, he only heard a tearing sound, and a silver light suddenly flashed. At the same time, blood spurted out. Same time, blood spurted out, only to see Fu Wang Hu holding a scalpel, making incision after incision into his wife's fair neck. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu felt extremely satisfied. At the same time, his wife's beautiful face began to crack, her eyes staring at Fu Wang Hu. Blood spurted out like a fountain, uncontrollably. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu laughed madly and ferociously. Wife, you're so beautiful. After saying that, Fu Wang Hu raised the scalpel again. But just then, Fu Wang Hu suddenly felt his vision go dark, his consciousness sinking into darkness. And when he woke up again, he found that he had returned to the front door of his house. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu looked at the door in astonishment. Is this death? This time, he didn't even know how he had died. Is this the true power of my wife? Even the place of death and resurrection has changed. After thinking about it, Fu Wang Hu once again turned the doorknob, opened the door, and his wife, like a gentle wife, stood gently waiting at the door, repeating her previous words. Honey, you're back. Have you eaten yet? Would you like me to cook you some noodles? And this time, Fu Wang Hu chose to ignore his seductive wife, chose to ignore his seductive wife, and walked towards the bedroom by himself. But he didn't take a shower right away, but kept thinking. It seemed that the difference between different kinds of demons was even greater than the difference between people. It was right not to continue exploring the mental hospital. Now his strength was too weak. He knew nothing about spirit masters, or did he know anything about spiritual intuition? He had to wait until he could verify and contact the relevant organizations, and get more information before making any further plans. At the same time, in Lu Guang City, the Global Joint Investigation Bureau of Strange Events, 
such as secretive and low-key department, was actually quite famous among the spirit masters in Luguang City. At this moment, they were holding an emergency meeting at night. A group of people were gathered around the conference table, all kinds of people, both men and women. But the only thing they had in common was that they were all quite young, most of them between 20 and 30 years old, and the oldest one was the one sitting at the head of the table, wearing a black suit and a striking red tie, a middle-aged man with a dignified and imposing manner, the director of the investigation bureau, Wang Dehai. At this moment, he looked into the surveillance camera, his tone of voice indifferent. I think everyone has heard about it. Just five hours ago, a ghost realm appeared at the Bai Lu Academy in the development zone of our city. The scope of the ghost realm covers the sales area of Bai Lu Academy, and at present, there are no signs of it spreading. At this moment, Xiao Lin began to operate the computer, projecting the surveillance footage onto the screen. Director Wang, this is the surveillance footage near Bai Lu Academy. The surveillance footage inside has been corrupted by a strange force, and all the surveillance equipment has failed, causing the footage to be lost and unviewable. At the same time, everyone in the meeting room looked towards the screen, and Xiao Lin began to slowly recount the story. The two people in front of you are the survivors of this strange dungeon. The one with the higher looks is called Fuang Hu, and the one who looks a bit silly is called Zhao Hao. According to the investigation, they were both employees in the sales area before. Fuang Hu, 20 years old, male, local to Lu Guang, an orphan. Upon investigation, there is nothing unusual about their backgrounds. Before they entered the ghost realm, they were both normal and showed no signs of anything unusual. Wang Dehai fell into contemplation, but he didn't say anything, but looked at the people below, his face expressionless. What do you all think? As soon as he finished speaking, the man with the sunglasses sneered. Even an ordinary person can survive and come out, so the level of danger of the demons is only D. Just send one person and it can be solved. As soon as these words were uttered, the female investigator sitting in front, Shen Lingxue, retorted, I don't think so. In the surveillance footage, that person named Fuang Hu. Everyone pay attention to his expression. He's so calm, it's scary. This is not the normal expression of someone who has survived and come out of the ghost realm. Before she could finish speaking, Li Wenji, Shen Lingxie's assistant, pushed up her gold-rimmed glasses and said solemnly, even if he was an ordinary person before, it's not impossible that he was infected with spiritual intuition in the ghost realm, and inadvertently became a spirit master. As soon as these words were uttered, the man with the sunglasses still insisted on his point of view, pointing at the other two and saying angrily, these newly awakened spirit masters, just because one person survived and came out of the ghost realm, you can see that the level of danger of the demons is only C. Just send a high-level spirit master and it can be solved. Don't rush to judgment about the ghost realm that you have never experienced. Maybe they were just lucky. These newly awakened spirit masters, just by relying on luck, they can survive and come out of the ghost realm. How can you see the level of danger of the demons? At this moment, Wang Dehai suddenly slammed the table and stood up, looking sternly at the man with the sunglasses, shouting, shut up. Then he looked at Shen Lingxue beside him, tomorrow, you and Li Wenji will go and contact Fuang Hu, and confirm whether he has awakened his abilities and the level of his spiritual resistance, see if he needs to be brought back to the investigation bureau. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue and Li Wenji immediately stood up, standing up straight like soldiers, yes, Director Wang. The next morning, Fuang Hu was fast asleep when he was awakened by the sound of Zhao Hao's phone call. Fuang Hu groggily picked up the phone. As soon as Fuang Hu answered the phone, the excited voice of Zhao Hao came from the other end, Brother Hu. Brother Hu, I know what my ability is. At the same time, the gentle wife lying on the bed, looked at him with grievance, Honey, don't mind him, I'm here with you, let's go back to sleep. At this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay attention to his wife, but remained calm as usual, and said, what ability? At this moment, Zhao Hao smiled proudly and said, I'm afraid you'll be surprised if I tell you. I didn't feel the ability yesterday because it can only be activated after 11 p.m. Moreover, it appears automatically at this time, and can last until 1 a.m. Hearing this, Fuang Hu was also a little curious, but his tone was still calm. What is the ability after all? But at this moment, Zhao Hao still didn't answer directly, Brother Hu, if I tell you, don't be jealous, although knowing the future is very powerful. But this is the ability that all men in the world desire the most. You don't know, I've been experimenting all night, it's great. But this was obviously not what Fuang Hu wanted to hear. Obviously not what Fuang Hu wanted to hear. Look of impatience flashed across his face, 
and he showed a look of displeasure. Immediately afterwards, Fu Wang Hu hung up the phone without hesitation. A moment later, Fu Wang Hu's phone rang again. At this moment, he was so angry that he couldn't bear it. Not only was he awakened early in the morning, but he also talked a lot of nonsense. So Fu Wang Hu answered the phone, and said angrily, if you continue to talk nonsense, I'll block your number. As soon as he finished speaking, Zhao Hao's aggrieved voice came from the other end, All right, all right, my ability is that after 11 p.m., I will become more handsome, my physique will increase greatly, and my whole body will be muscular. As soon as he finished speaking, Fu Wang Hu looked unhappy and said, Let's delete each other's numbers. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu got out of bed and went into the bathroom. His wife followed him, her face full of joy, her eyes fixed on him, Honey, your kidneys are so good. At this moment, Zhao Hao hurriedly said, Don't, don't. I haven't finished speaking yet. The strongest is yet to come. The increase in physical fitness is only secondary. In fact, what he has increased is his sexual function. Sexual function. As soon as he finished speaking, Fu Wang Hu's anger surged. His face immediately darkened, and he almost crushed the phone. At this moment, Zhao Hao still had no intention of stopping. Still talking incessantly on the other end, Brother Hu, you don't know how powerful I am. I experimented a little yesterday. It's really amazing. Not only is it bigger and longer, but it can also hang 100 kilograms. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu was disgusted, and hung up the phone decisively. He really couldn't listen to it anymore. Immediately afterwards, he put down the phone with an expressionless face, and then began to prepare breakfast. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu's eyes were calm. I should have thought of this earlier. The ability of a spirit master is a power that reflects spirituality, a reflection of the desires in the heart. As for the fact that it can only be activated after 11 p.m., every day at this time during the day, I lie in bed thinking about what I can do to awaken this ability. Although I didn't expect him to be able to awaken a powerful ability, but I didn't expect him to be so frivolous. Handsome, muscular, hanging a hundred kilograms, increased sexual ability. Isn't this an adult male actor? Thinking of this, Fu Wang Hu couldn't help but sigh. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu put the prepared breakfast on the table. Immediately, the wife sitting opposite smiled and said, Honey, let's have breakfast, and somewhere else. The investigator was driving, quickly arriving at Fu Wang Hu's house. Not long after, the car stopped in front of Fu Wang Hu's residence. I saw a girl with a beautiful face, a small and beautiful face, tall and slender, with a cold temperament. As soon as she got out of the car, she asked softly, asking if they had heard the phone conversation between the two just now. After speaking, she walked towards Fu Wang Hu's rented apartment. Li Wenji, who was behind the car, replied slowly, through the conversation between the two of them, was initially determined that they were both ordinary people before. In the ghost realm, their spirituality was enlightened, becoming spirit masters. So what are their abilities? Tham Lin Tuyet pushed the door open, and continued to ask. As soon as he finished speaking, as soon as she finished speaking, Li Wenji was immediately stunned. As for Fu Wang Hu's ability, Zhao Hao didn't make it clear over the phone. However, judging from their tone, that ability must be pretty good. As for Zhao Hao, according to him, from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. every day, he will become more handsome, and his physical fitness will also be enhanced. The muscles on his whole body will be strengthened. Speaking of this, Li Wenji hesitated, obviously a little hard to say, so he cleared his throat, and said shyly, it's that ability. Hearing this, Tham Lin Tuyet showed a look of disgust, and snorted coldly, his ability is quite suitable for working as a gigolo in a nightclub. Immediately afterwards, she said with an expressionless face, at present, the investigation bureau is very short of manpower. If Fu Wang Hu's ability is really strong, after passing the spiritual test, we can consider recruiting him into the investigation bureau. As for that Zhao Hao, it is not necessary. On the contrary, we must strengthen our surveillance of him to prevent him from using his ability ability to do dirty things. Hearing this, Li Wenji nodded in agreement, indicating that he understood. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu's wife sat in front of him, posing and saying coquettishly, Honey, can you see me? But Fu Wang Hu still chose to ignore her, watching TV by himself. He switched channels to today's news, but watched for a long time without seeing any news about the murdered real estate agent. This made him wonder whether the power of the evil spirits was too great or the ability of the special organization was too strong. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu heard a sound outside. It was the sound of Tham Lin Toyot's high heels, and the sound was getting closer and closer, heading towards Fu Wang Hu's house, until it stopped at the door. 
Seeing this, Fuang Hu slowly got up and wanted to go out and have a look. At the same time, his wife leaned out from the TV, Honey, where are you going? Look at me. Fuang Hu walked over to the peephole in confusion. He didn't know if the person outside the door was a human or a ghost. When he looked through the cat's eye, he saw a man and a woman in work uniforms. Evil spirits cannot interact with the real world when they are not seen. So they are human beings. At this moment, Li Wenji stepped forward and knocked on the door. Moment, Li Wenji stepped forward and knocked on the door. After he knocked gently on the door, Fuang Hu opened the door without hesitation. At this moment, Li Wenji spoke softly, Fuang Hu, right? Then he took out his ID card, hello, we are. But before he could finish speaking, Fuang Hu had already taken the ID card to look at it. Then he said calmly, you came sooner than I thought, please come in and talk. At this moment, his wife stood beside him, looking very happy, honey, you have friends here. Seeing this, Tham Lin Tuyit and Li Wenji were both stunned by Fuang Hu's actions, but it was obvious that they could not see his wife. At this moment, Tham Lin Tuyit looked at Fuang Hu with a serious face, you knew we would come. Fuang Hu led Tham Lin Tuyit and Li Wenji into the living room. As soon as everyone sat down, Fuang Hu found that they were still staring at him, as if they could not see his wife. Is it the same as pretending not to see me? Or is the ability to see evil spirits not related to whether one is a spirit master? It seems that I have to get more useful information, and then find an opportunity to probe. After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu looked at the ID card in his hand and said, Li Wenji. At the same time, his wife bowed slightly, smiling like a flower, looking like a virtuous wife, honey, you have guests, do I need to pour water for them? Hearing this, Li Wenji smiled and replied, yes. Then he pointed to Tham Lin Tuyit beside him, this is investigator Tham Lin Tuyit, I am her assistant, we are staff of the Strategic Defense, Attack and Logistics Bureau, investigating strange events around the world. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at the two of them calmly, staring at them without saying a word. Tham Lin Tuyit also stared at him, calm, really too calm. Usually, when people meet staff from the investigation bureau, they will either choose to run away immediately or try to ask about everything, but he is so calm that it is frightening. Thinking of this, Tham Lin Tuyit said with a serious face, it seems that you are not surprised at all by our appearance. On the contrary, you seem to have known it in advance. Have you known about the investigation bureau before? Hearing this, Fuang Hu shook his head, I don't know, but there are evil spirits in this world, but they do not cause chaos. It is not difficult to guess that there is a force behind it that is maintaining social order. Seeing this, Tham Lin Tuyit looked at him with appreciation. After going through the strange event, he can still think calmly like this. It seems that he is not an ordinary person. After saying that, she put her long legs up, and at the same time became serious. The investigation bureau is a special department that recruits spirit masters by the government, specializing in dealing with evil spirits. We are here today. One is to investigate the information related to the strange event at the Bai Lu Library. The other is to assess whether you are qualified to join us. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not interrupt her, but propped his chin up and looked at them thoughtfully, listening to Tham Lin Toyot's introduction in silence. Although there are also freelance spirit masters among the people, only the investigation bureau has absolute information, as well as the huge resources necessary for the advancement of spirit masters. This is an opportunity for you. At the same time, his wife gently stood in front of her, her voice sour and gentle, honey, you can't look at her, am I not beautiful, do you not love me anymore, can you see me, at this moment, Fuang Hu couldn't help but think, his wife's face was completely in line with his aesthetics, and she died in his arms, the cold expression on her face must have been very charming, thinking of this, Fuang Hu was very excited, and couldn't help but smile wickedly, at the same time, Tham Lin Tuyit had finished her introduction, then turned to look at Fuang Hu, and ordered, then first tell me all the information you know about the ghost realm. Hearing this, Fuang Hu calmly stood up, readjusted his position, avoiding his wife's cover, and then slowly said, before I answer your question, I have a few questions for you to answer. As soon as he finished speaking, Tham Lin Tuyit immediately frowned, glaring at Fuang Hu, her whole body exuding a strange purple aura. The strong man beside her, Li Wenji, was startled, and looked at Tham Lin Tuyit in fear. Immediately after, he began to persuade her in a panic, Investigator Tham, calm down, calm down. He just went through a strange event, just went through a strange event. It's normal to have some doubts. Let's answer his questions first, so that he can understand everything, and then it will be easier for him to answer our questions, right? Hearing this, Tham Lin Tuyit said nothing, and the aura on her body also weakened significantly, as if she had tacitly agreed. But right now, 
Fuang Hu stared at the two of them, and said, I feel through my soul induction, that investigator Tham must be a spirit master, but assistant Li is not, a spirit master paired with an ordinary person, is this how investigators work together? The spirit master's intuition is disturbed by evil spirits, they really are all people with strange personalities, extreme. Pairing them with an ordinary person with a healthy mind, can also monitor and restrain them. Hearing this, Tham Lin Toyot's face darkened. The flames of anger that had been extinguished now reignited. She looked at Fuang Hu with unkind eyes, and gritted her teeth, Are you provoking me? Do you want to die? Seeing this, Li Wenji looked at Fuang Hu with a look of panic. If you have any questions, ask them quickly. Don't provoke investigator Tham anymore. If she gets mad, I won't be able to save you. At most, after something happens, I will write a report to the director for you. But Fuang Hu clearly didn't care how terrible it would be if Tham Lin Tuyut went mad. His expression remained calm from beginning to end. Then he looked at the two of them with a serious expression. First question. What exactly are evil spirits? Hearing this, Li Wenji pushed up his glasses, and smiled, this is also the question that most survivors of strange events want to ask, what are evil spirits, where do they come from, what is their purpose, at present, the preliminary definition given by the investigation bureau is a distorted spiritual entity with its own source of pollution, their forms of manifestation vary greatly, some are flesh and blood, some are spirits, and some are even just a concept, moreover, evil spirits often appear suddenly, without any pattern, but the only thing they have in common is that they are all very malicious towards humans, malicious towards humans, and even have a tendency to cannibalize, to be more precise, they eat the souls of humans, or one could say, their spiritual power, they rely on it to strengthen themselves, moreover, each evil spirit is a source of pollution, like radioactive material, constantly emitting evil spirits around it, the evil spirits will invade the human mind, stimulate negative emotions, causing the mind to be distorted. The power of a spirit master is the product of a mind polluted by evil spirits. As soon as he finished speaking, Fuang Hu raised his hand and asked, then the second question, how is the power of a spirit master divided according to rank? Hearing this, Li Wenji was a little surprised, and turned to look at Tham Lin Tuyut, who was looking impatient, it seems that Mr. Fuang already knows a little about spirit masters, then he took out the pen and paper he was carrying with him, and began to explain to Fuang Hu, the power of a spirit master is divided according to the level of their spiritual light, at the same time, he began to draw a diagram in his notebook, Fuang Hu looked intently at the woman beside him, at this moment, she also leaned over, and carefully looked at the rank diagram drawn by Li Wenji, rank diagram drawn by Li Wenji, but after seeing the contents of Li Wenji's notebook, his wife suddenly smiled wickedly, licking her lips, as if she saw different desserts, there are so many delicious ones, he he, at the same time, Li Wenji meticulously finished drawing the rank diagram, generally speaking, those with spiritual light points from 1 to 20, like Mr. Fuang, a spiritual master in the spiritual sense, we call them low-level spirit masters, the new abilities acquired will increase with the increase of spirituality, those with spiritual light points from 21 to 40 are called second-level spirit masters, the intensity of their abilities will also change qualitatively, those with spiritual light points from 41 to 60 are called third-level spirit masters, but with my rank, I don't know exactly what their abilities are. Just like that, there are also level 4, level 5, and so on. However, that information is confidential. The higher the rank, the more difficult it is to obtain spiritual light points, and the fewer people there are. Hearing this, Fuang Hu nodded, and asked, then what if the spiritual light points reach 100? At this moment, Li Wenji shook his head, and looked at Fuang Hu with a serious expression, as far as I know, there is currently no one in the world who has reached 100 spiritual light points, even those who reach level 5 only exist in theory, to obtain higher spiritual light points, one needs to find more powerful evil spirits, and constantly experience breakthroughs between life and death, but in this way, the mortality rate of spirit masters will also increase, and spirit masters and evil spirits spirits are both opposites, and mutually supportive, the stronger the evil spirit, the stronger the spirit master will be, but the intensity of the evil spirits that have been recorded so far is not enough to cultivate overly powerful spirit masters, seeing this, Fuang Hu was about to raise his hand to ask a third question, but Tham Lin Tuyut, who had been patiently waiting by his side, angrily interrupted him, she looked at Fuang Hu impatiently, 
I don't have time to listen to you ask so many stupid questions. Li Wenji gave him the website address of the Global Evil Spirit Forum, so that he could look it up himself. The information he wanted to know, was very likely to be there. At this moment, Li Wenji, who was standing beside him, was startled by the sudden shout. He hurriedly agreed helplessly. At the same time, Tham Lin Tuyet looked at Fuang Hu sternly. Kindly remind you, I'll give you a kind reminder. This is a global dark web forum. I advise you not to trust emails from strangers. Immediately afterwards, Tham Lin Tuyet spoke in a warning tone. Now tell us about everything you encountered in the ghost zone, even the smallest details. If you dare to lie and cause immeasurable losses, you will be held responsible. However, Fuang Hu did not pay attention to her threat, but calmly raised his hand and continued, I have one last question. Then he pointed to the person next to him, can you two see my wife? Hearing this, his wife was also confused. In the next second, his wife covered her flushed face with her hand, both surprised and happy, her eyes sparkling as she looked at Fuang Hu, and called out softly, Honey. Tham Lin Tuyet, who had been furious, was suddenly stunned. Immediately afterwards, she looked at the empty space beside Fuang Hu, and then looked around, but did not see his wife. At the same time, Li Wenji was also shocked on the spot, and looked at Fuang Hu with a puzzled and confused expression. You are a single man, man. Whether or not you have a wife, don't you know in your heart? And he said decisively, what nonsense are you talking about? The profile clearly states that you do not have a wife, not even a girlfriend. Seeing this, Fuang Hu looked at the two of them calmly, his mouth constantly muttering, really can't see it, or are you pretending not to see it? At the same time, his wife was jumping for joy because of Fuang Hu's actions, honey, I know you can see me, you can see me, right? Answer me. Tham Lin Tuyet and the other person felt a slight tremor in their hearts. They couldn't help but wonder if there was something wrong with Fuang Hu's mind. After a moment of contemplation, Li Wenji glanced at Fuang Hu and whispered to Tham Lin Tuyet, Inspector Tham, it is normal for ordinary people who have just become spiritual masters to be in an unstable state, but he has been unusually calm from the beginning. Now he is starting to have hallucinations. Therefore, I highly suspect that Fuang Hu's mental state is problematic, and it is even more serious than the normal situation. Suddenly, Tham Lin Tuyet stood up in anger, her eyes staring at Fuang Hu fiercely, Mr. Fuang Hu, are you joking with us? But Fuang Hu remained calm as water. He looked at Tham Lin Tuyet, who was furious, and felt that she did not seem to be pretending. But that didn't matter to him, because he still had a move to make. He was seen leaning against his wife behind him. With an evil smile on his face, he called out in a leisurely manner, my dear wife. Hearing this, his wife was immediately stunned. Just like that, the two sides looked at each other. My dear wife, I see you. Hearing this, a hint of ruthlessness flashed across his wife's face. At the same time, Tham Lin Tuyet looked at Fuang Hu angrily. If you don't want to cooperate, just say so. Don't. Before she could finish her sentence, Tham Lin Tuyet, who had been furious, suddenly became stunned, unable to speak. At this moment, a crack suddenly appeared, like a whirlwind. The sound of running water could be heard from the black crack. In the next second, a beautiful woman suddenly appeared in the place that was originally empty. She was seen wearing a white silk nightgown, with a smile on her lips that was both suppressed and joyful. Looked at Fuang Hu gently, my dear husband, you can see me. After saying that, his wife slowly turned her head, turning 180 degrees directly and staring at Tham Lin Tuyet and the other person. Immediately afterwards, his wife let out a creepy laugh. Hello, everyone. I am his wife. At this moment, Tham Lin Tuyet and Li Wenji stood up in pain. The two of them looked at the wife in astonishment. Li Wenji was so surprised that his jaw dropped. What the hell is this? At the same time, the wife's pale skin began to crack like porcelain, revealing dense black cracks. Her small mouth twisted to her ears, and her even teeth now became jagged. Inside her mouth, there was another mouth, as if a mouth had grown in her throat. At the same time, the wife's long, flowing hair began to move, like wriggling black snakes that whipped through the air, emitting an eerie hiss. Immediately afterwards, the wife opened her small mouth, and a three-meter-long tongue came out, hungrily saying, it's been a long time since I've eaten a spiritual master. I miss it so much. Seeing this, Li Wenji fell to the ground in fear, it's a ghost. At the same time, Tham Lin Tuyet was also shocked, damn it, Fuang Hu, what kind of person are you? Hearing this, 
Fuang Hu smiled wickedly, unexpectedly. My wife is a ghost. I didn't expect it myself. At this moment, Fuang Hu smiled wickedly. You're only seeing it now? It seems that because I responded to my wife, it activated some kind of medium, causing the virtual wife to become a real entity. This also means that perhaps in this world, I am the only one who sees ghosts everywhere. And I am the only one who has to be constantly mentally stressed. Every time I am careless and get discovered, I have to endure the pain of being chopped into pieces. At the same time, Li Wenji was so scared that his jaw dropped, while Tham Lin Tuyet gritted her teeth in anger, and at the same time thought about how to deal with it. After a moment of contemplation, Tham Lin Tuyet decided to strike first. She was seen raising her fair hand, and the air suddenly began to twist. A violent purple flame suddenly appeared in her hand. The temperature in the room suddenly rose. It is evident how high the temperature of this purple flame is. Tham Lin Tuyet then gathered her strength and quickly launched the exploding flame towards his wife, Dai. But as soon as she launched it, this extremely high temperature flame ignited Fuang Hu's clothes. Even the air in the room became scorching hot. It seems that this is Tham Lin Toyet's ability. No wonder she is always so hot tempered. Just then, with a loud bang, the flame exploded on the wife's body. However, the flame, which had been raging, seemed to have encountered cold water and was immediately extinguished on the wife's body. The wife was still safe and sound. Seeing this, Tham Lin Toyet's pupils constricted, her face full of disbelief. What, is she unscathed? At this moment, she realized that she could not deal with the ghost in front of her. Thinking of this, she extinguished the flame in her hand, then turned her head and pulled Li Wenji beside her, and quickly ran outside. She's too strong. We can't deal with her. Run quickly. Although she saw the two of them trying to run away, the wife remained unmoved. She stood still and raised her pale hand, gently waving it in the air, die. As she said those words, the air seemed to ripple as if something was stirring it. Just as Tham Lin Tuyet and Li Wenji were running away, a cut suddenly appeared on their necks. The cut was as smooth as a mirror. Their heads fell directly from their necks. Li Wenji also fell to the ground with a thud. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not hesitate. He quickly stepped forward and rushed towards Tham Lin Toyet's body, then tore open her clothes and began to search her body. At the same time, he also noticed the tattoo on her thigh, a particularly eye-catching pink fox. It seems that she likes pink, but he found nothing on her body. Fuang Hu then quickly searched Li Wenji's body and suddenly saw a letter on his body. Seeing this, Fuang Hu took out the letter and looked at it, but when he saw the contents, he could not help but be shocked. At the same time, his wife's gentle voice rang in Fuang Hu's ear, My dear husband, what are you looking for? But Fuang Hu did not answer, and continued to read the contents of the letter intently. Immediately after, his wife opened her small mouth, and Fuang Hu immediately felt a sharp pain. His vision went black, and his consciousness gradually became blurred. A moment later, Fuang Hu was standing in front of his house, his thoughts wandering. This rebirth did not bring him back to the time when he left the ghost realm. It seemed that the last time he went home and used a scalpel to experiment on his murdered wife, he had entered another resurrection node. If he did not encounter a new ghost event, the resurrection node would not change. Thinking of this, the corners of Fuang Hu's mouth curled up, forming a creepy, wicked smile. Fuang Hu's plan officially began. So, at 8.40 tomorrow morning, the investigation bureau will arrive. This is also the moment when his predictive ability will appear before everyone. Fuang Hu decided to carry out his plan. Now that he knew of the existence of the investigation bureau, there was no reason not to take advantage of it, because relying on himself alone, it was almost impossible to make all the ghosts in the world suffer. Therefore, he must borrow some reasonable external force. After a moment of contemplation, he opened the door and returned home, going straight to the bedroom. His wife followed close behind, lying down next to him, her appearance seductive. My dear husband, you're back. Would you like some supper? But Fuang Hu, as usual, ignored his wife's existence, and turned on his computer. His fingertips flew across the keyboard, typing in the address of the ghost forum with lightning speed. Fuang Hu wanted to see if there was any information on it that he could use. Fuang Hu gently clicked the mouse, and successfully entered the ghost forum. As soon as he entered the forum, his eyes were met with countless skulls filling the screen, and blood was flowing around the screen. Then, a black selection box appeared, divided into several sections, each labeled with the name of a region. 
there was a section for the Americas, a section for Asia, a section for Japan and Korea, and a section for China. When Fuang Hu clicked on the China section, several subcategories appeared, including ghosts, spirit masters, strange auras, and a reward system. Seeing this, Fuang Hu suddenly became very interested, because among them, there was a good chance that the truth of this world was hidden, the truth of the ghosts. Immediately, he quickly began to skim the titles of the posts about ghosts. At the same time, his wife suddenly transformed into a mouse in his hand. Because Fuang Hu's speed was extremely fast at this moment, it made his wife sweat and let out indescribable sounds. Ah, husband, slow down. You're too fast. Immediately after, his wife covered her mouth. Her face flushed red, and the sweat on her face dripped down. Husband, be gentle, okay? Oh. But Fuang Hu remained as calm as water, and continued to read the post intently. Although the information might not be complete, at least it was faster than exploring on his own. He casually clicked on the title of a post, which read Top Secret Ghost Contract. But when he clicked on it to view it, his expression immediately darkened. It turned out that when he clicked on the post, a reminder dialog box appeared, with countless zeros staring back at him. He counted them briefly, and there were a total of six zeros. In other words, it would cost 1 million yuan to view this post. Then he looked at other posts, and without exception, the cheapest posts cost 10 to 20,000 yuan, while posts related to top secret content cost millions, or even tens of millions. This made him, who was short on money, feel disheartened. At the same time, he could not help but sigh in his heart. Is this the world of spirit masters? At this moment, his wife behind him was also very surprised. It's so expensive, husband, let me pay for you. When he realized how poor he was, Fuang Hu looked at the ghost forum, his thoughts wandering. It seemed that before he could take full advantage of his future prediction ability to reap the greatest benefits, he could only browse the free section of the forum. Immediately, he looked at the hottest topic, the title of which was I have awakened the ability to control time. Fuang Hu felt a little disheartened. If even someone with the ability to control time had appeared, then the value of his future prediction ability would be greatly reduced. At the same time, he gently clicked the mouse to start reading. After reading for five minutes, he saw only the words just like that written at the end of the post, be continued at the end of the post. I have awakened the ability to control time. Unlike the ability to stop time in movies and TV shows, I also named my ability, calling it wasting time. For example, after you finish reading this post, I have wasted five minutes of your time. Seeing this, Fuang Hu's expression darkened, and he stared intently at the post. So this is something that doesn't cost money? The author of the post is the invincible female warrior of the universe. Are you kidding me? I remember now. At the same time, the invincible female warrior of the universe, who was sitting at her computer desk, sneezed hard. Who's cursing me? On the other side, Fuang Hu calmed down, sighed, and then continued reading. Just like that, Fuang Hu read until midnight. However, he had also gained a basic understanding of ghosts and spirit masters. At this moment, Fuang Hu suddenly thought, this is the address provided by the investigator, so why not try searching to see if there are any official posts from the investigation organization. The verification of an official organization, then the information inside must be the real deal. As a result, Fuang Hu completely lost track of time. Just like that, he read until the next morning. However, after a night of staying up all night, Fuang Hu finally managed to filter out information about ghosts and some common knowledge about spirit masters. Regardless of the strength of an individual ghost, their ranking is usually divided according to their level of harm. From highest to lowest, there are five levels. S, A, B, C, and D. Some individual ghosts, although not very strong, have an extremely high level of harm, and therefore their ranking will also increase. For example, there was once a ghost abroad, called the Plague, whose strength was so weak that as long as good anti-poisoning measures were taken, even a level 1 spirit master could easily kill its entity, but it could spread a plague on a large scale, and in a short period of time, it wiped out the entire population of a large city, and was therefore ranked as A as for S rank, it has the ability to destroy a country in a short period of time, and is considered a national level threat, the higher the level of harm of a ghost, the fewer there are, but their strength also increases accordingly but their strength also increases accordingly. However, the origin of ghosts has not yet been verified. According to the forum, they appear completely randomly, and there is no pattern whatsoever. But in reality, ghosts are always around us. At the same time, 
Fu Wang Hu slowly turned his head to look at his wife. Under normal circumstances, we cannot see them, and only when certain conditions are met, and they materialize and enter the real world. For outsiders, this is what is known as a random appearance. His wife, wearing a two-piece nightgown, rested her chin on her hands and looked at Fu Wang Hu tenderly. Honey, good morning. Would you like me to make you breakfast? At this moment, Fu Wang Hu was lost in thought again, because he had been reading posts all night, but he still hadn't seen anyone say that they could see ghosts everywhere. Thinking of this, Fu Wang Hu secretly set a small goal for himself, to earn money first. Only when he earned a lot of money and became stronger, would he be able to gather more useful information from the forum about ghosts. However, it was fortunate that he had made some progress. At least he had gained some knowledge about ghost energy. Ghost energy takes different forms, and contains the power of ghosts, and even possesses all sorts of incredible abilities. Some are weapons, such as swords and sabers, while others are everyday objects. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu pulled out the scalpel, and looked at it silently, lost in thought. There was no doubt that the scalpel had cut through countless ghosts, and had long since become contaminated with ghost energy. The post about ghost energy said that, in order to maximize the power of ghost energy, in addition to activating it, one must also use one's spiritual sense to penetrate the core of the ghost energy, and at the same time establish a corresponding connection with it. However, to have the ghost energy recognize one as its master, the risk is also very great. Once the spiritual sense and the ghost energy establish a connection, it means that it must be awakened, and one must also use one's spiritual sense to strike at the center of the ghost energy and establish a relationship with it. After thinking for a while, he looked at his watch. It was already 5.30 a.m., and the investigation team would be at his door in three hours. There should be enough time. Immediately afterwards, he held the scalpel and activated his spiritual sense, and began to penetrate it incessantly. The scalpel did not react at all. His consciousness seemed to have entered a region of darkness, and within that darkness, there seemed to be countless ghosts screaming. They were like madmen, crazily attacking Fuang Hu's consciousness. Countless negative emotions such as brutality, killing, and despair surged into his body, trying to distort his mind, and turn him into a monster. However, Fuang Hu's mind was like a bottomless abyss, and even though those negative emotions flooded in, he remained as calm as ever, and even let out a cold laugh of disdain. Is that all? Then become my ghost energy, and recognize me as your master. Immediately afterwards, he activated his spiritual sense, and began to condense it, leaving his own mark directly on the scalpel. Following the mark that Fuang Hu left, a connection between the two was immediately formed. When he withdrew his spiritual sense, he suddenly discovered that his spiritual sense had been strengthened. This made Fuang Hu even more satisfied with the scalpel. This meant that his spiritual sense had now been activated to level 2. It seems that the scalpel can not only be used as a basic weapon to attack ghosts, but the large amount of ghost energy hidden within it can also be mobilized by me, and help me activate even more spiritual senses. However, because this power is extremely chaotic, and with my current physical condition, I still cannot bear such a heavy burden. Well, I'll just wait until my body has been strengthened before I talk about it again. After thinking for a while, he looked at his watch again. It was already past 7 a.m., so Fuang Hu made a simple breakfast, but just as he had finished eating, the doorbell rang right on time. Seeing this, Fuang Hu picked up the phone without any expression. At the same time, an excited voice came from the other end of the line. Brother Hu, Brother Hu, I know what my ability is now, you'll be scared when I tell you. But Fuang Hu didn't give him a chance to show off, and directly interrupted him indifferently. Oh, your bed skills. Hearing this, Zhao Haojin's jaw almost dropped to the ground. Oh, how did you know? Brother Hu, did you already know? Then Zhao Hao said sadly, that's so boring, I still wanted to show off to you. Brother Hu, I've discovered the weakness of this ability, that is, there will be no more surprises in life in the future. Fuang Hu was eating fried eggs, he calmly said, okay, if there's nothing else, I'll hang up first, I have another guest. After saying that, he hung up the phone decisively. At the same time, in a business car, Li Wenji was eavesdropping on the conversation between the two, and the eavesdropping device in his hand fell to the ground in shock. He was covered in sweat, and his expression was one of disbelief. Shen Lingxue, who was beside him, immediately frowned. What are you doing? Li Wenji came to his senses and didn't even bother to pick up the eavesdropping device, but just looked at Shen Lingxue in a daze. I heard Fuang Hu and Zhao Hao's abilities. Hearing this, 
Shen Lingxue was a little interested. Oh, then tell me. What kind of abilities could make you so flustered? Tell me about it. Seeing this, Li Wenji hurriedly said, Zhao Hao's ability is the ability to sleep. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue expressed her disgust. Well, it's shocking enough. This made Li Wenji hurriedly continue. No, let me finish. Zhao Hao's ability is not important. What's important is Fuang Hu. He can predict the future. As soon as he finished speaking, Shen Lingxue was also very surprised. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Fuang Hu's ability is to predict the future? Li Wenji nodded. He just said on the phone that he would have two guests. He sounded very confident. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue was even more surprised. Two guests? Could he be referring to? At this moment, she moved her lips and turned her head back in disbelief. Is there really such a thing as the ability to predict the future in this world? Even if there is, it shouldn't appear on a level 1 Beastmaster. Hearing this, Li Wenji nodded. That's right. The stronger the ability, the more restrictions there are. Do you remember the person with the space teleportation ability that we interviewed last week? As soon as he finished speaking, Shen Lingxue laughed. You mean the one who could only teleport 10 centimeters at a time, and then had to wait an hour for his spiritual sense to recover before he could use his ability again. A level 1 beastmaster, right? At this moment, Li Wenji leaned on the armrest, and said in a puzzled tone, That's right. Fuang Hu is a new beastmaster. Ong Hu is a new beastmaster. He should have been the same as that person, only able to predict things that will happen in the near future. But he was the complete opposite. It was a surprise that he could predict that we were coming to find him. At the same time, the car stopped at the foot of the building where Fuang Hu lived. Shen Lingxue opened the car door. Instead of sitting here speculating, why don't we go and see him? As she spoke, she looked very eager. Let me see if his ability to predict the future is real or not. But when they reached the fifth floor, they were surprised to find that the door was already open, as if it was waiting for them. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue and the other person looked at the open door, and stood there frozen. They didn't know if Fuang Hu knew or if the door had not been closed properly. But very quickly, Shen Lingxue came to her senses, and pushed open the door that was slightly ajar. But at this moment, Shen Lingxue was once again shocked by the scene before her eyes. She saw Fuang Hu, who was tall and straight, and handsome, calmly making tea. There were three teacups on the tea table, one in front of Fuang Hu, Fuang Hu, and the other two in front of the sofa, the steam still rising from the teacups, indicating that they had just been boiled. Suddenly, Fuang Hu picked up a teacup, and calmly said, Miss Shen, Mr. Li, please sit down. Hearing this, the surprise on the faces of the two people grew even stronger. With a mix of doubt, the two people walked into the room, and Shen Lingxue, who was very courageous, took the lead and sat down on the sofa, and said in a gentle tone, How do you know my name? These three cups of tea, did you know that we were coming? Fuang Hu ignored her doubts, and calmly took a sip of tea, and then calmly and solemnly said, because my eyes can see the future. At this moment, when they heard Fuang Hu admitted himself, the hearts of the two people immediately surged with an overwhelming storm. But even though Shen Lingxue was very surprised, the doubts in her heart had not yet dissipated. Immediately afterwards, she crossed her arms in front of her chest, and looked at Fuang Hu with doubt. You can see the future? How do you prove it? Seeing this, Fuang Hu calmly looked at the two people. You are both from the investigation bureau. Are both from the investigation bureau. There are two main purposes for my visit this time. One is to investigate the strange case at the White Willow Library. The other is to see if my ability and Zhao Hao's ability are qualified to join the investigation bureau. At the same time, the woman next to him looked unhappy. You can't look at her. You saw me. As soon as she finished speaking, Li Wenji shook his head with a serious expression. Mr. Fuang, this doesn't prove that you can predict the future. As long as you did some research on the investigation bureau in advance, the purpose of our visit here is very easy to guess. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at Li Wenji, and at the same time, a mysterious smile appeared on his face. Seeing this, Li Wenji shuddered, and touched his nose guiltily. What's the matter, Mr. Fuang? My reasoning is very reasonable. Fuang Hu looked at him with a smug expression. Then I'll tell you something that no one knows. Actually, you have always had a secret crush on Shen Lingxue. Hearing this, Li Wenji immediately trembled, and his face flushed red, while Shen Lingxue, who was beside him, was also stunned. Moreover, you have already written a love letter, and put it in your left breast pocket. Immediately, Li Wenji looked incredulous, and the red on his cheeks grew even darker. Don't say anymore. As he spoke, he covered the breast pocket of his shirt with his hand. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue looked at Li Wenji in surprise. 
Is what he said true? At the same time, the woman sitting between the two men, looked at Li Wenji with a puzzled expression. A secret crush? But at this moment, Fu Wang Hu still did not stop, and directly said the content inside. Ling Shui, when you read this letter, I may already be dead. Actually, there has always been something I wanted to tell you. Before Fu Wang Hu could finish speaking, Shen Ling Shui had already approached Li Wenji, and grabbed his left breast pocket to search it. At this moment, Li Wenji hurriedly explained, Investigator Shen, you know me. Fu Wang Hu is obviously talking nonsense. I really don't have it. Before he could finish speaking, Shen Ling Shui had already taken the letter that Fu Wang Hu had mentioned from his pocket. Immediately, she opened it and read it. She quickly scanned the few lines of words, and the surprise in her heart grew stronger and stronger. Unexpectedly, it was exactly the same as what Fu Wang Hu had said. After reading the contents of the letter, Shen Ling Shui was not only extremely surprised, but her expression also became complicated. But very quickly, she calmed down, then threw the letter back to Li Wenji, and looked at Fu Wang Hu with a serious expression. Even if you know the content inside, it doesn't mean that you can predict the future. After all, this is not content written in the future, but something he wrote in the past. Faced with the doubt, Fu Wang Hu did not refute it, but calmly poured tea. Miss Shen has the ability to control flames. Her measurements are 85, 63, and 80. At the same time, the woman had turned into a teapot in Fu Wang Hu's hand, and she blushed and said shyly, Honey, guess what my measurements are. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue immediately became angry, and her eyes flashed with a red gold light, and she slammed her palm on the tea table. My ability is not a secret, as long as those who have had contact with the spiritual master world, more or less will have heard of it. As for my measurements, the fact that you guessed them so accurately can only prove that you are a lecher. Li Wenji, who was at the side, blushed, and without saying a word, silently memorized the measurements. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu did not rush to take a sip of tea, and then calmly looked at Shen Lingxue. Miss Shen, you have another secret that you don't want others to know. Do you really want me to say it? Hearing this, Li Wenji was extremely surprised, and his eyes widened. At the same time, he was also very interested. Shen Lingxue looked at him with disdain. Go ahead and say it. I have nothing to hide. As soon as she finished speaking, Fu Wang Hu laughed slyly. Ha ha. Immediately afterwards, Fu Wang Hu supported his chin, and deliberately said in a wretched manner, Miss Shen, you like the color pink very much. At this moment, the woman bent down slightly, and smiled as she approached Fu Wang Hu. What color does hubby like? At this moment, Fu Wang Hu relied on his remaining memory, and pretended to think for a while before slowly saying, Miss Shen, your underwear and panties are all pink. You even have a pink tattoo on your body. Before he could finish speaking, with a bang, a fierce flame suddenly burst out from Shen Lingxie's fair hands, and a wave of heat hit them. At this moment, she had completely lost control, and glared at Fu Wang Hu with extreme agitation. This is not predicting the future at all. It's obvious that you have the ability to see through things. You and True Hao are no different, and neither of you are good people. But in the face of the scorching flames, Fu Wang Hu did not panic at all, and there was no ripple on his face. Predicting the future is not what you think it is. It is impossible to know everything that will happen in the future. For example, last night, I only predicted that you would come to my house today, so I used up my spiritual power to see the future scene, including the scene of the assistant reading and rereading the love letter at midnight, and the scene of Miss Shen cleaning up the wardrobe. Hearing this, Shen Lingxie's flames gradually extinguished, but the unfriendly look in her eyes had not disappeared, and the redness on her cheeks had not faded. Moreover, she always felt that Fu Wang Hu had seen more than just these things. After all, the tattoo was tattooed at. After thinking about it, Shen Lingxue felt extremely embarrassed, and she pulled her skirt tightly and sat down on the sofa. What you just said is not considered predicting the future at all. Why don't you tell me the winning numbers for tonight's lottery? Why don't you tell me the winning numbers for tonight's lottery? As soon as he finished speaking, Fu Wang Hu did not hesitate, and immediately found paper and a pen, and began to pretend to think and then write. Very quickly, Fu Wang Hu wrote a series of numbers and handed them to Shen Lingxue. But in fact, they were all numbers from the other world. His real plan was to wait and see the lottery results, and then carry out a death flashback. During that time, he could gather some more information. At this moment, Shen Lingxue looked at the series of numbers in her hand, and she already believed Fu Wang Hu's seven or eight tenths, but she still questioned him. If you have the ability to predict, why don't you buy a lottery ticket yourself and get rich? Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu pretended to be helpless. The butterfly effect. Have you heard of it? So don't try to use the power of the investigation bureau to do anything unusual. At this moment, Shen Lingxue looked at Fu Wang Hu with doubt. 
If the numbers you gave me don't match, then. Before she could finish speaking, Fu Wang Hu confidently interrupted her. If they don't match, I can pay with my life. Seeing Fu Wang Hu being so arrogant, Shen Lingxue could not help but doubt him. Shen Lingxue became angry once more, and the flames in her hands slowly flared up. Li Wenji, who was standing beside her, hurriedly advised, Investigator Shen, calm down. The lottery draw will start tonight anyway. Then he turned to look at Fu Wang Hu. Mr. Fuang, we should still continue talking about your experience in the haunted dormitory at the White Willow Academy. Fuang Hu looked at the teacup in his hand, and began to pretend to think, and appeared to be very frightened. Then he used a frightened tone to recount that the strange place was called the Qingshan Mental Hospital. It appeared very suddenly. When we realized it, it had already overlapped with the space of the salesroom of the White Willow Academy. Everyone was trapped in the mental hospital. Fuang Hu did not reveal too much, because the abilities of a level 1 spirit tamer were limited. The experiences in the strange place could be selectively recounted. As for the appearance of the scalpel, it would definitely cause unnecessary trouble, so it was best to hide its existence for the time being. At the same time, Fuang Hu saw that the teacup was empty, so he stood up to get the teapot. When he picked up the teapot and shook it, he found that it was almost empty as well. Very quickly, Fuang Hu brewed a new pot of tea, and slowly placed it on the tea table, and at the same time, he said softly, that's how things happened. Because my spiritual power reserve is limited, I could only use my predictive ability once when I had to choose between two paths. I saw two different images. One showed that true how and I would go through the fire escape, encounter the dream controlling demon, and then successfully escape. The other path led to many hospital rooms, and behind each room lurked an extremely terrifying demonic aura. True how and I would be chased to our deaths by the ghost nurse. Therefore, I judged that there were at least dozens of demons inside the Qingshan Mental Hospital. Seeing Fu Wang Hu recounting confidently, Li Wenji could not help but be surprised when he heard this. Even his voice was 8 degrees higher. Dozens of demons? Are you sure? Shen Lingxue, on the other hand, was extremely dissatisfied. Fu Wang Hu, do you know what you're talking about? Globally, there are not a few events related to ghosts and demons, but there has never been a precedent for dozens of demons coexisting in a single haunted place. Even in normal cases, ghosts and demons are usually born in pairs. There may be phenomena of invasion or fusion, but ghosts and demons cannot coexist peacefully with each other. They can only devour each other. Therefore, it is fundamentally impossible possible for dozens of demons to gather together. So, if you didn't make a mistake, then they are just a group of ghost slaves controlled by high-level ghosts and demons. Although the number is very large, their strength is not strong. Speaking of this, Shen Lingxue sneered and looked at Fuang Hu. I think you're just scared. Besides, you don't understand anything about ghosts and demons at all. So you mistook ghost slaves for ghosts and demons. Fuang Hu did not say much, and only looked at her calmly. With your level of understanding, it is difficult for you to understand what I am saying. You just need to report the truth. Last night, Fuang Hu had browsed the global ghost and demon forum, so he naturally knew what ghost slaves were. Then he closed his eyes, and slowly said, Weakness and ignorance are not barriers to survival. Arrogance is the barrier. As soon as he finished speaking, Shen Lingxie's anger immediately flared up, and she glared at Fuang Hu. Li Wenji quickly stopped him, and gave a friendly smile. Mr. Fuang, thank you for your honest confession. However, for the investigation bureau, the ability to predict the future is extremely important. Therefore, we still have to trouble you to come to the investigation bureau today. Hearing this, Fuang Hu immediately put down his teacup, and suddenly stood up and walked out. Seeing this, Li Wenji was very surprised. So fast? After an hour's drive, Fuang Hu was taken to the investigation bureau of Lu Tang City. The investigation bureau was located in a remote place, and was quite mysterious. When the three of them got out of the car, Li Wenji and Shen Lingxue walked in front to lead the way, while Fuang Hu followed behind with his hands in his pockets. Not long after, they came to an inconspicuous door, beside which was written the words Paranormal Investigation Bureau. At this moment, Li Wenji looked at Fuang Hu and said, Mr. Fuang, please follow me. At the same time, Fuang Hu calmly looked ahead. It seems that spirit tamers also need certain conditions to be able to see ghosts and demons. Otherwise, they wouldn't have been unable to see them even though they were in the investigation bureau. There are still many ghosts and demons roaming around. Seeing this scene, Fuang Hu became even more certain that he was the only one who could see ghosts and demons on the street. Otherwise, the investigation bureau, which specializes in handling strange events, would never have let ghosts and demons roam around like this. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu suddenly smiled slyly. Paranormal Investigation Bureau. Who, 
Don't disappoint me. Led by Li Wenji, Fuang Hu entered a staircase leading down to the basement. After walking through the dark staircase, he went straight to the investigation bureau. Fuang Hu could not have imagined that the main base of the investigation bureau would be located underground, and that the building on the ground was just a camouflage. At the same time, a staff member was on the phone. At first, he politely asked who was on the other end, then answered the phone and went outside. As he passed Fuang Hu, the man said impatiently, I'm not buying a house, not borrowing money, not swimming, not exercising. As for massage, foot washing, I'm a decent person. But when he saw that there was no one around, he asked softly, where is your address? Send me a text message quickly. Although the man tried to pretend to be careful, Fuang Hu still heard it clearly. Looking around, he saw that there were many people sitting and working inside the investigation bureau. Everyone was busy with their own work. Some were staring at their computer screens, their faces full of worry. At this moment, a man who had just finished his work, stretched on his chair. His sudden arm movement accidentally hit the woman behind him, causing the entire cup of water to spill on her. Seeing this, the man hurriedly stood up, repeatedly apologizing and helping her wipe the water off her body. The woman exclaimed, I can do it myself, stop it. Where are you touching? Very quickly, they passed through the noisy work area and arrived at a break room. As soon as they sat down, Fuang Hu said meaningfully, your bureau is really lively. At the same time, Li Wenji poured a cup of tea for Fuang Hu, while Shen Lingxue stood at the door, her arms crossed in front of her chest, and said coldly to Li Wenji, Li Wenji, come with me to report to the director. As soon as she finished speaking, the two of them walked out of the break room, and headed towards the director's office. Fuang Hu drank his tea while looking at the closed door, his face full of contemplation. Immediately afterwards, he closed his eyes and his whole body continuously emitted spiritual energy. It turned out that with the help of the strange energy in the scalpel, Fuang Hu's spiritual energy had been enhanced, though he wanted to test whether his perception had improved. Sure enough, his perception was much more acute. The range of perception was also wider, but it still hadn't reached its limit. Within the range of Fuang Hu's perception, he suddenly discovered that within this investigation bureau there was another world. Then he sensed and saw Shen Lingxue on her way to the director's office. In addition, he was able to easily find the director's office based on the direction they were headed. Right now, Shen Lingxue felt that something was wrong. As if there was a pair of eyes watching them from behind, she turned her head abruptly, but found no one behind her. This sudden action startled Li Wenji. What's wrong? Shen Lingxue? Is there anything unusual in the bureau? Seeing this, Shen Lingxue replied suspiciously, nothing. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu leaned back on the sofa, his face expressionless. She's quite perceptive. In the director's office, the two of them began to report on the investigation in a serious manner. However, they were also very tacit and neither of them mentioned the love letter or the pink underwear. After listening to the two of them, Wang Dehai was also very surprised. Are you sure that his ability is to predict the future? Besides the two of you, does anyone else know? Shen Lingxue replied indifferently, there's also Zhao Hao, who escaped from the ghost realm with Fuang Hu. At this moment, Wang Dehai put down his teacup with a serious face. Predicting the future is a matter of great importance. Whether it's true or not, we'll keep it a secret for now. We must not let any information leak out. In addition, we must also arrange for security measures for Zhao Hao. You understand? After saying this, Wang Dehai asked, where are the lottery numbers he wrote? Hearing this, Li Wenji respectfully handed the piece of paper to Wang Dehai. At this moment, Wang Dehai stared at the numbers, his face full of contemplation. Guessing the lottery is not impossible. He had already arranged for someone to help for someone to assist him. Li Wenji, you go and find two trustworthy people, to supervise the entire process, and ensure that tonight's lottery results are completely random. After saying this, he slammed the piece of paper on the table. I have to see how capable this Fuang Hu really is. Li Wenji followed Wang Dehai's arrangement, and immediately set out to find someone to supervise tonight's lottery drawing to prevent Fuang Hu from arranging for someone to cheat. At this moment, only Wang Dehai and Shen Lingxue were left in the director's office. Immediately afterwards, Wang Dehai said with a serious face, Xiao Shen, you are also a senior exorcist. In your experience, do you think he is lying? Hearing this, Shen Lingxue did not take revenge, but still expressed her true thoughts. If it's fake, then he must be a liar with an extremely strong mentality. Furthermore, predicting the future is very easy to debunk. He has no reason to make up this story to deceive us. At the same time, Wang Dehai nodded, picked up his teacup. Shen Lingxue stroked her hair, and said, however, according to my intuition, Fuang Hu is lying. Hearing this, that Fuang Hu is lying, 
Hearing this, Wang Dehai took a sip and immediately spat it all out. This action almost caused him to retire early. Then he cleared his throat, put down his teacup, and looked at Shen Lingxue with a puzzled expression. It was obvious that Shen Lingxue was very serious. Based on a woman's intuition, Wang Dehai waved his scalded hand helplessly. If it's real, it can't be faked. We'll know by tonight. That's right. In the recording, he said that there are dozens of ghosts in the Qingshan Mental Hospital. Hearing this, the corners of Shen Lingxie's mouth immediately curled into a mocking smile. Director Wang, you can't believe what he says. There is no such ghost realm in the world. Otherwise, even if Fuang Hu knew everything in advance, he wouldn't have been able to survive. Immediately afterwards, she confidently gestured with her hand. In my judgment, there are only two ghosts in the Bai Lu Library ghost realm. One is a female doctor ghost. I suggest we call it the ghost doctor. Its rule is to kill the person closest to it, and it only kills one person at a time. After it finishes eating, it will attack again. From the description, its level is D. The other is a dream controlling ghost. I suggest we call it the dream demon. Its rule is to force nearby people into a dream, and then trigger their fears to kill them. It is suspected that it has the ability to attack without a physical form. But considering its special ability to make multiple people fall into a dream at the same time, it is recommended to rank it as C since the Bai Lu Library is a fixed ghost realm, and the surrounding area is sparsely populated. In summary, it is recommended to rank the danger level as C. Hearing this, Wang Dehai stroked his chin and pondered, how scary is the dream created by the dream demon? At this moment, Shen Lingxue casually adjusted her gloves, and slowly said indifferently, how scary can it be? It can only scare ordinary people. Even Zhao Hao, a timid and lecherous newbie, was able to dispel his fear and survive by watching porn. So it goes without saying that senior exorcists are even less affected. If his ability is known in advance, then the danger level is even lower than that female doctor. As soon as she finished speaking, Wang Dehai nodded in agreement. All right, next, you bring Fuang Hu here. I want to meet him, right now. Shen Lingxue looked surprised. Director Wang, you want to meet Fuang Hu in person? I'm afraid that's not in accordance with the regulations. What if he loses control? To ensure safety, let the captain or vice captain meet him. Hearing this, Wang Dehai shook his head helplessly. Neither of them are in the bureau at the moment. They've gone to track down the headless ghost. At the same time, the captain of the investigation bureau, Yang Ming, took a deep drag of his cigarette. Then, with a swish, he left an afterimage and headed towards the exit of the investigation bureau. But just as he reached the door, the vice captain, Bai Qi, who was following behind, also stepped onto the stairs. Bai Qi stomped his foot, and with a whoosh, he caught up to Yang Ming. Immediately afterwards, the scene suddenly changed, and the two people at the door refused to let each other go first. But Yang Ming was one step ahead, and rushed out first, heading straight for the driver's seat. But Bai Qi was not to be outdone, and jumped directly under his car. Seeing this, Yang Ming said angrily, Bai Qi, get out of the car, don't follow me. Bai Qi didn't mind. Don't be so stingy. It's just a ride. On the other side, in the break room, Shen Lingxue brought over a specialized spiritual energy detector and placed it in front of Fuang Hu, and began to patiently introduce the detector to him. Based on the fluctuations of spiritual energy, it can detect lies. As long as you are not being honest, the machine will react. Every new exorcist has to go through this test. Hearing this, Fuang Hu did not hesitate, and placed his hand on the machine with an expressionless face. Ask away. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue looked at Fuang Hu with a suspicious expression, and then began to ask questions. The first question, if right now there is a powerful demon wreaking havoc throughout the city, what would you choose to do? 1. Fight the demon. 2. Run away by yourself. 3. Save as many people as you can and then run away together. As soon as she finished speaking, Fuang Hu made his choice decisively. I choose option 1. Fight the demon. At the same time, the lie detector also showed that Fuang Hu was not lying. At this moment, Shen Lingxue looked at Fuang Hu with a suspicious expression, and was also a little surprised. This answer was beyond her expectations. She had never thought that. Fuang Hu was someone who could sacrifice his life for others. But Fuang Hu was not lying about this question either, because he hated all kinds of demons. So even if he couldn't beat them, he would still fight. If he couldn't kill them once, he would fight twice. If he couldn't kill them twice, he would fight three times. No matter how many times he died and came back to life, he would eventually find the other party's weakness and kill them. At this moment, Shen Lingxue looked at Fuang Hu, and once again asked, the second question, if in the future, 
humans are clearly no match for demons, and at this time, an intelligent demon appears, and invites you to join the demon race, and even promises to grant you great power, unimaginable authority and status, would you agree? As soon as she finished speaking, Fu Wang Hu did not hesitate, and calmly replied, Number. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue showed a hint of surprise. The lie detector did not detect any fluctuations in the man being interrogated. At this moment, Shen Lingxue was a little unhappy, because she always felt that Fu Wang Hu was not the kind of person who would devote himself to humanity. Immediately afterwards, she asked the third question. If the demon promises to grant you great power, and also promises to protect your family, friends, and lover, would you agree? Fu Wang Hu still answered succinctly and concisely, number. At this moment, Shen Lingxue still held firm to her thoughts, and she looked at Fu Wang Hu with suspicion. Then what if your family joins the demons, and invites you to join as well? Fu Wang Hu replied simply and clearly, I don't have a family. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue couldn't believe it, and she exclaimed, What about friends? As far as I know, you and True Hao have a pretty good relationship. He's your only friend. What if he wants you to betray humanity? Hearing this, a hint of murderous intent flashed across Fu Wang Hu's face, and he said indifferently, I don't mind not having any friends. The whole room fell silent. Shen Lingxue looked at the lie detector which showed no reaction, and she felt a little incredulous. After regaining her composure, Shen Lingxue asked the final question, after becoming an exorcist, asked the final question, after becoming an exorcist, what do you want to do most? Or to put it another way, what is your ideal? Fu Wang Hu's whole body exuded murderous intent, and he looked at Shen Lingxue with an expressionless face, kill all the demons in the world. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue was extremely shocked, and her pupils constricted as she stared at Fu Wang Hu in a daze. At this moment, Shen Lingxue was speechless, and she silently lowered her head, singing Thinking into silence, she had witnessed quite a few exorcist tests, and each person had a twisted mentality. The dark side of human nature would be infinitely magnified. Their answers were also very selfish and perverted. For example, the first question, when a powerful demon is massacring in the city, some people directly chose to run away, while those who were more seriously contaminated by spiritual energy even made people gasp in astonishment. There are demons massacring? Then let's kill them together, and see who can kill faster and more. The second question was even more absurd. If you can't beat them, join them. Join whoever is stronger. Join whoever treats me well. The third question goes without saying. The ideal is to make a fortune in times of chaos. And there were even perverted exorcists who wanted to marry 100 wives, become a qualified demon, save humanity, save the world. Compared to these, Shen Lingxue couldn't help but change her view of Fu Wang Hu a little. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu seemed like a great god in her eyes. At the same time, she looked at Fu Wang Hu with tearful eyes. Since when? Has there been someone in the exorcist ranks who feels sorry for the suffering? of the world. Someone who is so hypocritical. If the spiritual lie detector is not mistaken, then he is truly the little angel of mankind. No, he is the real saint. He seems arrogant and cold, and his face is as cold as ice, but on the contrary, he has a warm heart, and he always shines for humanity. Could he be the one who people say is cold on the outside, and warm on the inside? Compared to him, I'm nothing more than a dark earthworm. Immediately afterwards, she slapped the lie detector in front of her, and she couldn't help but complain, it's too fake, s too fake. Is the lie detector broken? But she didn't know that. All of Fu Wang Hu's answers today were true. He not only wanted to kill all the demons, but he also wanted to torture his beloved wife ruthlessly. Moreover, he couldn't let his wife die too easily. She had to feel what he had experienced, and endure hundreds or thousands of times more pain than that. Fu Wang Hu not only passed the spiritual lie detector, but he also gave 100% perfect answers. So Shen Lingxue brought Fu Wang Hu to Wang Dehai's office. When Shen Lingxue closed the door, she looked at Wang Dehai who was sitting on the chair, Director Wang, the person has been brought. Then Shen Lingxue walked in front of Wang Dehai, and handed him the test report, and looked at Wang Dehai with a serious expression, he passed the spiritual test. Hearing this, Wang Dehai took the report with an expressionless face, and habitually looked at Fu Wang Hu's resume, then smiled faintly and said, Okay, Fu Wang Hu, right? Introduce yourself. I am Wang Dehai, currently serving as the director of the Lu Tang City Investigation Bureau. Please sit down. But at this moment, Wang Dehai was extremely surprised to find that Fu Wang Hu had already sat down opposite him. At this time, Fu Wang Hu nodded with an expressionless face, 
Hello, Director Wang. As soon as he finished speaking, Wang Dehai was immediately stunned on the spot, and the report in his hand was almost crushed by him. Are young people nowadays all so arrogant? Shen Lingxue was even more angry. Wang Dehai looked at Fu Wang Hu with disgust and annoyance. At this time, he turned to the report page, and had just opened his mouth to say a word, but immediately seemed to choke, with an extremely shocked expression. His eyes were wide open like two copper bells, and he looked at the report in his hand in disbelief. Impossible. This is a report? This is a copy of the exam paper. Immediately afterwards, he took out a pair of glasses in disbelief, put them on his eyes and looked at them again. At this moment, his hands couldn't help but tremble. Just because this report was so perfect, so perfect that it was unbelievable, making him even sweat on his face. Seeing this, he looked at Shen Lingxue in a daze, and signaled to her with his eyes, Little Shen, is this true? Shen Lingxue nodded helplessly, and gave a definite answer. Immediately afterwards, Wang Dehai tried to suppress the shock in his heart, took a deep breath to calm down his emotions, and put the report on the table. Immediately afterwards, he suddenly grabbed Fuang Hu's hand, and looked at him with tears in his eyes, Mr. Fuang, you are perfect. Even if you don't have the ability to predict the future, I would also like to open the back door for you directly, and invite you to join the investigation bureau immediately. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu calmly withdrew his hand. Wait until the lottery results are out before talking. This old fox is probing me again. It's meaningless to join the investigation bureau like this. Joining as someone with the ability to predict the future, then demanding suitable conditions in exchange for resources, is my goal. Seeing this, Wang Dehai said with a serious face, so you didn't take the bait. It seems that he really possesses such a powerful ability. Immediately afterwards, he said calmly, you said that your ability is to predict the future, so is there a limit on the time or number of times? Hearing this, Fuang Hu sneered, and then began to pretend to brag, in the realm of ghosts, I can travel between the future and the past, witness countless life and death, and experience countless possibilities. Then he looked at Wang Dehai with a serious expression, to me, the future is just details that can be observed and modified at will. Seeing this, Wang Dehai frowned, damn it, he's got me. Shen Lingxue next to him gritted her teeth. Can't you just say it straight? Why pretend? Then Wang Dehai started to chat. He introduced Fuang Hu to the key personnel in the bureau and the ranks of the spirit masters at various stages. But just when he was talking about what stage Fuang Hu would belong to when he joined, a young man in uniform rushed in and opened the door in a panic. Seeing this, Wang Dehai immediately frowned and looked at the young man with dissatisfaction. How many times have I told you? Don't be so hasty when you work. Be so hasty in your work. Before he could finish speaking, the young man interrupted him directly. He looked at Wang Dehai with a look of panic. Director Wang, something terrible has happened. Deputy Captain Bai, he's dead. Hearing this, Wang Dehai immediately stood up and looked at the young man with a look of surprise. Shen Lingxue also showed a look of surprise on her face. The two of them couldn't believe it and said in unison, what, how could he be dead? At the same time, Fu Wang Hu, who was sitting next to him, heard the news, but he was very calm. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu began to calculate in his heart, hearing Wang Dehai say just now, Deputy Captain Bai was close to reaching the level of a level 3 spirit master, then how strong would his ability be? It's a pity to die like this, or maybe I can borrow his help. It turned out that before this, Captain Yang and Deputy Captain Bai were both searching for the whereabouts of the ghost with a human head. Meanwhile, Deputy Captain Bai found the ghost with a human head in an abandoned building in Qingbai town. But Deputy Captain Bai did not inform Captain Yang. Initially, with Deputy Captain Bai's strength, strength, then dealing with the ghost with a human head would not be a problem. But no one expected that there would be another evil ghost hidden in the abandoned building in Qingbai town. When Deputy Captain Bai was fighting the ghost with a human head, the other evil ghost suddenly launched a sneak attack. That's why Deputy Captain Bai, Wang Dehai slammed his hand on the desk, and looked at the young man angrily, another evil ghost? What kind of intelligence are you guys doing? Why don't you know that there is another evil ghost hidden in Qingbai town? At this time, the young man was so scared that he started to cry, before. And the intelligence department conducted a comprehensive investigation. We checked Qingbai town very carefully. At that time, we really didn't find that evil ghost. It's like it just suddenly appeared. Hearing this, this. Wang Dehai took a deep breath, trying to control the anger in his heart. Where is Yang Ming? Seeing this, the young man frowned. Captain Yang set off for Qingbai town immediately after receiving the news. At this time, Wang Dehai did not answer immediately. As the director of the investigation bureau, he understands that it is absolutely impossible to let anger affect his judgment at this time. 
This time, he absolutely could not let anger affect his judgment. Very quickly after that, Wang Dehai calmed down, then pointed to Fuang Hu and said indifferently, Xiao Wang, first take Mr. Fuang to the guest room to rest. Xiao Shen, you go to the meeting room with me later. After saying that, Wang Dehai led Shen Lingxue away. The young man called Xiao Wang led Fuang Hu to the guest room. As soon as he stepped out of the office, Fuang Hu immediately used his intuition. He could only hear Wang Dehai almost shouting, Xiao Lin, prepare the car. All the investigators go to Qingbai town and notify the the organization to call an emergency meeting. Also, call and notify the other spirit masters. As long as we can solve this evil ghost incident, the investigation bureau is willing to offer a reward of 3,000 spirit coins and 10 sticks of spirit incense. At the same time, the inside of the investigation bureau has become chaotic. Everyone could not believe the news that Deputy Captain Bai had died in battle. Hearing about spirit coins and spirit incense, Fuang Hu immediately felt very interested. He had seen pictures of these two things on the evil ghost forum. I heard that they were all made by the headquarters of the investigation bureau. Made by the headquarters of the investigation bureau. But Fuang Hu had never seen the real thing. According to the introduction on the evil ghost forum, spirit coins are actually a type of steel material that can transmit spirituality. It is often used to make weapons and armor. It is considered the main currency for circulation among spirit masters. Spirit incense is also a type of incense made by the headquarters of the investigation bureau that can suppress spiritual pollution and help spirit masters reduce their loss of spiritual control. It can be said that this is a life-saving medicine for all spirit masters. It is also an extremely precious resource. At this time, in the guest room, Fuang Hu was still calmly drinking tea. But in his heart, he was constantly calculating. The top spirit master in Lu Tang City was a high-level spirit master, but he died so easily. Only with two evil ghosts. This shows that these two evil ghosts are of a relatively high level. Even a low-level evil ghost like the female doctor. Its skin is as hard as steel. Ordinary weapons cannot break through its defense. On the contrary, humans are different. The human body is too weak, and their endurance is too low. Even if they have spirituality, when facing evil ghosts, humans are still at a disadvantage. However, Fuang Hu did not care about that, because the weak ones are spirit masters, not him. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu slowly stood up. Then he glanced at Xiao Wang beside him, and at the same time lifted the curtain of the guest room. All right, it's useless to worry. Hearing this, Xiao Wang came back to his senses. He found that Fuang Hu had left his seat, and was standing behind him. Immediately, he turned his head to look at Fuang Hu with a puzzled expression. But before he could open his mouth, Fuang Hu gave him a powerful blow to the back of his neck. Xiao Wang immediately fainted, and fell to the ground. Then Fuang Hu quickly took off his uniform and put it on himself. He planned to disguise himself as an employee of the investigation bureau, and take advantage of the chaos to gather more useful intelligence. Fuang Hu was seen dressed in uniform, walking around the investigation bureau with a calm expression, casually listening to the gossip of the employees. Deputy Captain Bai is so strong. He died so easily. In my opinion, this death could have been avoided. Just blame Captain Duong and Deputy Captain Bai for conflicting with each other, leading to their failure to act together. Otherwise, how could they have been ambushed to death? I heard that Deputy Captain Bai lost in the captain's competition and was disobedient but Captain Duong said that his luck was a passive ability. Apart from bringing good luck to people, it has no other lethal ability. That's why spirit masters in other cities always call him the weakest captain. As for Deputy Captain Bai, he is known as the invincible existence among level 2 spirit masters. How could he lose? At the same time, Fuang Hu suddenly became interested when he heard this. This luck ability is really interesting. It turned out that Captain Duong was able to win the captain's competition entirely because of luck. While mocking him, Deputy Captain Bai suddenly had a stomachache, and did not even dare to use his ability. Although Captain Duong is very weak, he is still a level 2 spirit master after all. As for Deputy Captain Bai, he is a typical example of a cold person. He likes to pretend. If he had stopped mocking to go to the toilet in front of everyone, it would have been better than killing him directly. So he pretended that nothing had happened and continued to fight, thinking that no one knew he was shitting. But at that time, there were many spirit masters with good hearing and eyesight, and they had smelled the smell under the stands long ago. Hearing this, Fuang Hu in the corridor immediately left. What a stinky gossip. But there was no useful information at all. Suddenly, a young man pushed the door open open and rushed in, hurriedly shouting towards the work area hurry up, hurry to the meeting room, 
Captain Duong has returned. Director Wang has called an emergency meeting. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu immediately blended into the crowd and followed them to the meeting room. Fu Wang Hu would not miss this opportunity. Surely, a lot of important information will be announced in the emergency meeting. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Very quickly, everyone in the investigation bureau gathered in the meeting room. Both sides of the long meeting table were filled with people. There were both men and women, but they were generally quite young long conference table. Most of them were dressed strangely, very individualistic. On both sides of the conference table were many staff members in work uniforms, and the presiding officer of the conference table was Director Wang Dehai with a serious face. Suddenly, Fu Wang Hu smelled a strong smell of smoke. This made him suspicious. How could someone dare to smoke in an emergency meeting? Immediately, he followed the smell of smoke to search. He saw in the corner a man with a sad face squatting on the floor, smoking continuously. The whole conference room was filled with cigarette smoke. Seeing this scene, Fu Wang Hu guessed. It seemed that he was Captain Duong Min. With such a sad face, it felt like the relationship between the two of them was not as bad as rumored. At the same time, Director Wang Dehai began to open the meeting. He pointed to the portrait behind him and said loudly, This evil ghost is called Shadow Ghost. The current ability it has shown is that it can hide in the shadows. In the battle between Deputy Captain Bai and Ghost Head, due to limited information, he did not realize the existence of Shadow Ghost. No matter how fast he was, he could not escape his own shadow. So he was careless and was attacked by the evil ghost that emerged from the shadows, causing him to be seriously injured. In the end, he died at the hands of Ghost Head. At present, the whereabouts of Shadow Ghost are still unknown, but Ghost Head has been killed by Captain Duong. So our next task is to find the whereabouts of Shadow Ghost, to completely end this evil ghost event, and at the same time avenge Bai Chi. Speaking of this, Director Wang Dehai forced a smile. However, in this unfortunate event, we also have some good news. That is, our Captain Duong Min has officially advanced to level 3 Spirit Master, becoming one of the top Spirit Masters. As soon as these words were finished, the whole conference room was in an uproar. Everyone's eyes were wide open. Fu Wang Hu alone remained calm as usual. Oh my god, our Luke Tang city is so awesome. That's level 3. There are only a few people in the whole country who have reached this level. Fu Wang Hu stared at Duong Min in the corner of the room, curious in his heart. In other words, his intuition had been enlightened by more than 41. Then what would be the effect of level 3 luck? At the same time, Duong Min, who was sitting in the corner of the room smoking, seemed to hear nothing, his face showing no change. He just ruthlessly snuffed out the cigarette in his hand on the ground. There were already many cigarette butts at his feet. Then he leaned on his knees and slowly stood up, took out a pack of cigarettes from his pocket, intending to light another one, but he found out that there were no more cigarettes inside. Seeing this, he crumpled the cigarette box unhappily, and at the same time turned to ask everyone, do you have any cigarettes? His voice was hoarse and a little tired, but everyone was indifferent and no one answered. At this time, Director Wang Dehai, a trace of reluctance flashed in his eyes. But Director Wang Dehai still looked at him and shouted, Duong Min, sober up for me. You are now a level 3 spirit master. In the future, the safety of Luke Tang City will need you to protect it. Faced with Director Wang Dehai's scolding, Duong Min still did not react at all. He stuffed his hands into his pockets, then turned and walked out, looking like he was about to die. All right, then I'll go buy a pack myself. At the same time, Director Wang Dehai clenched his fists in anger, his whole body trembling and his teeth gritting. Then he slammed his fist on the table, and at the same time turned to look at Duong Min, shouting, Stop right there. Don't you want to avenge Bai Chi? But Duong Min still did not stop, seeming not to hear anything. He muttered as he walked, Revenge. Can revenge bring Xiao Bai back to life? At the same time, Fu Wang Hu saw that he had come to his side, and immediately pulled the brim of his hat down low. Director Wang Dehai was so angry that he could not speak, his face as black as coal. He sighed, then calmed down, took a pack of cigarettes from his pocket and threw it at Duong Min. Hey, I have cigarettes here. Hearing this, Duong Min did not even turn his head, just raised his hand to catch it, and then said with dissatisfaction, why didn't you say so earlier? Then Duong Min sat down on the spot, lit a cigarette and complained, what kind of family is Director Wang's, smoking every day? Fu Wang Hu looked at him and thought, this Captain Duong is quite interesting, calm, restrained, rational, he's already a level 3 spirit master, but there's no sign of his mind being distorted. At this moment, the door of the conference room was pushed open with a bang, and at the same time there was a panicked shout, Director Wang Dehai. Everyone immediately paid attention. 
Fuang Hu felt that something was wrong. Seeing this, director Wang Dehai exploded in anger, pounding on the conference table, it's you again. How many times have I told you? Pay attention to discipline. Discipline. Why is it always you? But the staff member who had just entered the door did not even let him finish scolding. He hugged himself tightly, trembling and crying. Director Wang Dehai, it's over. The person you asked me to take to the lounge just now has disappeared. He knocked me out and ran away, and even took off my uniform. Hearing this, Director Wang Dehai was furious. The pain made him jump up. What? You're saying that Fuang Hu has escaped? Everyone was on alert. Find him for me. As soon as the words were finished, everyone started to act, to take action. In the crowd, Fuang Hu sighed with his hat on. I just fainted for a while and I'm already awake. It seems that I'm still not professional enough. I need to practice more. But right now, a familiar female voice suddenly sounded in the hall. Fuang Hu heard the voice. Fuang Hu looked up. He saw Shen Ling Shui standing up, looking at him with surprise and anger. I didn't expect you to be here. As soon as she finished speaking, everyone pulled out their guns. In an instant, the sound of guns being cocked filled the conference room. Immediately afterwards, everyone raised their guns together, pointing their muzzles at Fuang Hu. Duang Min did not care, and continued to squat on the ground smoking. Seeing this, an investigator hurriedly shouted, Captain Duong, get away from him. At the same time, Director Wang Dehai looked at him with a gloomy face, Fuang Hu, do you know what the crime is for attacking an employee of the Investigation Bureau? What are you trying to do? Who are you? But in the face of Director Wang Dehai's questions and the power of the Spirit Masters, even dozens of guns, Fuang Hu still did not pay attention to it. He calmly walked to Duong Min, then squatted down and looked at him calmly, do you want Bai Qi to come back to life? As soon as he finished speaking, Duong Min's smoking action suddenly stopped. His face was gloomy and he said in a serious voice, little boy, no matter who you are or where you come from, don't joke around with others. Immediately afterwards, his lifeless eyes suddenly became fierce, like a tiger coming down from the mountain, staring at Fuang Hu. Otherwise, someone will die. At this moment, Fuang Hu felt a spiritual power pressing down on him. Is this the power of a level 3 spirit master? But in the face of this enormous pressure, Fuang Hu's expression remained unchanged. Because to him, this was nothing. Immediately afterwards, he calmly said again, you just need to answer me, do you want to or not? There seemed to be an unquestionable power in those calm words. Seeing this, everyone couldn't help but be surprised. Faced with the power of a level 3 spirit master, his words were still so confident. Who is this Fuang Hu? At the same time, Duang Min stared into Fuang Hu's calm eyes, trying to see something but he could only see a bottomless stillness. At this moment, director Wang Dehai completely disbelieved him. He angrily pointed at Fuang Hu, shouting, Fuang Hu, what nonsense are you talking about? Arrest him for me. But just as the staff members were about to take action, Duong Min, who was squatting on the ground, stopped them. Seeing this, everyone was surprised. They saw Duong Min looking at Fuang Hu with a sad expression. The dead cannot be brought back to life. Moreover, Xiao Bai was eaten clean by the monster. But I think maybe I've gone mad. I didn't expect that what you said might be true. Immediately afterwards, he looked tired, and lowered his head to ask, then can you bring Xiao Bai back to life? Even he himself did not know why he asked such a stupid question. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not answer directly, but calmly asked back, when he died, where were you? Were you far away from him? Hearing this, Duong Min scratched his head and thought, at that time, because of the wrong clue, I was in the mountains near Qingbai town. If I had found out sooner and gone to the town, maybe he wouldn't have died. Thinking of the town, he couldn't help but clench his forehead with his hand, his face full of self-reproach. Suddenly, Fuang Hu said seriously, very good, then give me your phone number and tell me a secret. Hearing this, Duong Min was stunned, completely unable to keep up with Fuang Hu's leaps and bounds of thought. Phone number? Secret? Aren't we talking about resurrecting Xiao Bai? At this moment, Fuang Hu closed his eyes, and said softly, I can't bring the dead back to life. Hearing this, Duong Min was immediately speechless. After talking for half a day, it turned out to be all for nothing. In an instant, his expression turned angry, and a murderous look flashed in his eyes. But at this moment, the corner of Fuang Hu's mouth curled up slightly. Looking at Duong Min, he continued, but I can go back to the past, and change the future. As soon as these words were uttered, everyone exclaimed in surprise, go back to the past and change the future. This is even more exaggerated than resurrecting the dead. It's pure fantasy. He really dares to make things up. 
No one here believes Fuang Hu's words, but Duang Min was as if possessed, believing it hook, line, and sinker. He looked at Fuang Hu with doubt. We're both spirit masters, but why is your ability so abnormal? At the same time, a person present felt his heart surge with emotion, and that was Shen Lingxue. She suddenly recalled the words that Fuang Hu had said in a serious manner in the director's office. At that time, she thought he was just bragging. Unexpectedly, he had used another way to talk about his ability. Go back to the past and change the future. It was too unbelievable. On the other side, Fuang Hu raised his hand and calmly explained, that's right, the phone number also has a secret, because I will go back to the time before Bai Qi had his accident, and call to inform you to come and save him, so I need a secret to make you believe me. Seeing Duang Min's doubtful expression, Fuang Hu said softly, Captain Duang, what have you got to lose by trying it once? Hearing this, Duang Min was momentarily speechless. At the same time, he was also moved by Fuang Hu's words. That's right. What have you got to lose by trying it once? Immediately afterwards, he took a deep breath. My phone number is. After he finished speaking, he scratched his neck in embarrassment. Because I'm a road idiot. When Bai Qi had his accident, the phone was connected to Bluetooth. And the location was turned on. I'll definitely receive the call. After that, Duang Min thought for a moment and then slowly said, as for the secret, I'll tell you a secret that only I know, about Bai Qi. I didn't plan on telling it in this lifetime, afraid that Bai Qi would risk his life to fight me if he found out, but now that he's gone, it doesn't matter if I tell it. After he finished speaking, his face couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat, and he stammered, this secret is that I cheated. The previous team leader selection competition, it wasn't that Bai Qi had an upset stomach, but that I gave him a laxative beforehand, but because my ability is luck. No one suspected me. As soon as these words were uttered, the entire hall fell into an eerie silence. Everyone gasped in shock, unable to believe it. Looking at Duang Min, it was as if they were seeing him for the first time. At this moment, director Wang Dehai looked at him with anger and contempt. Unexpected, isn't it? You look so innocent, but you play such dirty tricks. Duang Min was so ashamed and angry that he was glared at by everyone, helplessly holding his forehead. Can you blame me for this? If that bastard Bai Qi hadn't left his words unfinished, he sighed again, his face once again filled with sadness and sorrow. Immediately afterwards, he stood up, sighed. All right then, the person is already dead. Let's not talk about it anymore. At this moment, Fuang Hu also stood up and suddenly said, This secret is enough. Just wait for the phone call. After saying this, he said nothing more. Seeing Fuang Hu speak so seriously, Duang Min choked up and couldn't speak. Immediately afterwards, he began to cry bitterly, silently looking at Fuang Hu on the spot. Seeing this, director Wang Dehai showed disgust and began to complain in his heart. Why is he like a child? He's even sniffling. Just now, he was still putting on airs with me. When Fuang Hu suddenly fell silent, the entire hall also fell silent. Everyone looked at him in astonishment, as if they were waiting to see him perform, to see how he would go back to the past, and change the future. But time passed by, minute by minute, second by second, and Fuang Hu did not make any move. At this moment, Fuang Hu suddenly spoke, what are you all looking at me for? Continue with the meeting. As soon as these words were uttered, everyone was stunned. But Duang Min couldn't help but look at Fuang Hu with a puzzled expression. You, didn't you say you were going back to the past? We're waiting for you to act. Hearing this, the corners of Fuang Hu's mouth curled up, looking at Duang Min as if he were an idiot. When did I ever say I would go back right now? Don't be in such a hurry. We'll start talking at 8 o'clock tonight. Seeing this, Duang Min felt like he had been tricked, and gritted his teeth in anger, glaring at Fuang Hu. What the hell? Talk about what? At the same time, director Wang Dehai pointed straight at Fuang Hu, angrily saying, All right, Duang Min, take this crazy, delirious person to the detention room. I guess he's lost his mind, and is about to lose control of himself. Hearing this, Duang Min originally didn't want to follow through, but then saw director Wang Dehai signaling him. So Duang Min had no choice but to look at Fuang Hu, follow me. Fuang Hu didn't say much, and immediately nodded, following Duang Min to the detention room. Not long after, the two arrived at the detention room. At this moment, neither of them said anything, and silently sat down on the bed. After thinking for a long time, Duang Min suddenly spoke, breaking the silence. Director Wang must have had his reasons for having me bring you here. Don't think too much about it. It turned out that Duang Min was afraid that this action would displease Fuang Hu, because the hope of reviving Bai Qi lay with Fuang Hu. Whether it was real or fake, he couldn't afford to offend him for the time being. So no matter what, he had to stabilize him first. But Fuang Hu remained as calm as ever. Duang Min, 
why don't you tell me about the ghost with a human head, the ghost photo, and also the information about Deputy Captain Bai? Hearing this, Duong Min leisurely lit a cigarette, then took a deep breath, thought for a moment, and then said, Bai Chi, huh? His ability is super speed. His speed surpasses that of his peers, so he always has the absolute advantage in battle. Unfortunately, this time, the two of them chatted for a long time. During that time, Fuang Hu also told Duong Min about the lottery. However, Fuang Hu didn't get much useful information. Time flies like an arrow, and three hours passed by in the blink of an eye. Just then, the door of the detention room was suddenly pushed open with a bang. Director Wang Dehai and Shen Lingxue walked in with gloomy faces. Shen Lingxue was so angry that she even threw a piece of paper at Fuang Hu. Fuang Hu, the numbers you wrote didn't win the lottery at all. Not only did they not win, they didn't even match a single number. Check it out for yourself. The winning numbers for this period are written on it, which I just copied down. Hearing this, Duong Min's eyes widened, and he glared at Fuang Hu with murderous intent. I told you, joking with others will cost you your life. However, at this moment, Fuang Hu remained calm, and even revealed a meaningful smile. Are these the winning numbers for tonight? Hearing this, Shen Lingxue snorted softly, and looked at Fuang Hu smugly, that's right, didn't you say before that if you guessed wrong, you would pay with your life? Ha ha, let me see how you're going to pay with your life. Before she could finish speaking, there was a swish, and a gleaming scalpel suddenly appeared in his hand. Seeing this, the three of them turned pale with fright, and Duong Min and Shen Lingxue immediately shielded director Wang Dehai, thinking that he was planning to attack. But at this moment, Fuang Hu revealed a chilling smile. Relax, I'm a man of my word. With that, he pressed the tip of the scalpel against his forehead. Duong Min and Shen Lingxue were confused and didn't understand, and stared at Fuang Hu nervously. What are you going to do? Put down the weapon. However, in the next second, Fuang Hu decisively plunged the scalpel into his forehead. Before he died, he looked at the three of them. Then see you tomorrow. Fuang Hu, returning from the afterlife. Well then, see you tomorrow. Fuang Hu, returning from the dead, led by Shen Lingxue and Li Wenji, once again arrived at the investigation bureau. But this time, he repeated the same actions as last time, to avoid causing the butterfly effect. However, this time, the number he gave Shen Lingxue was the winning number that Fuang Hu had just memorized. Soon, the three of them entered the investigation bureau. Suddenly, Fuang Hu put his hand in his pocket, stopped walking, and calmly looked at the two. He said that at the intersection ahead, there would be a male staff member answering a phone call. As soon as he finished speaking, a man carrying a briefcase walked over, and the sound of a phone ringing could be heard. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue and Li Wenji were extremely surprised. How could this be possible? Did he just predict it? Shen Lingxue pondered in silence, not saying anything. However, Fuang Hu remained as calm as ever, and continued walking forward, with Shen Lingxue and Li Wenji following behind. In Shen Lingxue and Li Wenji's eyes, Fuang Hu's current actions were as if he had been to the investigation bureau before. Fuang Hu walked straight to the office area, walked straight to the office area, and stopped again, the second row from the bottom, in the middle, the man will stretch, and bump into a female staff member passing by, sure enough, in the next second, the man tiredly raised his hand, and stretched vigorously, at the moment he stretched, a female staff member passed by, and he bumped into her, spilling the cup of water in her hand all over her, at this moment, the male colleague hurriedly stood up, helped the female staff member wipe the water, and kept apologizing, the female staff member, however, kept saying loudly, I can do it myself, what are you touching me for? Seeing this scene, Shen Lingxue found it hard to believe, but it didn't change her view of Fuang Hu. At the same time, Li Wenji looked at the scene before him, and asked doubtfully, can he really predict the future? Hearing this, Shen Lingxue frowned, and the sweat on her forehead started to drip down. She couldn't be sure, and she stammered in her rebuttal, no, it's just a reasonable deduction. Meanwhile, Fuang Hu had turned the situation around, and led the two astounded people to the door of the lounge, then opened the doorknob and calmly said, the lounge is here. Not only that, when he entered the lounge, he even skillfully pulled open the drawer, and found the tea and coffee with precision. Seeing this, the two people behind him were so surprised that they couldn't speak, their eyes wide open like copper bells, standing frozen in place. Huang Hu then made a cup of coffee for Shen Lingxue and a cup of black tea for Li Wenji. At this moment, the two of them blankly accepted the tea and coffee, their pupils dilated, looking at him in disbelief. After regaining her senses, Shen Lingxue looked at Fuang Hu in surprise, have you ever been to the investigation bureau before? Right at this moment, Fuang Hu considerately added exactly five spoonfuls of sugar to Shen Lingxue's cup of coffee. Seeing this, 
Li Wenji could no longer hold back, and asked in surprise and doubt, how did you know that investigator Shen adds five spoonfuls of sugar to her coffee? Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu calmly took a sip of tea, and said lightly, there's no need to be so surprised, I said that my eyes can see the future, and right now, director Wang Dehai is free, you should go and report the situation to him. Hearing this, the two of them were once again shocked into silence, and looked at Fu Wang Hu in unison, they looked at him for a long time, not knowing what to say, and could only silently turn away to find director Wang Dehai to report the situation. At the same time, on a mountain near Qingbai town, Duong Min was driving, listening to music, and speeding on the mountain road. Suddenly, the song was interrupted, and the sound of a phone ringing could be heard. Duong Min picked up the phone and looked at it, and seeing that it was an unknown number, he picked up without hesitation. Immediately, a carefree voice rang out, with a slightly arrogant tone, completely different from his state after Bai Qi's death. Hello, who is this? At this moment, on the other end of the line, a calm and steady male voice sounded, in half an hour, Bai Qi will die. Hearing this, Duong Min suddenly slammed on the brakes, and the wheels and the road surface collided violently, creating two long skid marks. At this moment, Duong Min's face immediately turned gloomy, and cold sweat broke out on his face. What did you say? Immediately afterwards, the carefree look on his face disappeared, and was replaced by an unfamiliar and deep voice. Who are you? At this moment, a calm voice came from the other end of the line, my name is Fuang Hu, I can predict the future. I am currently at the investigation bureau. As expected, we will become colleagues. I predict that in half an hour, Bai Qi will be killed by a strange demon. You can still make it in time to save him. As soon as he finished speaking, Duong Min gritted his teeth in anger. I don't care who you are, but you should know that joking around can cost you your life. But before he could finish his sentence, Fu Wang Hu revealed a secret, interrupting his mocking words during the team leader selection competition, that he had given Bai Qi a laxative the night before, causing him to perform poorly. But because his ability was luck, no one suspected him. Hearing this, Duong Min was extremely surprised, and he held the phone in front of him, exclaiming in surprise, Damn it, how did you know? I've never told anyone this secret. However, Fu Wang Hu did not answer him directly, but calmly said, Remember, I will only say this once. Bai Qi is in the abandoned building on the outskirts of Qingbai town. Bai Qi is in an abandoned building on the outskirts of Qingbai town, is currently hunting down a human-headed demon, but there is also a shadow demon there, will crawl out of his shadow at a critical moment to launch a sneak attack, causing him to be seriously injured, and ultimately sacrificing himself to destroy the human-headed demon. After saying this, Fuang Hu hung up the phone decisively. At this moment, Duong Min stared at the phone for a long time, speechless, his expression very unsightly, as if he was struggling fiercely in his heart. After a moment of contemplation, he cursed, damn it. Then he quickly dialed a number, slammed the steering wheel, turned the car around, and finally pressed the gas pedal all the way down, heading towards Qingbai town. After Fu Wang Hu called to inform Duong Min, he finished the water in the cup in the lounge, and then looked at the phone in his hand, as if thinking about something, then it's time to see how team leader Duong Min performs. As soon as he finished speaking, Shen Lingxue, holding documents in one hand, and a testing device in the other, kicked open the door of the lounge, and said angrily, Fu Wang Hu, I will now conduct a spiritual contamination test on you. But Fu Wang Hu did not react. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue looked at him with an unwelcome expression, and was very pleased in her heart, humph. So calm? In front of a lie detector. Let's see how long you can keep up the act. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu directly took the device from her hand, and then very skillfully placed his hand on it, then said without any expression, ask away. Seeing him so skilled, Shen Lingxue couldn't help but be stunned for a moment. So, the first question, if you don't wait for her to finish speaking. Fu Wang Hu directly interrupted her, I choose to fight against the demons. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue immediately gasped, while Fu Wang Hu ignored her astonishment, and continued to speak to himself, the second question, I will not join the demons, and if Zhao Hao joins the demons and tells me to betray, then I will personally send him on his way. At this moment, Shen Lingxue was extremely shocked, so shocked that she was speechless, and her face couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat, but Fu Wang Hu still didn't stop, and continued to speak the last question according to his own ideas. 
years, the first thing I want to do after becoming a spirit tamer is to kill all the demons in the world. Fu Wang Hu didn't wait for Shen Lingxue to ask, but had already said all the questions and answers in one breath. As for the lie detector, he didn't even bother to look at it from beginning to end. After speaking, Fu Wang Hu stood up and walked out, saying in a nonchalant tone, the test is done. Let's go and meet Bureau Chief Wang Dehai. Shen Lingxue was still in a daze, and didn't come to her senses for a long time. At this moment, she didn't know who was testing who anymore. After a while, Shen Lingxue looked at the lie detector with tears in her eyes. This is not right. It must be broken. Arriving at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai's office, Wang Dehai immediately opened his mouth with a suspicious expression. Tell me the truth. Mr. Fu Wang, as a newly recruited spirit tamer, your abilities far exceed others. I find it hard to believe that you can predict the future. Fu Wang Hu folded his arms across his chest. With an expressionless face, Bureau Chief Wang, there are always people in this world who cannot be judged by common sense. They and I are not on the same level. They and I are not on the same level. Hearing this, the expressions of Bureau Chief Wang Dehai and Shen Lingxue beside him immediately darkened. Wang Dehai even gnashed his teeth, and couldn't help but have the intention of attacking him. It's a pity that he couldn't beat him. Immediately afterwards, he reached out his hand to Shen Lingxue. Little Shen. Where is the spiritual contamination test report? Shen Lingxue looked very embarrassed. I didn't write a report. During the test, Fuang Hu predicted all the questions in advance, and answered them perfectly, moreover, throughout the test, the lie detector showed no reaction. Suddenly, Fuang Hu realized that he had been too perfect in demonstrating his ability to predict the future. It seemed that he needed to find a weakness for himself, in order to dispel their suspicions. After a moment of contemplation, Fuang Hu pretended to look at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai with a worried expression. Although predicting the future doesn't take much effort, but every time I predict, my mind is flooded with information, and this comes at a great price, namely, a loss of control over my spiritual sense. Therefore, this means that I cannot predict the distant future. Distant future. I deliberately used my abilities in an ostentatious manner, precisely to attract the attention of the investigation bureau and join it, and then obtain spirit incense to stabilize my spiritual sense. Hearing this, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai nodded in agreement. A logical loop had already formed in his mind. So that's how it is, then it makes sense. In the investigation bureau, using spirit incense is not a problem. Spirit tamer who can predict the future. I must have him. After a moment of contemplation, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai asked suspiciously, Mr. Fu Wang, I wonder how much salary you expect when you join the investigation bureau. Fu Wang Hu looked at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai with a serious expression. I request to receive the salary of a level 2 spirit tamer. And in addition, I will be given an extra spirit incense every month. In addition, if you need me to use my abilities, then you have to pay extra. At this moment, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai's expression was clearly very unsightly. But the ability to predict was too powerful. After a moment, Bureau Chief Wang spoke up. If it can be verified that you can predict the future, then I can meet your request. But I'm afraid I can't pay you extra t pay you extra. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu crossed his legs and directly interrupted Bureau Chief Wang Dehai. Bureau Chief Wang, it seems that you still haven't realized the value of predicting the future. Speaking of which, Fu Wang Hu's expression suddenly changed, and he gave a cold, evil smile, but it doesn't matter. I have specially prepared a big gift for the investigation bureau. Hearing this, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai had a bad feeling, then asked suspiciously, what gift? At this moment, Fu Wang Hu gave a cold, evil smile, by Chi's life. As soon as he finished speaking, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai was struck by lightning. His face turned pale, and he shouted in surprise and doubt, what? He immediately slammed his hand on the table, and then glared at Fu Wang Hu angrily, are you threatening me with Bai Chi's life? But Fu Wang Hu's expression did not change, and he still smiled, if you're anxious, you can call Bai Chi now. Hearing this, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai did not call immediately, but turned to give Shen Lingxue a look, and Shen Lingxue also immediately understood and nodded, and she went to Fu Wang Hu's side, and pressed her hand firmly on his shoulder. It was obvious that she intended to attack Fu Wang Hu immediately if the situation went wrong. Seeing this, the corners of Fu Wang Hu's mouth curled up slightly, and he glanced at Shen Lingxue, who was standing beside him, without flinching. At the same time, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai began to enter a series of numbers on the landline. 
preparing to call Bai Chi, but just then, the door to the office was pushed open before it had even had a chance to open. Seeing this, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai's expression immediately darkened, and he gritted his teeth in anger. How many times have I told you? Don't be so hasty when you work. Yang Ming was seen hurriedly opening his mouth, Bureau Chief Wang. There must be someone named Fuang Hu in our bureau. Seeing Yang Ming's anxious and flustered expression, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai instinctively thought of something bad, and asked anxiously and hurriedly, Why did you come back here? Where is Bai Qi? Didn't you go with him to hunt down the ghost head? Hearing this, Yang Ming looked distracted, and replied, Little Bai. Little Bai is seriously injured, and is in the hospital, but it's okay. After saying that, he began to look around, and asked again, where is Fuang Hu? And Shen Lingxue, who was standing beside him, suddenly a blazing fire appeared on her fair hand, and she said with an unspeakable threat, speak, what did you do to Deputy Captain Bai? At this moment, Fuang Hu ignored her, but frowned slightly and glanced at Yang Ming, who was standing beside him, and thought, just injured? It seems that he has been saved. At the same time, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai stood up abruptly, and glared at Fuang Hu, Fuang Hu is right in front of you. Just now you said you were giving the investigation bureau a big gift, and then you rushed in to report that Bai Qi was seriously injured. This is indeed a big gift. At that moment, he thought a lot in his mind. If Fuang Hu could injure a high-level spirit tamer, then the power behind him was truly unimaginable. Not only was he powerful, but he was also extremely bold daring to injure someone and then come to the investigation bureau to provoke them. As soon as he finished speaking, Yang Ming immediately raised his thumb and smiled at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai. That's right, that's right, this is a big gift, and what's more, it's a huge gift. After saying that, he walked towards Fuang Hu. Shen Lingxue, who had just been like a tigress, now stood there with a look of shame and helplessness. At this moment, Yang Ming looked at Fuang Hu calmly, and said, Young man, you are Fuang Hu, aren't you? Before he could finish speaking, Yang Ming hugged him, then began to cry loudly, this time, thanks to your phone call reminding me in advance, I was able to come to Little Bai's rescue in time, otherwise he would have been in real danger. Moreover, after I arrived at the scene, everything that happened was exactly as you said. Seeing this, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai and Shen Lingxue were so surprised that they were speechless for a moment, and looked at him with disbelief. On the contrary, Fuang Hu said proudly, Bureau Chief Wang, what do you think of my big gift? Yang Ming was crying so hard that he couldn't speak, and was wiping his nose in tears. Then Fuang Hu glanced at Shen Lingxue, and you, Miss Shen, put away your magical powers. At this moment, the flame in Shen Lingxue's hand went out, but looking at Fuang Hu's arrogant expression, she gritted her teeth in anger, and looked at Fuang Hu in disbelief. Fuang Hu saved the life of the number one spirit tamer in Lu Tang City with just one phone call. Could it be that he could really predict the future? Bureau Chief Wang Dehai looked at Fuang Hu, and after a moment of silence, he said, if Bai Qi's incident was not caused by humans, then your ability is indeed of great strategic value. I can meet your request. But for now, Xiao Shen, you take Mr. Fuang to the lounge first, and we'll talk about everything after the meeting. Yang Ming, you stay. Hearing this, Yang Ming looked up at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai, and seeing the look in his eyes, he immediately stopped crying, and calmly replied, Yes. Then Yang Ming approached Fuang Hu, and whispered, I'll come find you later. In the lounge, the two looked at each other, and the atmosphere became extremely awkward. At this moment, Shen Lingxue looked at Fuang Hu, and couldn't help but think to herself, this man not only knew her preferences in advance, preferences in advance, but even such a private tattoo was seen, and she always felt like she was transparent in front of him, and had no secrets. Thinking of this, her cheeks couldn't help but blush. At the same time, Fuang Hu also stared at her without blinking. Shen Lingxue also realized this, and couldn't help but panic in her heart. Why is he staring at my neck? It turned out that Shen Lingxue's neck in front of her reminded Fuang Hu of his wife, who was also so fair and slender. He even wanted to stab her with a scalpel. But unfortunately, human blood was warm, unlike his ghostly wife. But my wife will also bleed, won't she? If her blood splattered on her, it would be very refreshing. Right then, when the two were facing each other in silence, suddenly there was a loud bang, and the door of the lounge was pushed open. Yang Ming pretended to be surprised, and cleared his throat, Ling Xue, you go out first, I have something to say to Fuang Hu in private. Hearing this, Shen Ling Xue, who had not wanted to stay here, was immediately relieved. She bit her lip, hugged her chest, and hurried out of the lounge. Seeing this, 
Yang Ming looked puzzled, but didn't think much about it. At this moment, Yang Ming confirmed that Shen Lingxue had gone far away, and then solemnly sat down opposite Fuang Hu, and stared at him with a malicious look. Seeing this, Fuang Hu still had no expression on his face, and didn't say a word, also staring at him. Suddenly, Yang Ming's expression changed, and the seriousness just now disappeared, and was replaced by a flattering expression, Fuang Hu, the thing about me drugging Bai Qi, you won't tell anyone else, will you? At this moment, Fuang Hu looked helpless. He discovered that this cap Captain had very strange points of attention. Even the bureau chief, when faced with the ability to predict the future, had an extremely cautious attitude, yet he was only concerned about whether he had told others about his drugging. This captain was indeed a bit interesting. After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu looked at Yang Ming, and said indifferently, apart from me, no one else knows for now. Hearing this, Yang Ming breathed a sigh of relief, but at this moment, Fuang Hu suddenly smiled slyly, and looked at him meaningfully, but I can't say for sure in the future. Hearing this, Yang Ming's expression changed once again, and instantly became as ugly as if he had eaten shit, what do you mean? Then he looked at Fuang Hu threateningly, you're going to join the investigation bureau, aren't you? I am currently the captain of the investigation bureau, you understand? The water in the investigation bureau is very deep, and you are a newcomer. Before he could finish speaking, Fuang Hu interrupted him directly, what I mean is, you have to increase the money. Captain Yang doesn't want Deputy Captain Bai to know about this blackmail, does he? 100 spiritual coins, no bargaining. After saying that, Fuang Hu, Yang Ming immediately became furious, and glared at Fuang Hu, and at the same time, he gave him the finger, you haven't even joined the investigation bureau yet, do you believe that I only need to say one word and, before Yang Ming could finish speaking, Fuang Hu directly raised the price by another 200 coins, seeing this, Yang Ming's momentum immediately weakened, and then began to lament in front of Fuang Hu, oh my god, you've done enough, my monthly salary is only 10 spiritual coins, then go ahead and tell. I'd rather be beaten to death by Xiao Bai. Hearing this, Fuang Hu took a deep breath and shouted loudly towards the door, Yang Ming. All right. Seeing this, Yang Ming didn't say anything more. Just looked aggrieved and frustrated. Fine. 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 200 then 200. Finally, he painfully took out 200 spiritual coins from his small safe and gave them to Fuang Hu as hush money. Time passed quickly, and seeing that the time for the lottery was approaching, everyone went to the bureau chief's office, each waiting for the lottery results with their own thoughts. In the bureau chief's office, Fuang Hu and Shen Lingxue sat opposite bureau chief Wang Dehai, while Yang Ming squatted in the corner with a sad expression. Suddenly, Yang Ming poked Shen Lingxue with his little finger, Lingxue, lend me some spiritual coins. Hearing this, Chen Lingxue said angrily, you're the captain. With a monthly salary of 20 spiritual coins, with a monthly salary of 20 spiritual coins, but I only have 5 spiritual coins, and you're asking me to borrow money? No way. As for the conversation between the two, every word of it reached Fuang Hu's ears. Only then did he realize that he had been impulsive, and it seemed that he would have to blackmail Yang Ming for more money next time. At the same time, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai suddenly interrupted, come on, stop arguing, the lottery is about to start. At this moment, everyone stared at the screen, listening to the lottery announcer read out the numbers. Today's winning numbers are 0112, 1718262725. and 05. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue, Yang Ming, and Bureau Chief Wang Dehai in front of the screen were all very surprised, as they did not expect it to match the numbers written on the paper. The atmosphere in the room instantly became very quiet. At this moment, Yang Ming immediately hugged Fuang Hu and said excitedly, Brother Fuang, from now on, you are my sworn brother. Help me predict the winning numbers for the next lottery. Suddenly, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai immediately shouted, Nonsense. Fuang Hu's ability to predict the future will only worsen the situation of the loss of spiritual control, instability, and absolutely cannot be used for trivial matters like this. Seeing this, Yang Ming had no choice but to let go, and still muttered, why is it called a trivial matter? I'd rather lose control of my spirituality than have to go. After scolding Yang Ming, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai immediately changed his expression, and smiled as he shook Fuang Hu's hand. Now, your ability to predict the future has been basically confirmed, but it must be kept a secret from the outside world. Just say it's a sense of perception. So Fuang Hu, 
I officially invite you to join the investigation bureau, and the treatment that you mentioned earlier will also be fully implemented. Fu Wang Hu didn't show any further emotion, just nodded slightly. All right. At this moment, Yang Ming looked at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai with a serious expression. Keep it a secret from the outside world. Then how does the Bureau Chief plan to tell the higher-ups? Immediately afterwards, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai looked towards Yang Ming, report to the General Investigation Bureau, and request that he be included in the Global Spiritual Master Talent File. The relevant materials will be included in the Top Secret File. The Fuang Hu case, codenamed the Prophet. At the same time, the corners of Fuang Hu's mouth couldn't help but curl up, and it was worth it for him to be reborn once. Now that he had the support of the Investigation Bureau's resources, revenge would be one step closer. My wife, please wait. Hearing this, Yang Ming looked at him in surprise. Fuang Hu's ability is very valuable. If you report it like this, aren't you afraid that your superiors will transfer him away? Immediately afterwards, Yang Ming's expression suddenly changed, and he looked at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai angrily. Also, why am I not included? in the global spiritual master talent file. He was included as soon as he arrived, and he was even ranked S. There's definitely something fishy going on here. There's definitely something fishy going on. This made Bureau Chief Wang Dehai feel like he was sitting on a bed of nails, and his whole body emitted a bright golden light, and he deliberately ignored the second half of Yang Ming's sentence. That's why he had to go to a better place to develop. Now, strange events are happening all over the world, and I always feel that something is about to happen. If Fu Wang Hu goes to the General Bureau, it will definitely be better than staying in Lu Tang City, where he can play a greater role. Hearing this, Yang Ming curled his lips and said, You're so noble. You're truly great. After saying that, he looked at Fu Wang Hu with a serious expression. That's right. According to the information we have, you and Zhao Hao are good friends. He's just like you. He awakened in the dungeon and survived. I think he can also join the investigation bureau. After saying that, the corners of bureau chief Wang Dehai's mouth couldn't help but curl up, and his expression was extremely smug, using Zhao Hao as a string to tie him down. This way, we can not only bring the investigation bureau and Fu Wang Hu closer together, but we can also let Zhao Hao come to him for help when he needs him after he goes to the general bureau. Furthermore, with an additional emotional card in hand, we don't have to worry about other organizations offering a higher price to train people. My decision is truly perfect. But at this moment, Shen Lingxie's face flushed, and her expression was unhappy, but Bureau Chief Wang, his ability is a sexual ability. Do we need someone so dirty? Hearing this, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai smiled. It's okay. I believe that there will be a time when we will need him. Furthermore, as his spirituality increases, his ability will also take a qualitative leap. For him to join us, there are a hundred benefits and no harm. But unexpectedly, Fu Wang Hu had seen through it long ago. Wanting to use Zhao Hao to order me around. He's really a sly old fox. After thinking for a while, he looked at Bureau Chief Wang Dehai with an indifferent expression. Whatever you guys want. Bureau Chief Wang Dehai looked at Yang Ming and said, Now that Fu Wang Hu is also one of our people. Yang Ming, tell me the specific situation of the Silver Ghost. According to your investigation, do you think that Bai Qi was unintentional or was it deliberately arranged by someone? Hearing the Silver Ghost, Yang Ming's expression immediately became serious, although there is no direct evidence. I feel that it is likely to be caused by humans. When I fought the Silver Ghost, I deliberately observed that although its entire body was covered in darkness, it looked very much like a demon. But when fighting, I felt like I was fighting a person. If I hadn't been lucky enough to cut off its skull first, causing me to break through to the three realms on the spot, I'm afraid I wouldn't be the Silver Silver Ghost's opponent. Furthermore, the other party was very strange, and seemed to be going easy on me during the fight. Going easy on me during the fight. As soon as it saw me break through, it immediately sank into the darkness and disappeared, as if it was waiting for me to level up. After that, Yang Ming drew out a playing card. I also found this black trump card at the scene. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu looked puzzled. This is a playing card made of spiritual steel. Do demons use this too? At this moment, Bureau Chief Wang Dehai looked at Yang Ming and said, very good. If this is something that the Silver Ghost dropped, then it's very possible that it's a spiritual master, or even a huge organization behind it. After saying that, he rubbed his chin, as if he was thinking, it seems that the Silver Ghost case is not simple. We have to take it slow. All right, that's all for today. Xiao Shen, Fuang Hu is new here. You take him to go through the enrollment procedures first. After completing the procedures, Fuang Hu went straight home. At this moment, his wife was very excited, like a butterfly fluttering around, 
surrounding Fuang Hu, Honey, are you off work? I miss you so much. But Fuang Hu just sat down on the sofa in silence, gazing at the investigator's employee card in his hand. After that, he picked up the brown briefcase and opened it with a snap. Immediately, countless shiny gold coins poured out. Seeing this, his wife next to him exclaimed excitedly, Wow, honey, you're so good at making money. You're amazing. At this moment, Fuang Hu picked up a coin to examine it. It turned out that this was the spiritual currency that was in short supply. On the black market, one coin could be sold for tens of millions or even hundreds of millions. Sometimes you couldn't buy it even if you had the money. As expected of Captain Yang Ming, he could take out so many spiritual coins at once. If it was an ordinary spiritual master, it would be difficult to do it even if they sold their own bodies. At this moment, Fuang Hu couldn't help but smile. To say that I'm extorting money is not as good as saying that he is thanking me for informing him in advance to save Bai Qi. It could be seen that the relationship between the two of them was very good. Soon after, he smiled slyly and fell into deep thought. As for these 200 spiritual coins as a bonus, how can I use them to get the most benefit? He was pondering how to make the best use of the spiritual coins. But at this moment, there was a sudden knock on the door. So he looked through the peephole on the door, and unexpectedly discovered a human eye. And the entire eye was bloodshot, causing him to sink directly into consciousness. He only felt as if someone had hit him hard on the back of the head with a stick. I don't know how long it took for Fuang Hu to wake up from the coma. But at this moment, he found that he was no longer at home but in an old and dilapidated warehouse, tied up tightly. The cold chains wrapped tightly around his body. No matter how much he struggled, he couldn't escape. He looked around, and found that there was a strong stench here, like the smell of a decomposing corpse, and there was a constant rattling sound. The warehouse was very large, but extremely crude. There were dark red dried bloodstains everywhere, not far from Fuang Hu. There was also a row of various torture tools. Each torture tool was covered in blood. It was obvious that this place had executed quite a few people. I don't know if it was due to the influence of the environment but the wandering demons in this warehouse were much more numerous. No if it was because of the influence of the environment, but the wandering demons in this warehouse were much more numerous than in other places. There were even many of them surrounding Fuang Hu, continuously drooling. It was just a pity that before they could see it, these demons could not touch Fuang Hu. In the middle of the warehouse was a meat grinder. The machine was rusty and had a very special shape. Right in front of Fuang Hu was a funnel, and inside the funnel were sharp metal blades. At this moment, next to the meat grinder. There was a man wearing a long coat, wearing a hat and standing there, seemingly repairing the meat grinder. Seeing this, Fuang Hu stared at him. It was very obvious that this was the person who had attacked him through the peephole before. Suddenly, this man seemed to sense something. The movement on his hand suddenly stopped, and then suddenly turned his head. A pair of bloodshot eyes with almost no whites appeared before him. His face was pale and his body was thin, like a skeleton covered in skin. The man looked into his eyes, and Fuang Hu suddenly understood that his way of attacking must be related to those strange eyes. At the same time, the man stared at Fuang Hu, smiled slyly and said, You're awake? At the same time, Fuang Hu looked at him expressionlessly. And the demons around him also began to gather in increasing numbers, staring at the two of them. At this moment, his eyes were bloodshot, staring at Fuang Hu in front of him, and his expression was somewhat crazy. Seeing this, Fuang Hu said nothing, but only stared intently into his bloodshot eyes. It seemed that he was the one who had attacked him. Before he fainted, he had seen these eyes through the peephole. Suddenly, the man looked at Fuang Hu and said, in a hoarse and sickly voice, you woke up quickly. You don't look like a new spiritual master at all. It seems that you and I are both geniuses. That's great. I like torturing geniuses the most. The man muttered to himself, a cruel and crazy smile appearing on his face, and his pupils dilated accordingly. Fuang Hu faced the situation before him, without showing any fear, and thought without any ripples, it seems that his ability is related to these eyes. A spiritual master? Looking at his appearance, he even calls himself a genius. Calls himself a genius. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu suddenly came to his senses, and then looked at the man and said in a leisurely manner, Brother of Vong Tu Dang, have you finished repairing the machine? Hearing this, the man was slightly taken aback, and then the corners of his mouth twitched, you know me quite well, I am Lam Tu Duong, the genius cousin of that trash. Then a look of embarrassment appeared on his face, and he turned around to continue repairing the machine. But unfortunately, I have killed fewer people recently, causing the machine to become a little old. Please be patient and wait a moment, it will be done soon. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu looked at him calmly, I also heard your trashy cousin mention you. 
Hurry up and finish repairing it. I don't like to waste time. Hearing this, the man was taken aback again, and looked at Fuang Hu with a calm expression, and he was unable to guess for a moment, but in the next second, his body suddenly began to tremble uncontrollably, and suddenly let out a burst of extremely crazy laughter. Fuang Hu couldn't help but say, I must say, you are really very interesting, also very much to my taste, but unfortunately, you are about to die. Follow your cousin to the underworld. Seeing this, Fuang Hu looked very helpless, it seems that you have some kind of illness. Then looking at his expression, he couldn't help but think, his words and actions are chaotic, crazy and disordered, just like the state of uncontrollable spirituality that people talk about on the forum. After thinking about it, Fuang Hu suddenly looked at him and smiled sinisterly, the funniest thing is, before he died, your cousin tried to drag me into the water, using his dirty and bloody hands to constantly pull at the hem of my pants. Do you know how I responded? Seeing that Fuang Hu was not only not afraid, but also smiling very comfortably, Lam Tu Duong, who was in a state of madness, was momentarily stunned, seeming not to know what to say next, and even a cold sweat broke out on his face, making him a little scared. In the next second, Fuang Hu showed an expression even crazier than his. Laughing even more crazily, I stepped on his hand with one foot, and spun around and around. His screams were really wonderful. Vong Tu Duong looked at Fuang Hu in a daze. It took him a few seconds to regain his senses, and his whole body became even crazier and more irritable. Damn it. You deserve to die. You deserve to die. Then he pulled out a red certificate from his pocket, and then looked at Fuang Hu who was calm and shouted frantically, I will torture you to death, and then threw it into the meat grinder to crush it, and finally fed it to stray cats and dogs. It's best to exchange it for a good person certificate. Hearing this, Fuang Hu not only remained calm, but also looked at him with contempt. He's just a loser who has lost control of his spirituality. Didn't expect that such a small amount of demonic power could turn him into a mad dog. So how useless are you after all? Hearing this, Vong Tu Duong immediately became angry, and the word damn it slipped out of his mouth. Then looking at Fuang Hu, he thought to himself, it shouldn't be like this, he should be afraid. He should be afraid to kneel down and beg me for mercy. Then he ran to the torture instrument rack like a madman, and began to select all kinds of torture instruments, and at the same time kept shouting, I will torture you to death, wait until you are no longer intact, and see how tough you can be. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong held a small sewing needle, it's too small, I have to use the most cruel torture instruments to teach you a lesson. Fuang Hu's voice sounded calm, and he looked at Lam Tu Duong with contempt, he is really a loser, it takes him half a day to choose a torture instrument. Hearing this, Lam Tu Duong immediately shouted, shut up, then he frantically slammed his hands on the torture instrument rack, he just picked up a pair of pliers, and walked to Fuang Hu with a fierce expression, he grinned and kept pointing at the pliers in his hand, your mouth is very sharp, I will pull out every single one of your teeth, tell me quickly, are you scared, beg me to spare you. Come on. However, Fuang Hu's face was as calm as the water in an ancient well. He looked at the angry Lam Tu Duong and said, in a calm and emotionless voice, and you? How do you want to die? Do you want to be smashed to pieces by a hammer? Or do you want to be beaten into a pulp? Or Ling Chi? Tell me, how do you want to die? To death? Tell me, how do you want to die? I will try to meet your request. At this moment, Fuang Hu was as calm as a monk in meditation, without a ripple. But the words he said made people shudder, causing the crazy smile on Lam Tu Duong's face to disappear. He stared at Fuang Hu with bloodshot eyes, and an invisible fear was spreading. Seeing this, the corners of Fuang Hu's mouth curled up, showing a sinister smile, is it hard to choose? Alright, since you are Vong Tu Dang's cousin, I will kindly help you choose a way to die, I just got a scalpel, which can cut off every piece of flesh on your body, but I am not a professional after all, and it may only take a few hundred or dozens of cuts for you to die, without letting you feel the pain of bleeding all over your body, or the pain of your flesh and bones falling apart. Please forgive me. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong's eyes looking at Fuang Hu had changed, and became full of doubt. Looking at Fuang Hu, he couldn't understand. Obviously he was tied to the chair, like a fish on a chopping board. Why was Fuang Hu still so calm, and even had a faint sense of confidence in his voice? This made Lam Tu Duong very uncomfortable. He gritted his teeth, and cold sweat dripped down his face. Who lost control of his spirituality in the end? You madman, you are the madman. After calming down, he held the pliers and pointed at Fuang Hu, 
can't you see the situation clearly? Now I am the one who holds your life in my hands, yet you still dare to threaten me here. After saying that, Lam Tu Duong stared at Fuang Hu, trying to find a trace of fear on his face. However, Fuang Hu did not show any cowardly fear, but instead a calm look that seemed to be in control of everything. You are wrong. Your life has always been in my hands. Then he tilted his head slightly, and looked at a demon who had been coveting him for a long time. I saw you standing there gesturing all the time. Do you really want to eat human flesh? Seeing this, Lam Tu Duong was immediately shocked. Who are you talking to? At this moment, Fuang Hu smiled coldly and looked at him and the demon. Can't you see it? It came to take your life. At the same time, the space beside Fuang Hu began to distort. The next second, Lam Tu Duong was so frightened by the demon in front of him that, his face turned pale and his pupils dilated, and was speechless. In front of him, a green demon suddenly appeared, with black claws. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong was terrified and shouted, where did this damn demon come from? After saying that, he turned his head and pointed at Fuang Hu angrily, it's you, you are the madman. At this moment, Fuang Hu smiled again, there is not only one, come out, all of you, it's time to eat. He and the demons around him looked at each other. In a flash, the air around them suddenly began to distort. In the originally empty warehouse, branches suddenly appeared, with fierce faces and extremely terrifying shapes. Their eyes flashed with excitement and bloodlust, and their mouths kept making terrifying screams, and slowly surrounded the two of them. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong completely collapsed, and looked around in disbelief, number, this is an illusion, this is not real. Seeing this, Fuang Hu laughed wildly, along with Fuang Hu's crazy laughter, everything in front of him went dark. Just now, Fuang Hu had recalled it once again, at home. He was sitting on the sofa with no expression on his face, while his wife looked at him with a smile, wearing a silk nightgown and constantly shaking beside him, Honey, are you off work? I miss you so much. Of course, Fuang Hu did not answer his wife, but just leaned on the sofa and closed his eyes as if waiting for something. At this moment, the scene of being torn apart by the tree demon kept appearing in his mind, but when he thought of this, he was not afraid at all, but instead felt that this feeling was great. This also increased his tolerance for pain. At this moment, the knock on the door rang on time. Hearing the sound, Fuang Hu calmly looked at the door that was being knocked on. Suddenly he took out the scalpel in his pocket, then slowly stood up and walked towards the door. At this moment, his wife asked happily on the table, Honey, are there guests at home? At the same time, Fuang Hu showed a sinister smile. It's time to let you taste the pain. He will not completely release his ability to take his life, because he promised to let him die in pain. As a man, he must keep his promise. Very quickly, Fuang Hu stood in front of the door. At this moment, he and Lam Tu Duong were only separated by a door. He raised his hand and held the knife in the house, while Lam Tu Duong stood outside the door, pressing his bloodshot eyes against the peephole. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong was a little excited, because he had heard Fuang Hu's footsteps. Next, he just had to wait for Fuang Hu to look through the peephole. Just a glance was enough. That was enough to make Fuang Hu lose consciousness. Meanwhile, Fuang Hu in the house quickly raised his hand. In a flash, with a clang, the scalpel turned into a silver light, and stabbed hard into the peephole. It pierced through the peephole without any hindrance, and stabbed into Lam Tu Duong's eyeball. At that moment, a scream rang out. Lam Tu Duong held his injured eye, and kept crying out in pain. At the same time, Fuang Hu's pain tolerance was triggered. An indescribable pain spread throughout his body. The pain of dozens of deaths erupted violently at this moment. As for Lam Tu Duong, he couldn't even bear it for a second, and immediately his eyes went dark and he fainted on the ground, unconscious. Seeing this, Fuang Hu slowly opened the door of the room, and looked at Lam Tu Duong lying on the ground covered in blood. Then he calmly grabbed his ankle, and dragged him into the house like a dead dog. Immediately afterwards, with a bang, the door was slammed shut. At the same time, Fuang Hu pulled out the scalpel, and the corridor fell silent once again. Then Fuang Hu began to search Lam Tu Duong's body, because he liked things like trump cards, that could be used to turn the tide, but he didn't like other people having trump cards, so in order to avoid being turned over when torturing him later, it was necessary to search him, if he found anything good, he could keep it for himself. Very quickly, Fuang Hu found some spirit money on Lam Tu Duong pocket money, a mobile phone and a bunch of keys. Seeing this, Fuang Hu picked up the phone to look at it, wanting to see if there was any information that could benefit him. As for his wife, she had been standing beside him the whole time, and asked curiously, Honey, 
Who is this person? Then he looked at the bronze candlestick beside him. Fu Wang Hu discovered that, there was clearly a strange aura on this thing, sensing this familiar feeling. Fu Wang Hu had a guess in his heart. This bronze candlestick was a ghost weapon. It seemed that Lam Tu Duong's status was not low, and he even had a ghost weapon, although it was clearly not as good as his scalpel. But it was a ghost weapon after all. As for his strength, he was knocked down by him with just one blow, and it was estimated that he was not even at level 2. After thinking about it, Fu Wang Hu put down the bronze candlestick, and picked up Lam Tu Duong's phone. He was surprised to find that there was no password. As he flipped through the phone, Fu Wang Hu finally saw the information he wanted. It turned out that Lam Tu Duong was a member of the Light Club. This must be an organization founded by folk spiritualists, people whose minds were distorted by the power of ghosts, but they called themselves Light, instead took the name of Light, which is ridiculous. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu saw some simple information about buying spirit incense on the black market. As such, it can be seen that spirit incense can only act as a delay agent, but cannot completely suppress the loss of spiritual control. Suddenly, Fu Wang Hu discovered that there were many videos of brutal killings on his phone. It was seen that a delivery man walked into the warehouse, and came before Lam Tu Duong. As the delivery man smiled as he handed the food to him, his expression suddenly changed, and he immediately looked terrified. The delivery man was brutally tortured, and the spiritualist who had lost control of his spiritual powers, was even more terrifying than a ghost weapon. Immediately, Fu Wang Hu opened the food delivery app, and found the specific address of the warehouse. Seeing this, the wife beside him sweetly said, Honey, you're so smart. As for Fu Wang Hu, he looked at Lam Tu Duong with a sinister smile, as if he already had a perfect plan in his heart. After thinking about it, Fu Wang Hu carried Lam Tu Duong on his shoulder, and went out. It turned out that Fu Wang Hu had thought of switching roles, to fight poison with poison. And he had to let Lam Tu Duong know what real cruelty was. Had to let Lam Tu Duong know what real cruelty was. A moment later, Lam Tu Duong was taken to the warehouse and woke up. But before he could figure out what was going on, he felt a sharp pain in his eyes, and couldn't help but scream miserably. A moment later, he unconsciously looked around with his remaining eye. But the more he looked, the more familiar it seemed. Isn't this my warehouse? Seeing this, he wanted to stand up, but found that he couldn't stand up at all. And he could hear the familiar sound of iron chains. Immediately, he looked down, and his face turned pale. He was shocked to find that he had been tied to a chair in the middle of the warehouse. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu took the wrench, and said calmly, you woke up slower than me, but just in time. After saying that, Fu Wang Hu pressed the start button of the meat grinder. The meat grinder that had just been repaired made a loud noise. The blades inside were spinning at a high speed, and making a deafening noise. Looking at the meat grinder, Lam Tu Duong obviously realized something. Immediately, he shouted in panic, Who are you? Who are you? After all, hearing this, Fu Wang Hu turned around, and looked at him with calm, deep eyes. In the middle of the night, you came to my house and knocked on my door. You don't know who I am. As soon as he said this, Lam Tu Duong's pupils suddenly constricted. He immediately remembered, and cold sweat dripped down his face. His face pale. You're Fu Wang Hu. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu smiled, and slowly approached him. You answered correctly. The reward is that I will torture you to death. Immediately afterwards, Fu Wang Hu held the scalpel and shook it in front of Lam Tu Duong's face. Initially, in order to prevent your abilities, I should have gouged out both of your eyes, but I want you to see clearly, and see how miserably you die. After saying that, Fu Wang Hu went behind him, and slowly pressed the scalpel against his face. I told you, your life is always in my hands. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong was so frightened that his whole body was trembling, and his voice began to tremble. You, what do you want? I've never met you, and I have no grudges against you. I only heard that you are a new spiritualist, so I came here to invite you to join the Light Club. As soon as he finished speaking, Fu Wang Hu's face remained calm, and the corners of his mouth curled up slightly. Oh, you're mistaken. In fact, we have a grudge. I killed your cousin. Don't you want to avenge him? As soon as he said this, Lam Tu Duong was extremely shocked, and sweat poured down like rain. How did he know my identity? How did he know that I came here to avenge him? After thinking about it, Lam Tu Duong stammered, my cousin was not a good person. If he was killed, so be it. Before he could finish speaking, Fu Wang Hu sneered, no way. A family should be neat and tidy. If you killed your cousin, then of course you have to kill your brother. After saying that, he raised his hand and held the knife. In just a split second, a beam of light flashed by. Lam Tu Duong let out a scream. He was only cut by the scalpel on his skin, but this small wound caused him unbearable pain. Seeing this, Lam Tu Duong was angry and puzzled. You bastard. What's on your knife? Why does it hurt so much? 
Before he could finish speaking, another beam of silver light flashed by. Lam Tu Duong continued to scream miserably, but at this moment, Fuang Hu still didn't stop, but quickly swung the scalpel, and repeatedly cut Lam Tu Duong's body. As he screamed miserably without stopping, Fuang Hu swung his hand faster and faster, and countless beams of light flashed by, but no knife was seen. Until after more than 100 cuts, Lam Tu Duong's voice was clearly hoarse. The madness on his face had also disappeared, leaving only fear, endless fear. He panted, and began to beg Fuang Hu, please kill me, kill me. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at him calmly, and there was no fluctuation on his face. It seems that you have controlled your spiritual instincts. In that case, next, I ask you to answer, what is the copper candle lamp used for, and how do you use it? At this moment, Lam Tu Duong had been tortured to the point of collapse, and without thinking, he hurriedly said, the copper candle lamp can resist the attack of ghosts, and the president lent it to me so that I could protect myself during the strange event, and make a smooth breakthrough. If you want to use it, just drop some blood with spiritual instincts into it, and after lighting it, it can defend against ghosts within the range of the candlelight. However, the stronger the ghost, the faster the blood will burn. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at him, and once again said, how many spiritual instincts have you lit? Why did you lose control? Hearing this, Lam Tu Duong tried to suppress the pain, and quickly replied, I lit 20, and I was just a little bit away from being able to upgrade to level 2. I couldn't break through to level 2, and I lit up more spiritual instincts, but my mind was constantly being polluted, which led to me losing control. At the same time, Fuang Hu stepped forward, and walked behind Lam Tu Duong. Member of the Light Club, tell me all the information about your abilities and the level of spiritual instincts you have lit. At this moment, Lam Tu Duong looked horrified, and glanced at Fuang Hu behind him. Okay, I'll tell you. But the Light Club is relatively free, and many people deliberately hide their abilities. To be specific, I don't know much. For example, I only know that the President is a level 2 spiritualist. The Q&A lasted for half an hour, and Lam Tu Duong told him all the information he knew. Immediately afterwards, he opened his mouth weakly. I've told you everything, and quickly kill me. But Fuang Hu beside him looked at the scalpel indifferently. It's okay, there are still a few thousand more cuts. Moreover, I never promised that if you just answered obediently, I would let you go. Hearing this, Lam Tu Duong completely collapsed. He threw his head back, and shouted, You liar, you bastard. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu smiled wickedly again, and waved the scalpel in his hand. Enjoy the pain. After saying that, he laughed maniacally. When dozens more cuts were added, Lam Tu Duong's state was clearly abnormal. Although he was still in pain, his expression became more and more ferocious, and his screams gradually disappeared. At the same time, in his remaining eye, more and more blood streaks began to appear, almost connecting into a patch, completely turning red. Moreover, the eyeball became more and more protruding, as if it was about to pop out. His mouth kept shouting, I'm going to kill you, kill you. When a few more cuts were added, Fuang Hu clearly felt that something was wrong. Lam Tu Duong's screams suddenly disappeared. This sudden silence immediately made Fuang Hu unhappy, and he raised the scalpel and stabbed it a few more times. Why aren't you screaming anymore? Why aren't you screaming anymore? Suddenly, Lam Tu Duong's whole body began to tremble violently, and countless mice seemed to be running under his skin, and fangs grew out of his mouth. His eyes bulged even more, and the direction in which the mice were moving was clearly towards his skull. To be more precise, it was towards the eyes on his skull. Immediately afterwards, a strange and violent spiritual instinct suddenly erupted and spread from Lam Tu Duong's body. Seeing this, Fuang Hu's eyes flashed with excitement. This is a spiritual instinct that has completely lost control, and it's about to mutate. Fuang Hu was very excited, but this was also the first time he had humiliated a spiritualist, so to avoid any accidents, Fuang Hu decided to cut off his ability to act. Only four beams of light flashed by, and Fuang Hu directly cut off his limbs. As a result, after Lam Tu Duong's limbs were cut off, he had just started to scream and struggle frantically, and then immediately began to die. Immediately afterwards, the head that had been held high also bowed down, motionless and lifeless breathless. Seeing this, Fuang Hu frowned. Is he dead? Could it be that even if it can't be interrupted? Or did I use too much force? Just as he was wiping the scalpel with a little annoyance, he suddenly seemed to hear a rustling sound, as soft as a tentacle moving. Fuang Hu looked in the direction of the sound, but after looking around, he still didn't find it. But right now, in front of him where he couldn't see, Lam Tu Duong's only remaining eye was actually extending out of its socket, and four octopus-like tentacles were growing out of it. At this moment, 
Fuang Hu was extremely shocked, and stared at it in disbelief. He saw the four tentacles clinging to Lam Tu Duang's eye socket, and with a little force, the entire eye was pulled out of its socket, and it even made a sound like a thermos being opened. Seeing this, Fuang Hu frowned, and immediately retreated more than 10 meters. He saw that the eye was completely covered in red, and only the pupil was bronze black, and it stood on Lam Tu Duang's cheek and looked around, and then like a spider, it quickly crawled up Lam Tu Duang's forehead. Like a spider, it quickly crawled up Lam Tu Duang's forehead. Immediately afterwards, it stared at Fuang Hu with its black pupil, and locked onto its target in almost 110,000 seconds. This made Fuang Hu relax his brows, and instead a wicked smile appeared on his face, and he looked at the eyeball, and said lightly, interesting. The next second, the eyeball jumped up with force, like an arrow leaving the bowstring, and charged fiercely towards Fuang Hu. Seeing this, Fuang Hu almost simultaneously swung his scalpel and slashed at it, intending to cut the mutated eye in half, but the eyeball actually changed direction in midair, and brushed past the scalpel extremely dangerously. At this moment, a pop was heard, and the eyeball fell into Fuang Hu's scalpel-wielding hand, and used its tentacles to wrap around it tightly. Seeing this, Fuang Hu's expression did not change, and he immediately pulled out the scalpel in his left hand, and quickly slashed at the eyeball. But the eyeball was like an octopus wriggling, and used all its strength to push up with its tentacles, and in the blink of an eye, it jumped to Fuang Hu's neck. Seeing this, Fuang Hu immediately made a judgment in his heart, and its target was his eyes. So the next second, his eyes. So the next second, he directly gave up on capturing it from the throat, and instead predicted in advance, and reached out towards his eyes. Sure enough, he accurately caught the eyeball. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at the eyeball in his hand, and his vision began to focus. He thought to himself, I've caught you. But the next second, a strange fluctuation suddenly emanated from the eyeball. Fuang Hu immediately felt his vision go black, and his consciousness gradually became hazy. With a slurping sound, as if eating noodles, the entire thing entered Fuang Hu's right eye. But Fuang Hu's expression remained calm, and to him, this little bit of weirdness was nothing. The next second, he stretched out his finger, and fiercely stabbed at his right eye. But just as it was about to touch the eyeball, his finger suddenly stopped, because he discovered that his right eye could actually see again. Before this, his right eye had been eaten, and could be considered completely blind. But now, after the strange eyeball entered, he could see once more. So Fuang Hu decided to wait a little longer. Very quickly, a strange sight appeared. His right eye actually began to move automatically. It's hard for ordinary people to imagine. A person with an unmoving left eye, and a right eye that was flipping around very quickly, and even starting to roll up. The black pupil had completely moved to the upper eyelid, and then directly flipped inward. At this moment, two images immediately appeared in Fuang Hu's mind. One was the image of the dark warehouse that his left eye saw, and the other was the image that his right eye saw which was a bright red color and filled with blood vessels, and he could even see the scene inside the furnace. At the same time, the voice of Lin Ziyang Jun, the trump card, rang out in his mind. Sure enough, you didn't lie to me. Weak flesh and blood, a freak ascending to heaven. Ha ha ha, I have become Lin Ziyang. At this moment, the voice was extremely crazy, and it didn't sound like a human voice at all. To be more precise, it was not a human, but a freak. Huang Hu, I will take over your body. I will imprison your consciousness forever in this body. You will suffer forever. Faced with such a strange sight, Fuang Hu's face was completely expressionless. Only when he heard the two words pain, did Fuang Hu smile. Let me feel the pain? At this moment, the corners of his mouth curled up unconsciously, revealing his white teeth. Under the dim light, he looked extremely creepy. My pain is greater than yours. At the same time, a strange soul fluctuation came from the eyeball. Fluctuation came from the eyeball. This fluctuation went straight to the brain, directly attacking the mind. At the same time, Lin Ziyang's voice rang out again. Wait until I take control of your body. I will use this body to eat alive all your closest loved ones, making you want to die. At this moment, he was like a source of pollution, constantly releasing pollution into Fuang Hu's mind. And Lin Ziyang's consciousness controlled the source of pollution, inserting it deeply into Fuang Hu's mind. He wanted to distort Fuang Hu's mind, to infect him with a strange power, and thereby completely seize this body. But when he completely invaded Fuang Hu's mind, he was suddenly stunned. At this moment, he uttered a doubtful voice. Where is this? 
He only felt that he had fallen into a boundless darkness. This darkness was extremely distorted, like a black hole that was constantly devouring everything. Here, there were countless images of horrific death, rushing in like a mountain collapsing in an instant. Even though Lin Ziyang had lost control of his soul, and had become completely strange, but even so, even so, the distortion in Fuang Hu's mind still terrified him. The hatred and violent rage were like huge waves, badly attacking Lin Ziyang. Kill, 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 take revenge, I must take revenge. This hatred is irreconcilable. Fuang Hu's wife, as long as I'm alive, you must die. All freaks must die. I will make this world feel the pain. Seeing this, Lin Ziyang murmured in horror, this is not a human mind at all. This is hell. At this moment, Lin Ziyang suddenly felt that compared to Fuang Hu, he himself was the human being. But just as he discovered the abnormality, and wanted to retreat, he was horrified to find that he could no longer move. He was like a lonely boat on the vast sea, and countless negative emotions gathered into monstrous waves that filled the sky, constantly crashing down on him, overturning him. At the same time, Fuang Hu's voice suddenly rang out in his mind. In his mind, Fuang Hu's voice had changed, no longer calm as water, but extremely fierce, dark, and creepy, like the voice of a demon from hell, as if the Fuang Hu outside was just a disguise, and the Fuang Hu in the mind was the real one. Is that all? You're too weak. Let me show you what real pain is. As soon as he finished speaking, according to Fuang Hu's terrifying meditation, in an instant, the endless darkness continued to flood towards Lin Ziyang. That was Fuang Hu's dark spirituality, containing all the pain he had endured. At this moment, Lin Ziyang endured the pain, and let out a miserable cry. With the last cry of his life, his entire body was drowned in endless pain. And at this moment, Fuang Hu outside, his right eye shed bright red blood tears. At this moment, Fuang Hu began to mutter, Lin Ziyang is dead. Then I am the master of this bloodline. In the next second, Fuang Hu, who had been closing his eyes, suddenly opened his eyes wide. At this moment, both of his eyes had recovered, and his vision had returned to normal. And at the same time, he had also gained blood pupils. And the ability of the blood pupils is that after looking directly into the eyes, can create a shock to the creature, a kind of spiritual pollution. In short, whoever looks at it will die. At the same time, it can also make people hallucinate when they look directly into the eyes. And according to his thoughts, the bright red color in his right eye slowly disappeared, and was replaced by a clear black and white eye. Huang Hu seemed to be thinking about something. Could it be that when Lin Ziyang mutated, his spirituality broke through, advancing to the rank of level 2 spirit master, causing the ability of the blood pupils to also mutate and become stronger? In addition to gaining blood pupils, Fuang Hu's own spirituality also increased, once again lighting up 5. Fuang Hu guessed that, perhaps it was because Lin Ziyang's spirituality lost control, and completely flooded into the bloodline, and was then completely absorbed by him. This made Fuang Hu feel happy after so many days of separation. In this way, he could completely become stronger through devouring. Then he could kill the freaks more easily. But at this moment, Fuang Hu's smile disappeared, and he rested his chin in thought, but how do you devour spirituality? This time, because Lin Ziyang became a freak, he took the initiative to give up his body to invade my mind, and there may not be such an opportunity in the future. At this moment, Fuang Hu remembered the black trump card, remembering the words Lin Ziyang said when he invaded his mind. Fuang Hu always kept it in his heart, hearing him say that the reason why he became a freak, was that the black trump card played a big role. At the same time, Fuang Hu began to clean up the aftermath. He threw Lin Ziyang's body into the meat grinder. Blood splattered everywhere, and Fuang Hu's face was expressionless. And he muttered to himself, although I don't know who this black trump card is, this result makes me very satisfied, so if I have the chance, I must thank him. Very quickly, Lin Ziyang was turned into dog food. Fuang Hu threw it directly on the ground, and began to feed it to the stray dogs, while Fuang Hu smiled and watched. At this moment, Fuang Hu remembered the bronze lamp stand. This was something that the president of the club had lent him. Once he heard the news of Lin Ziyang, he would definitely send someone to find him and take revenge. It seems that I still have to find an opportunity to eradicate them, to avoid future troubles. Thinking of this, Fuang Hu couldn't help but complain that human feelings were really complicated. Killing one person means exterminating the whole family. At the same time, he found a business card in Lin Ziyang's pocket. The business card clearly stated Black Rose Bar. Seeing this, Fuang Hu thought again. Now I still can't deal with them in Luke Dang City. Then I'll go here first to find a way. As for 
for this black rose bar, it looks like an ordinary bar from the outside, and the business is not very good, but only those in the circle in Luke Dang City know how famous this bar is. It's not just a bar, but also the black market of the entire Luke Dang City. Fuang Hu was seen walking into the bar leisurely, his face expressionless, observing the surroundings. Then he slowly walked towards the bar. At this moment, he lowered his head, his whole body hidden under the hood, and his face could not be seen clearly. This mysterious disguise also aroused the curiosity of the guests present, and they all looked at him with unfriendly eyes. Very quickly, Fuang Hu walked to the bar and sat down. Seeing this, the bartender wiped the cup, and smiled gently and said, Welcome to the Black Rose Bar. May I ask what you would like to drink? Hearing this, a calm voice came from the darkness, 24 black rose petals. Just now, Fuang Hu ordered 24 black rose petals, and the bartender immediately stopped wiping the cup. Then he pondered for a moment and said, I'm so sorry. Dear customer, our bar doesn't have this kind of wine. At this moment, Fuang Hu shook his head. I don't need wine. I need flowers. Hearing this, the bartender immediately became more respectful. Dear customer, please follow me. Then, he led Fuang Hu to a room behind the bar. There was a door with a password, and fingerprints had to be verified as well. After the verification was completed, the door opened with a bang, revealing a long corridor. The corridor was very dark, and one could only vaguely see the path underfoot. At this moment, the bartender slowly said, Dear customer, please go straight ahead, there will be someone inside to receive you. Hearing this, Fuang Hu nodded, and then stepped inside. The coated door also closed behind him. Fuang Hu was seen walking inside leisurely, and the corridor was very quiet, with only the sound of Fuang Hu's footsteps echoing. Very quickly, Fuang Hu reached the end of the corridor, where there was a corner. After passing the corner, what caught his eye was an elevator. On both sides of the elevator were two men in suits, with strong bodies standing there. At this moment, Fuang Hu found that the belts of the two men were bulging. They were obviously hiding weapons. This security measure was even better than that of the investigation bureau. Suddenly, one of the men raised his hand to stop Fuang Hu. Dear customer, please show your membership card. And when entering the trading area, it needs to be checked according to the regulations. It is strictly forbidden to cause any conflict inside. I hope you can understand. Seeing this, Fuang Hu nodded and cooperated with the staff member for the inspection, and secretly rejoiced in his heart. At the same time, he also thought a little more highly of Lin Ziyang. Fortunately, this bar only issued membership cards to qualified people, though it was mandatory to register. It seemed that Lin Ziyang was not a complete waste, but after the staff member confirmed that there was nothing unusual and finished registering his membership card, he gave the membership card back to Fuang Hu. After the inspection was completed, Fuang Hu successfully entered the elevator. The two staff members bowed respectfully, wishing you a pleasant transaction. The elevator went down and quickly arrived at the trading location, the bathroom. The elevator door opened, and Fuang Hu stepped into the trading hall. There were not many people in the hall, with only a dozen or so people scattered around. But this place was extremely spacious, large enough to hold a football field. Seeing this, Fuang Hu couldn't help but praise in his heart. Because there were less than a hundred spirit masters in Luke Dang City in total, but there were more than ten people here, it seemed that this trading hall was very powerful. Just as Fuang Hu had taken two steps, a girl with a beautiful face, a slender figure, and a full chest smiled and walked towards him, dear customer, hello. May I help you with anything? Hearing this, Fuang Hu looked at her calmly. I want to kill someone. At this moment, the girl's expression remained unchanged, as if she was not surprised by Fuang Hu's words at all. Not surprised by Fuang Hu's words at all. On the contrary, she continued to smile and said, All right, dear customer, please follow me. Then, Fuang Hu was taken to a secret reception room. At this moment, neither of them said anything, and the atmosphere was extremely quiet for a while. At this moment, Fuang Hu looked at her calmly, and took the initiative to break the silence. How much is the president of the light club worth? Hearing this, the beautiful woman's expression did not change much, and she looked at Fuang Hu seriously. He is the best among the second level spirit masters. Moreover, doing so is no different from making enemies with the entire light club. It is necessary to prepare more manpower. The manpower and material resources involved, I'm afraid. Seeing this, Fuang Hu did not talk nonsense, but asked directly, how much money? Hearing this, the beautiful woman smiled, such strong people, we don't accept money, only spirit coins or spiritual materials of equivalent value. A rough estimate is about 5,000 spirit coins. At this moment, Fuang Hu was not surprised. After all, he was the boss of a spirit master force, and there were a group of people under him, and it can't be too cheap. 
Right after, Fuang Hu asked again, then what about Tan Guangyuan and Li Jiwei from the Light Club? Although Tan Guangyuan is not a second level spirit master, he is a core member of the club, and it will take at least 1000 spirit coins. As for Li Jiwei, he's a little cheaper, and it will only cost 200 spirit coins. Hearing this, Fuang Hu was a little surprised, why is he so cheap? At this moment, the beautiful woman looked at Fuang Hu with a smile. Your question has involved some valuable information. Unless you confirm that you want to kill Li Jiwei and pay 100 spirit coins in advance, or pay for the information separately, I can't tell you. After she finished speaking, Fuang Hu did not hesitate, and slammed the briefcase on the table with a bang, and a few spirit coins fell out of the briefcase. Then, he looked at her without showing any emotion, tell me. Seeing this, the manager opened the briefcase, and slowly arranged the spirit coins inside into piles, and placed them in front of him. Then she immediately smiled and said, since you've placed an order, I'll give you this information for free. Li Jiwei's ability belongs to the induction system, and his direct combat ability is relatively weak, so the price is not high. In addition, he is also the cousin of the president of the Light Club. Hearing this, Fuang Hu was a little surprised. He's a cousin? Seeing this, the manager smiled wickedly. May I ask if you want to cancel your order? But the deposit will not be refunded. At this moment, Fuang Hu said calmly, the person I'm going to kill is his cousin. When will you take action? And what if the action fails? The beautiful manager smiled at Fuang Hu. The specific time is a trade secret, but I can't disclose it. However, we will reply to you within a week. You can also download the assassination app and follow the real-time information to track your order. After the assassination is successful, you will have one month to confirm the death of the target and the remaining amount must be paid within one month. At the same time, the phone reminded, you have a new message, please check your order. Seeing this, the manager looked through it for a while, and then smiled apologetically at Fuang Hu, I'm sorry, there's a lot of work. After she finished speaking, she stood up from the sofa, if the assassination fails, you can choose one of the following two options, one is that we will refund half of the mission fee, and the other is that we will find a stronger assassin. After receiving the order, she handed Fuang Hu a contract, take a look at this contract. The terms of the after sales guarantee are all stated therein, you can rest assured. But as soon as Fuang Hu took the contract, he felt a strange fluctuation on it. At this moment, he looked at the contract, and immediately guessed it in his heart. This contract has the power of the devil's cry. At the same time, a gleam of light flashed in the manager's eyes. To be able to make such an accurate judgment about the breath of the devil's cry, it shows that he also possesses the devil's cry, or at least has had direct contact with it. Then, she looked at Fuang Hu, and said with a smile, you have a good eye. This is used to ensure the validity of the contract, in case the customer fails to pay the remaining amount on time, so that we can easily find someone. Hearing this, Fuang Hu looked at the contract in his hand, and said, in that case, it doesn't matter if I sign a fake name. After he finished speaking, he signed a huge six on the contract. Six on the contract. After signing, without saying anything more, he stood up, turned around and left. The manager bowed respectfully. Customer, take your time. Welcome to come again next time. After leaving the underground trading market, Fuang Hu walked around outside for a few laps, and at the same time used his bloodline to investigate for a long time. After confirming that no one was following him, he felt relieved and went home. Paying 200 spirit coins, Fuang Hu did not feel sorry. After all, he could blind one eye of the light club, and it was worth it. If it weren't for the fact that he didn't have much money, he would have bought the president's life directly. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but sigh. It seems that I have to earn money first. The next day, Fuang Hu went to the investigation bureau to report. As for True Hao, according to Vong Duck Hai's arrangement, he also went to the investigation bureau. He raised his thumb and smiled. Antoine, have you joined the investigation bureau too? Fuang Hu simply replied with a yes. A moment later, the two of them went to the director's office to discuss. From Vong Duck Hai's mouth, they learned that strange monsters were invading that strange monsters were invading, and the situation in the whole country is getting worse, and the internal situation of the bureau is also in chaos. According to the investigation, some corporations and families are secretly cultivating their own spirit masters, and some even collude with foreign spirit masters. Therefore, Fuang Hu's superiors wanted him to stay in the bureau temporarily for training. Hearing this, True Hao was overjoyed. Great, An Tuan, you don't have to go anymore. At this moment, Duang Min also smiled so much that he couldn't close his mouth. He put his arm around Fuang Hu's shoulder and gave him a thumbs up. Little Fuang, we're comrades from now on. If you need anything, just tell me and I'll try my best to meet your needs. Fuang Hu still showed no emotion, and did not say a word. 
At this moment, Vong Duc Hai looked at Duong Min, and asked about the investigation of Ace of Spades and the current injury of Buck KY. Hearing this, Duong Min retracted his previous smile, and recounted the investigation with a serious face. At present, they have only investigated that there is a large organization behind Ace of Spades, named Bai Pai. This organization is hidden very deeply, and is probably not a local grassroots force, and it is very likely to be on the side of the Bureau. Then he showed a smug look again, as for little Bai, his spirit is quite good, but he still can't act freely. Hearing this, Vong Duc Hai pondered for a moment, all right, then you continue to investigate Bai Pai, so that Bok Ky can recuperate in peace, and not worry about the affairs of the Bureau. As for Fuang Hu and Tru Hao, you two are still new spirit masters, so first participate in the training. After meeting the requirements, we will arrange tasks for you too. As soon as he finished speaking, Tru Hao smiled, and nodded repeatedly. As for Fuang Hu, he was still the same, showing no emotion, and lost in thought. The Ace of Spades disguised as a lustful ghost, and the King of Spades knows how to transform into a strange monster. This organization seems interesting. I wonder if there are any other experts? I must find an opportunity to contact them in the future. Just now, Fuang Hu and Tru Hao started their training. They are currently studying the basic theory of 108 methods to deal with strange monsters and how to better control their own spirituality. As for Fuang Hu, he was lying on the table sleeping. As for Tru Hao, he thought of the short video from before, and his mouth immediately watered, and his face flushed as he stared at the teacher who was lecturing on the podium. Ha ha, this is the real-life version of a female teacher arguing. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye, it was afternoon. The afternoon was the practical class. True Hao was seen wearing a small watermelon on his head, and his face was pale as he kept kowtowing and begging, I've lost, I've lost. And Tuan, spare my life. Before he could finish speaking, a bullet was heard whizzing towards him. Immediately after, with a bang, the watermelon on True Hao's head was smashed to pieces. As for True Hao, he was so scared that he broke out in a cold sweat. Just like that, Fuang Hu and True Hao repeated the training process for a whole week. At this moment, Fuang Hu loaded the pistol, and at the same time could not help but complain, it's been a week. When will I get the task to contact the strange monster? Repeating the same training day after day is really boring. But after so long, the black rose flower should have an answer, right? Thinking of this, Fuang Hu took out his phone to check. At the same time, True Hao was holding a small watermelon, and said with disdain, this watermelon is not as good as Fi Fi's. Suddenly, a sly smile appeared on Fuang Hu's face. It turned out that he had seen a message on the Kill Anyone app. Seeing this, Fuang Hu immediately opened the message to read it, clearly displayed the news that he wanted to know, your order has been completed, please pay attention to receiving the goods. On the other side, on the top of a skyscraper in the urban area of Lu Tang City, from a distance, one could see a group of men and women in suits, who could be seen as elites at a glance, gathered together. One could see that the faces of the people were covered in cold sweat, and everyone had a gloomy expression, and remained silent. The leader was a young man in his early twenties, tall and handsome, wearing a custom-made white suit. He was seen drinking red wine with a gloomy face. Immediately after, with a bang, he suddenly smashed the expensive wine glass in his hand to the ground, and the glass and wine splattered everywhere. Immediately after, he flew into a rage, gritting his teeth, Lin Ziyang is missing. The bronze lampstand is nowhere to be found and my cousin was assassinated. Who the hell did this? Someone must be targeting me. Targeting the light club. Investigate this for me, find out. At the same time, the people present saw the angry man, and each of them had an unnatural expression, and even showed a hint of fear. Just then, a woman in a wine red dress spoke coquettishly, oh. At the same time, she swayed her slender waist like a water snake towards the man, then sat down on his lap. One could see that she had a charming face, a tall figure, and was curvy where she needed to be curvy, and slender where she needed to be slender. All right, young master Ma, don't be angry. Having said that, she brought the wine glass with the lipstick mark on it to young Master Ma's face. The man took the red wine, looked at the lipstick mark, and drank it all in one gulp. But before he could take a few sips, young Master Ma's face darkened, and he stared at the wine glass and asked, what is this smell? At this moment, the woman blushed, and raised her hand to make an okay sign, then brought her hand to her mouth. Immediately after, she giggled, guess what? The strong man was completely enraged, his eyes fierce like a tiger descending a mountain, and he suddenly pushed the woman in the red dress away, you slut, you trying to touch me with the mouth that has licked someone else? But the woman seemed to have anticipated this, and she quickly twisted her waist to dodge. Immediately after, she looked at him with a smile, 
don't be so mean. You're scaring me to death. After all, I'm only joking with them. I'm only sincere with you. Having said that, she patted her chest and said confidently, my love, leave this task to me this time. In a week, I guarantee you'll be satisfied. Just now, Bai Chi had removed the bandages, taken off the fashionable mummy outfit, and was lying on the bed video calling Wang to high. The doctor said that he can basically move around normally now, but he still can't fight for now. Seeing this, Wang Dehai relaxed his face, so Bai Chi, the time being, you should just continue to recuperate. As for the evil desire case at the Qingshan Mental Hospital, for now, we can only send someone else to rescue Yang Kunpeng's team. Go ahead. At this moment, Yang Ming nodded, agreeing. Yang Kunpeng can also be considered a veteran exorcist. Leading a team to deal with a C-level evil spirit should be no problem. But what about Fuang Hu? After all, he has already been to the Qingshan Mental Hospital, and even returned safely. Can't we let him go with us? When Ren Wang Dehai resolutely shook his head, Fuang Hu is very important. Furthermore, he is still a newly entered exorcist. I should still arrange for him to handle the D-level evil spirit event first. Wait until he has accumulated experience and improved his spiritual sense. Then give him a C-level task. Gradually progress, grow step by step. Hearing this, Yang Ming looked at him with disdain. You are protecting him too much. Furthermore, what's the difference between C-level and D-level? As soon as he finished speaking, Wang Dehai's face immediately darkened, and he frowned and scolded, you bastard. For a three-world exorcist like you, world exorcist like you, then C-level and D-level are naturally no different. If you and Bai Qi lead the team, then he can go, or even to a more dangerous ghost realm. But right now, you are investigating the card case, and Bai Qi is still lying in the hospital bed. Naturally we must prioritize safety. Don't you understand this principle? At the same time, Bai Qi also spoke up in support, his ability is luck. Even if someone dies, it won't be him. Of course he doesn't care. Hearing this, Yang Ming suddenly became serious. A man must go through trials by fire and blood, a flower in a greenhouse. Before he could finish speaking, Wang Dehai roared, go call Fu Wang Hu here for me. Yang Ming had a look of defiance, call then call. What are you roaring for? Disturbing Xiao Bai's recuperation. When Ren Bai Qi couldn't bear to watch anymore, and had to hang up the phone, and put his hand over his face, looking helpless. Not long after, Fu Wang Hu came to the office, and sat down opposite Wang Dehai. At this moment, Wang Dehai had a serious expression. This Fuang Hu, at this moment, Wang Dehai's expression was serious, Fuang Hu. This time, I called you here because there is an extremely difficult task, that needs to be completed by you. When Ren Fuang Hu calmly said, things that are not related to evil spirits, I will not accept them. Immediately after, Wang Dehai handed him the investigation report, this time, it is to send you to investigate, and to solve the evil event in Haishui village. Seeing this, Fuang Hu showed interest, and immediately took the document and examined it carefully. Haishui village? I have never heard of this village. Hearing this, Wang Dehai's expression became serious, it is normal that you do not know about this village. Haishui village is a small and remote village in the mountainous outskirts of our Luton city. Because of the road conditions, this village is rarely visited, so not many people know about it. Haishui village has a river called Haishui River. The villagers also named themselves after the river. In recent years, there have been quite a few villagers who drowned in the Haishui River. At first, everyone thought that these were just ordinary drowning incidents. But according to the villagers, there is a water monster in the Haishui River that specializes in pulling people's legs when they are swimming in the river. After that, even stranger things happened. It is said that there was a villager who was sleeping in his house. But when he woke up, he found himself lying on the riverbank, and half of his body was already submerged in the water. If he had not woken up in time, he would have drowned. There are many strange legends like this in Haishui village. After the investigation bureau went to investigate, they preliminarily determined that there was an evil event, and named it Water Ghost. The preliminary assessment was that it was a C-level event. At this moment, Fuang Hu listened to Wang Dehai's description, and looked at the documents in his hand, with a pensive look on his face. Because the investigation bureau can receive an additional reward of 10 soul cents for solving a D-level evil event, a C-level event is rewarded with 100 soul cents, a B-level event is rewarded with 1000 soul cents, and so on and Fuang Hu's reward is doubled. In other words, if he can solve the water ghost event this time, then Fuang Hu will be able to buy another life for the light club. At the same time, 
Wang Dehai looked at him with a serious face, because this is your first time going on a mission, and your ability is top secret, so I will send Shen Lingxue to lead the team. You, Zhao Hao, and a new exorcist who has just joined the investigation bureau, will carry out this mission together. Wen Ren Fu Wang Hu continued to look at the report, and nodded in agreement. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu's expression was full of evil, and he was thinking deeply. It had been a week since he had come into contact with evil spirits. He really missed the feeling of stabbing his scalpel into the body of an evil spirit. Oh, although in the past few days, he had tried to avenge his wife several times, but the gap between the two of them was too great, to the extent that he had not even had time to make a move when his wife had already counterattacked, and carried out a death echo. It really didn't feel good at all. Just as Fu Wang Hu was deep in thought, the murderous aura that unintentionally emanated from him made Wang Dehai feel afraid. The murderous aura is too strong. As expected, this young exorcist is just like the psychological report said, so vengeful. After calming down, Wang Dehai suddenly remembered something, and looked at Fu Wang Hu with fear. Oh right, Bureau has arranged a partner for you, who is an ordinary person to help you deal with some chores, just like Shen Lingxue and assistant Li Wenhao. That is the standard of the investigation bureau. After saying that and seeing that Fu Wang Hu did not object, he picked up the landline phone on the table, and quickly dialed a number. Soon, the internal call was connected. Ka Han, come to my office for a moment. On the other end of the phone, there was the sound of furniture colliding, followed by a girl's soft voice. Yes, bureau chief. I will be right there. A moment later, Fu Wang Hu twitched his ears slightly, and heard the sound of hurried footsteps. But when the footsteps approached the office, they suddenly slowed down. Then came the sound of clothes being adjusted and the sound of panting. Come on, Ka Han. It will definitely be fine. Soon, there was a knock at the door. After receiving Wang Dehai's consent, Ka Han pushed open the door. She had a petite figure, fair skin, an elegant face, and her cheeks were slightly flushed due to nervousness. She stood at the door and greeted them hesitantly. Seeing this, Wang Dehai nodded, and then pointed at Fu Wang Hu and began to introduce him. Ka Han, this is Fu Wang Hu. In the future, you will be responsible for coordinating with him. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu glanced at Ka Han who was standing at the door, with a thoughtful expression. An outstanding student who had been trained by the investigation bureau could not have failed to know that the martial senses of an exorcist far surpassed those of ordinary people. She had deliberately chosen to stand outside the door to encourage herself, and it was obvious that she was telling others. At this moment, Ka Han immediately turned to Fu Wang Hu, and bowed 90 degrees. Hello, Mr. Fu Wang. My name is Taka Han, and my code number is 1327. Before he could finish speaking, Fu Wang Hu stood up abruptly, not even bothering to look at him, and walked straight past him. Talk less. Make friends with me later, and send me your phone number. If I don't take the initiative to contact you, then don't text me unless it's something important. Seeing this, Taka Han raised her head, a hint of surprise and grievance flashing in her eyes. But Fu Wang Hu did not stop, and walked out on his own. At the same time, his deep voice rang out. Your acting is quite good. Don't act anymore next time. Hearing this, Taka Han's face was full of question marks, and she stood there in a daze. A moment later, she stood there in a daze. A moment later, Hu Wang Hu had just walked out of the investigation bureau, when he suddenly received a message. It was a friend request from Taka Han. Looking at her profile picture, Fu Wang Hu couldn't help but think of the little evil spirit girl who sold candy outside the entrance of the apartment complex. She seemed harmless, but she was actually very scheming. After Fu Wang Hu agreed to the friend request, Ha Han sent him a short message, Mr. Fu Wang, maybe you misunderstood something about me, but it's okay. Sooner or later, I will prove my professional ability and gain your recognition. I hope you can help me more in my work in the future. At this moment, a voice calling his name came from afar. Mr. Tuan, we've been waiting for you. Fu Wang Hu glanced over, and saw Shen Lingxue leaning against the car, looking impatient. You're always late, even a snail is faster than you. Zhao Hao, on the other hand, was smiling, and waving. Despite the urging, Fu Wang Hu got into the car unhurriedly. Apart from Shen Lingxue and Zhao Hao, there was also a fat man in the car. At this moment, he pointed at himself, with a smug expression. Allow me to introduce myself. My surname is Lu, my given name is Dan Ming, and my nickname is Handsome. I'm considered an old timer in the investigation bureau. You can all call me Handsome. Space element, water element skills, and the ability to teleport. Immediately afterwards, Zhao Hao turned his head, his face full of admiration 
Handsome. Can you really teleport? I thought that my abilities were strong enough. Didn't expect that handsome is even stronger. Seeing this, the fat man asked curiously, what are your abilities? Hearing this, Zhao Hao blushed for a moment, and looked at Shen Lingxue who was sitting in front, unable to speak. Shen Lingxue was driving, and when she saw this scene in the rearview mirror, she snorted coldly. If you can awaken such abilities, then don't be shy about saying it. Immediately afterwards, she smiled, her voice indifferent. Since I'm the team leader, then let's start with me. So I'll give you a brief introduction to everyone's abilities. My ability is fire, Fuang Hu's is perception. As for the fat man, he just said it himself. As for Zhao Hao, he was too embarrassed to say it himself, but it was the ability to have sex. As soon as these three words were uttered by Shen Lingxue, Zhao Hao immediately turned red in the face. The fat man sitting next to him laughed so hard that tears came out. Oh my god, my friend, you are really a talent. Sexual ability, what the hell are you thinking? How can that ability be used to deal with ghosts? Or are you planning to have sex with ghosts? Just when the fat man was laughing happily, Shen Lingxue poured cold water on him. Do you still dare to laugh at others? You can only teleport 10 centimeters in an hour. So what's there to brag about? Hearing this, the fat man's laughter suddenly stopped, and he stood there like a wax figure. Unexpectedly, at this moment, Zhao Hao burst out laughing, and while laughing, he used his hand to indicate a distance. Ha ha ha. Teleporting 10 centimeters, this distance is not even half of mine. Seeing this, the fat man was furious, and he shouted, that was before, now I have improved, and I can teleport 20 centimeters in half an hour. After that, the two of them started arguing, exchanging barbs. Shen Lingxue was driving at this time, and when she heard the noisy quarrel, her face became sullen. Immediately afterwards, a purple flame flew towards the two people sitting in the back seat. With just a poof, the arguing stopped, and the two people immediately fell silent. And at the same time, they lowered their heads as if they were talking to each other. At the same time, Shen Lingxue shouted, that's enough. From now on, if anyone dares to say another word, I will throw that person out of the car, and make them run to Haishui village by themselves. Hearing this, the two people didn't have time to wipe themselves, and immediately shouted in unison, I'm sorry, we will obey. As for Fuang Hu, he had been acting like it had nothing to do with him from beginning to end, and had not said a word. However, he was a little suspicious in his heart, such a serious paranormal event, yet they had only sent a level 1 exorcist and three people who were not capable of fighting directly to deal with it. Was it because the mission was too simple, or was it because the investigation bureau was so short of staff? Fuang Hu didn't know. Perhaps he would only know the situation once he arrived at the village. A few hours later, the car passed through the mountainous area, and finally arrived at Haishui village. At this time, everyone got out of the car at the entrance of the village. A gentle breeze blew past, carrying with it a bone-chilling cold. The few people standing there looked towards the village. They saw that the village was surrounded by mountains. The surrounding terrain was rugged, and a very long river flowed through the middle of the village, which was the Haishui River. Perhaps because of the geological conditions, the river water was very deep, and the light was insufficient. From a distance, the river looked black. This time, it was already dark. The weak sunlight enveloped the entire Haishui village, making the whole village even more gloomy. Because the mountain road here was getting steeper and steeper, the car could not pass through. Everyone picked up their luggage and started walking towards the village, but when they walked to the perimeter of Haishui village, they discovered a flame floating in the air, and at a speed that could be seen with the naked eye. The flame was moving towards Fuang Hu's group. In the dark and gloomy mountain village, it became even more eerie. At this moment, Fuang Hu's calm voice sounded, there are people ahead. Hearing this, Zhao Hao was so scared that he couldn't speak. At this moment, it was pitch black, and it was impossible to see anything at all. It was a young man who was helping an old man walk towards them. Is that Miss Shen from the TV station? The flame from earlier was the oil lamp in the old man's hand. The two people looked extremely eerie in the dim light. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue smiled and took a step forward, as if she was not afraid of the darkness at all. That's right, it's me. Are you the village chief Wong from the internet? At this time, the old man had already approached, and the light from the oil lamp enveloped everyone, and finally they could see the faces of the two people clearly. They saw that village chief Wong nodded and replied, that's right, this is my grandson, Wong Fugi. Miss Shen, you must be tired from your journey, and you must be hungry. Come home and let my daughter-in-law cook you something to eat. Under the guidance of village chief Wong, 
Fuang Huu's group finally entered Haishui village. Chen Lingxue kept declining village chief Wang's offer. No need to trouble village chief Wang. We already ate in the car, and we're not hungry. We're tired from driving all day, so we just need to rest early. After some polite conversation, village chief Wang showed them to their rooms. After following Shen Lingxue to her room, and seeing village chief Wang off, she immediately ran to the bathroom, and took a comfortable hot bath. At this moment, Shen Lingxue reached out and touched the light pink tattoo, as if she wanted to do something. But suddenly, her expression changed, and she stopped her movement. Then, she hurriedly put on her clothes, her face embarrassed. It's better to be careful when you're outside. She was wearing a nightgown when she came out of the guest room, and she was drying her hair while looking at the three people. Did you find anything unusual? Hearing this, the fat man turned his head away, his face gloomy. No. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue nodded. If there's nothing, then go to bed early, and we'll go to Haishui River tomorrow morning. According to the documents, the paranormal event is very likely related to Haishui River. Suddenly, Fuang Hu calmly said, Hair. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue immediately turned her head to look at Fuang Hu. What did you say? It turned out that Fuang Hu had discovered that the villagers' hair quality was too good, especially village chief Wang, who was already in his late 70s or 80s, but did not have a single gray hair. Hearing this, the fat man was surprised. Maybe they just dyed their hair or did hair treatments. But in Fuang Hu's eyes, this was completely unnecessary. At the same time, Shen Lingxue lowered her head and thought, and then nodded in agreement with Fuang Hu. Haishui village was so small, and everyone knew each other. Village chief Wang was an old-fashioned man, and there was really no need for him to dye his hair. Moreover, in order to buy hair dye, one had to go all the way to the town which was a few hours drive from Corner City, and it was too much trouble. After saying this, she looked at the three people, her expression serious. The three newcomers should sleep in the same room, and it was best to take turns keeping watch. Before she could finish speaking, Fuang Hu suddenly stood up, and walked out. This sudden action made Shen Lingxue suspicious. Seeing this, Zhao Hao hurriedly asked, Hey, Mr. Jun, where are you going? Aren't you going to sleep with us? What if you encounter a ghost by yourself? But Fuang Hu did not answer, and walked out of the room on his own. Because compared to encountering a ghost by himself, he was more worried that if everyone gathered together, it would prevent the paranormal event from appearing which would prevent the paranormal event from appearing. Moreover, the thing that made him most suspicious was that ever since he had entered Haishui village, Fuang Hu had discovered that there was not a single paranormal event here. After observing, he went into the room, lay on the bed, and fell into deep thought. Because there were no paranormal events, Fuang Hu had only encountered such a situation once, and that was the paranormal event at Qingshan Mental Hospital. Because the paranormal event had integrated with reality, the paranormal event had also transformed from nothingness into something tangible. Could it be that Haishui Village was also a paranormal event? But the paranormal events were not coming out. However, there was no phone signal in the mental hospital. But here, although it was a mountainous area, the signal was weak, but it was still there. Carrying this question, Fuang Hu quickly fell asleep. At midnight, around 3 a.m., the sound of dripping water rang in Fuang Hu's ears. In his daze, he suddenly felt disoriented, and the surroundings seemed to be getting colder and colder. Suddenly, Fuang Hu opened his eyes wide, and then sat up abruptly, looking around. Is it here? In front of him was a pitch black, and he could not see anything at all. But the strangest thing was that he vaguely felt that the bed was moving slowly, and there was also the sound of running water. At this moment, he suddenly realized something, and hurriedly grabbed the phone on the bed, and then turned on the phone's flashlight to shine. The dazzling light pierced through the night, illuminating the scene under the bed. What appeared before his eyes was the river water. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was extremely surprised, and immediately made a judgment in his heart. This is the Haishui River and there were a few dark shadows around him. He only saw him shine the flashlight in that direction, and found out that it was Shen Lingxue. Zhao Hao and the others were fast asleep. When the light shone over, Shen Lingxue woke up immediately, and then sat up on the bed vigilantly. Who is it? Hearing this, Fuang Hu calmly replied, It's me. At this moment, Shen Lingxue's expression suddenly changed, and she hurriedly hugged her chest and questioned, When did you come into my room? What do you want to do? Fuang Hu was in no hurry, and shook his phone. Look at the situation clearly before you speak. Then he shouted towards Zhao Hao and the fat man, Hey, and wake up. 
At the same time, Shen Lingxue saw everything clearly, and her expression immediately changed drastically, and she also hurriedly took out her phone, and turned on the flashlight. Looking around, it was pitch black, and the bottom of the bed was water. Shen Lingxue was puzzled. Where is this? What's going on? At this moment, Zhao Hao rubbed his eyes, and woke up from his dream. And Tuan, what's wrong? Suddenly, a black shadow rushed towards him, and his mouth opened in surprise. Damn it. It turned out that the fat man was so frightened by the sight around him that he didn't know what to do. He panicked and hugged Zhao Hao beside him, as if he was holding onto a life-saving straw. Where is this? Aren't we sleeping? Why did we suddenly appear on the river? This doesn't make sense. Even the strong Zhao Hao was frightened by this sudden action. Fatty, don't move around. With your weight, if you move around, the bed will flip over. And Tuan, save me. But at this moment, Fuang Hu didn't pay attention to him, but calmly observed the scene around him. He quickly realized that this was the Haishui River. The paranormal event has appeared, and we are moving towards the center of the Haishui River. Immediately afterwards, he shone the flashlight towards the center of the Haishui River, and could vaguely see a black and deep whirlpool, like a giant abyss that wanted to swallow them. Seeing this, Zhao Hao and the fat man's expressions changed drastically, and they immediately hugged each other. It's a whirlpool. Let's run away quickly. The fat man panicked and replied, how can we run away? It's all water around us. Then the two of them started arguing again. It's okay. I can swim. The fat man immediately scolded. What do you mean you can swim? What if there are paranormal events waiting for you to jump into the water? Hearing the quarrel, Shen Lingxue felt like her head was about to explode, and her face turned pale at this moment, full of anger. The next second, she angrily shouted at the two of them, shut up for me. None of you are allowed to go into the water. Use your hands to paddle. So Zhao Hao and the fat man immediately separated, and each of them started paddling on one side. Fuang Hu stood by and watched calmly, but in his eyes, using their hands to paddle was a stupid thing to do. A paranormal event could silently transfer people to the Haishui River, and how could it be so easy for people to leave? I can only see the fat man paddling with his hands non-stop, but there was really no sign of movement. Immediately afterwards, he looked at Zhao Hao in panic, and said in a low voice, no way. I've been paddling for a long time, but I can't see any movement. Is there something in the water that's pulling us? Hearing this, Zhao Hao's heart filled with fear. Just as he finished speaking, Shen Lingxue, who was beside him, immediately interrupted his train of thought. This paranormal event can control water, and the Haishui River is its home ground, so you must not go into the water. Moreover, although I am the one with the highest combat power in the team, my firepower is in conflict with water, and is very limited, so I'm afraid that I can only protect myself. Hearing this, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu out of habit. And Tuan, what should we do now? This whirlpool is getting closer and closer. Suddenly, Zhao Hao's expression changed, and the panic from just now immediately turned into curiosity. And Tuan, what are you doing? I can only see Fuang Hu taking out everything from his backpack, including ropes, engineer shovels, pliers, sickles, and all sorts of other tools that were ready to be used. At this moment, Fuang Hu took the rope and the engineer shovel, and connected the two things together. Then he stood up, turned the tool in his hand, and at the same time observed the surroundings, looking for a suitable throwing point. The next second, he suddenly threw the engineer shovel out. The engineer shovel carried the rope like an arrow leaving the bowstring, and quickly flew forward, and with great accuracy, it landed on the trunk of the tree, and got caught in the middle of the branches. Then he tried to pull it hard a few times, and after confirming that it was secure, he immediately turned his head to look at the other three people. Come closer, and hold onto my bed. As they grabbed the rope and slowly moved, Shen Lingxue suddenly discovered that a paranormal event was pulling the bed, and the bed was constantly sinking, and they were all falling into the water. At this moment, seeing that the distance to the shore was only three meters, Zhao Hao immediately smiled and said, and Tuan, I really have to rely on you. But at this moment, Shen Lingxue suddenly discovered something unusual, and she exclaimed in surprise, the whirlpool in the center has disappeared. Hearing this, everyone looked back, and everyone showed a look of panic, while Fuang Hu thought calmly. Expressions were full of fear. Fuang Hu, on the other hand, remained calm and thoughtful. The whirlpool is most likely the hiding place of the paranormal event, but now that the whirlpool has disappeared, it means that it may have bypassed us. However, this possibility is not high, so there is only one other possibility, which is that it has come to us. Hearing this, Zhao Hao immediately let go of the rope in fear, and shouted something in a panic. The next second, everyone suddenly felt their bodies sinking, or to be more precise, the bed was sinking. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue's expression changed drastically, 
This paranormal event is pulling the bed. She hurriedly shone the flashlight into the water. The black water seemed to be able to swallow the light, and she couldn't see the situation at all. She could only vaguely see that under the water, there seemed to be something with black hair that was even blacker than the river water. At this moment, Shen Lingxue clenched her white hands, and a bright and hot flame appeared in her hand. With a loud bang, she threw the flame towards the river. The river water immediately boiled, and countless hot water vapor rose up. However, it had no effect, and the bed continued to sink. At this moment, the bed had sunk more than halfway, and was about to be submerged. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue was unwilling, and she didn't want to die here like this, so she kept throwing flames into the water. But the attacks on the water's surface did not affect the paranormal event at all, and she could only watch as the bed continued to sink. Finally, everyone's bed was completely submerged, and everyone fell into the water. At this moment, the fat man struggled in the water, and kept taking sips of the cold river water. Help me, I can't swim. Immediately afterwards, in his panic, the fat man hugged Zhao Hao tightly. Zhao Hao immediately felt short of breath. Damn fat man, don't drag me down. Seeing this, Fu Wang Hu chopped the fat man on the back of the neck, and the fat man immediately passed out. Zhao Hao was finally able to lift his head above the water, and then gasped for breath. With his other hand, he pulled the fat man along. Damn it, the fat man almost got me killed. Thank you, Antoine. Then everyone followed the rope and headed towards the shore, while the fat man was tied up with the rope. But at this moment, Zhao Hao discovered that Fuang Hu had suddenly stopped. Seeing this, Zhao Hao asked in a panic, Antoine, aren't we going to go ashore? At the same time, Shen Lingxue asked curiously, why? We've already fallen into the water, but the paranormal event still hasn't made a move. Hearing this, Fuang Hu immediately turned around, and stared at Shen Lingxue. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue blushed, because she was now exposed. The next second, Shen Lingxue's face turned bright red, and she hurriedly covered her chest and asked, what are you looking at? Fuang Hu calmly said, Shen Lingxue, use your fire. Water restrains fire, and this water paranormal event is wary of your abilities. Only when your abilities are exhausted, will it appear. Only then will we have a chance to deal with it. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue immediately became scared. Then what will happen after my psychic energy is exhausted, and the paranormal event appears? None of you have the ability to fight it head on. As soon as she finished speaking, Fuang Hu looked at her with a serious expression. It's okay, I'll take action. I've seen a glimmer of hope. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue hesitated for a moment, but in the end, she did as she was told. She raised her right hand and snapped her fingers. With a loud bang, a bright and hot flame burst forth. At the same time, Zhao Hao beside her said comfortably, it's so warm, it's like taking a hot spring bath. As Shen Lingxue continued to burn the fire, ten minutes later, she finally couldn't take it anymore. She said tiredly, no good, my psychic energy is exhausted. The flame gradually died down, and the surroundings were once again plunged into darkness. All that could be heard around was the sound of running water, and there were no other sounds. Fuang Hu remained calm his eyes fixed on his surroundings. As soon as Shen Lingxie's psychic energy was exhausted, Fuang Hu focused his attention on observing his surroundings. At this moment, Zhao Hao suddenly shouted in panic, Water, there's something in the water. The water paranormal event is here. Hearing this, Fuang Hu immediately turned to look in the direction Zhao Hao was pointing. He saw that in the pitch black water, there were several black things that looked like snakes crawling. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue, whose psychic energy was exhausted, looked at Fuang Hu with some worry. What should we do now? Fuang Hu with some worry. What should we do now? At the same time, Zhao Hao looked at Fuang Hu with a surprised expression. An Tuan has always been very calm, but why do I feel like he's excited now? Like a lecher who hasn't been relieved in a long time. It's hard to see the provocative scene of a woman who pretends to be noble, but this is not an illusion. At this moment, Fuang Hu was really very excited. You could see in his eyes, that there seemed to be an extra glimmer of extreme joy that was being suppressed. He didn't hesitate, and dove straight into the water. Underwater, everything was pitch black before Fuang Hu's eyes. He could only vaguely see something like a water snake swimming towards him at high speed. Immediately, he activated his bloodline. His right eye suddenly turned a mass of red, so dense that it covered the entire white of his eye, leaving only one eye that looked like a copper coin floating. Through the perspective of his bloodline, Fuang Hu was suddenly shocked by the sight before him. It turned out that the pitch black water snakes were actually hair, and this hair was extremely similar to the hair that he had seen on the village chief before. 
This hair was extremely similar to the hair he had seen on the village chief earlier. They were all pitch black and shiny. These strands of hair continued to advance towards Fuang Hu, as if they wanted to wrap around Fuang Hu and drag him to the bottom of the water. But how could Fuang Hu give it a chance? A flash of silver light flashed in his hand, and a scalpel exuding a cold and strange aura quickly slashed towards the strands of hair. After a few slashes, the strands of hair were immediately cut off. But after these strands of hair were cut off, they were like several tentacles, suddenly contracting at an extremely fast speed and diving to the bottom of the river. Seeing this, Fuang Hu was very angry. He hated this kind of paranormal event the most, not only pretending to be a god or a ghost, but also fleeing when attacked, making it impossible to enjoy the feeling of killing a paranormal event. At this moment, Fuang Hu did not hesitate, and immediately dived to the bottom of the river. He had activated his psychic energy, and now his body was as nimble as a happy fish. He chased in the direction the strands of hair had contracted. And finally, a glimmer of joy flashed in Fuang Hu's eyes. I found you. Let's see where you can run this time. This time, just as he reached the bottom of the lake, the body of the paranormal event appeared before his eyes. It was a female corpse, a female corpse wearing a white dress, her skin pale white, her face unrecognizable, for her face was so swollen and rotten that it was unbearable to look at, and even her eyes and mouth had rotted away, leaving only two blue eye sockets. But this female corpse had long, shiny black hair, and the hair was very long. The hair of the female corpse floated at the bottom of the water, spreading out everywhere and wriggling constantly. From a distance, they looked like a dense mass of food. Seeing this, Fuang Hu became even more excited. His bloodline even flashed a red light. He charged straight towards the female corpse, and at the same time brandished the scalpel in his hand, continuously slashing at the female corpse's hair. Perhaps Fuang Hu's actions angered the female corpse, and her hair, like tens of thousands of water snakes, zigzagged towards Fuang Hu. But Fuang Hu was not afraid, and simply opened his right eye, and immediately emitted a strange red light. Under the illumination of the blood red eyes, the female corpse seemed to have been hit hard, and even let out a miserable scream. The hair that had been covering everything rushed forward, as if it had been frightened by something, and suddenly contracted. At the same time, Fuang Hu was feeling dizzy at this moment, because holding his breath underwater for too long had caused him to start to run out of oxygen. But he did not stop, and instead took advantage of the female corpse's moment of pain, to try to swim in front of the female corpse, because he had to make the paranormal event feel pain. But right at this moment, the female corpse seemed to sense the danger approaching, and with her pale white, swollen hand, quickly grabbed Fuang Hu's neck. At this moment, the female corpse squeezed his neck tightly, cold and hard as iron pliers. A sharp pain and a feeling of suffocation struck. But this not only did not stop Fuang Hu's actions, but instead made him feel even more excited. At this moment, Fuang Hu's expression became even more ferocious and terrifying. The next second, there was a swishing sound, and Fuang Hu viciously brandished the scalpel in his hand. The sharp blade of the knife immediately brushed past the female corpse's forehead. Immediately afterwards, she seemed to cut tofu, and slid down her forehead, her eyebrows, the bridge of her nose, her mouth. These places immediately cracked open, creating a wound several centimeters deep. Fuang Hu even saw rotting brain tissue and white bone in the wound. With just one blow, under the blessing of the pain ability, the female corpse could not even cry out. The hands that had been strangling his neck also unconsciously let go, and became motionless. Seeing this, Fuang Hu thought to himself, I haven't even used the full power of pain yet. It only took two slashes to kill her. A paranormal event that can move water is so weak. But before Fuang Hu could react, the female corpse's head separated from her body, and swam away quickly. It was like a black ball floating, and its speed was extremely fast. In just a moment, it disappeared without a trace. Seeing this, the murderous aura in Fuang Hu's eyes flared up again. How interesting, it turns out that this is the body of the water ghost. The thud, Fuang Hu jumped out of the water. Fuang Hu jumped out of the water. Zhao Hao and the others quickly looked back, and saw that Fuang Hu had just breathed a sigh of relief. At this moment, Fuang Hu took a few deep breaths of air, and only then did he calm down a little. Immediately afterwards, without waiting for everyone to ask, he spoke first, it's a pity that the paranormal event escaped. Get to shore first. After saying that, everyone pulled the rope again, and carefully moved towards the shore. As for this fat guy, he was also dragged ashore by Zhao Hao and Shen Lingxue, and it was with great difficulty that they managed to drag him ashore. As soon as they reached the shore, 
Shen Lingxue immediately applied artificial respiration by pressing on the fat guy's chest. Then she looked at Zhao Hao with a look of panic. Save him first. Lu Suai needs artificial respiration. Who will do it? As soon as these words were spoken, Zhao Hao instinctively took a step back, and then angrily pointed at him, refuting why he would not do it. Just then, Fuang Hu walked up to the fat guy. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue was confused, and a strange look crossed her face. Immediately afterwards, her small face turned pink, and she looked at Fuang Hu. Fuang Hu. He didn't have time to finish speaking. When Fuang Hu gave the fat guy a hard slap in the face, pressed down on it, and at the same time increased the power of pain a little. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue was very surprised and confused. Immediately afterwards, the fat guy vomited water. When the pain ability took effect, the fat guy's heart also began to beat strongly. The next second, the fat guy held his face and let out a cry of pain, and immediately jumped up from the ground. I thought someone had hit me. It hurt like hell. At this moment, Shen Lingxue's expression was a little unsightly, and she looked at the fat guy angrily and asked, were you just pretending to faint? As soon as these words were spoken, Zhao Hao did not mind making a big deal out of it, and shouted, well done, you fat bastard. Were you trying to trick the investigator into kissing you? Seeing this, the fat guy immediately cried out, pretending to faint? Didn't. I really fainted. At the same time, Fuang Hu calmly looked at the river water. Just now, under the water, I saw a female corpse. After I attacked her, her hair separated itself and escaped. So I guess that the hair is the body of the paranormal event, and that the female corpse was just being controlled by it. At this point, Fuang Hu emphasized, village chief, their hair is exactly the same as the hair of the female corpse. We won't be able to go back tonight. As soon as he finished speaking, Shen Lingxue lowered her head and pondered, the hair of the female corpse, then we'll set up camp here tonight, wait until morning when my psychic powers recover, and we'll take care of this water ghost, since this water ghost can be repelled by an idiot like you, then its combat power probably isn't very high, just think of a way to lure it ashore, and I'll use fire to take care of it, as for Fuang Hu, he looked like he was looking at an idiot, standing to the side without saying a word, immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu took out his phone, and called Su Ka Han, very quickly, the phone was connected, on the other end of the line, Su Ka Han's soft and sleepy voice came through, hello, hello, is this brother Fuang, it's so late now, you, Fuang Hu didn't wait for her to finish speaking, and interrupted her directly, notify your superiors immediately, and send a special action team to Black Water Village, Ishui Village, request to bring the largest capacity water pump, the more the better, hearing this, Su Ka Han asked curiously, brother Fuang, what do we need a water pump for in this urgent mission, as soon as these words were spoken, Fuang Hu immediately became serious, you don't need to know the reason, now follow my instructions immediately, if there are any problems, find Wang to high, and just say that I told you to do it. After saying that, Fuang Hu hung up the phone directly. At the same time, Shen Lingxue kept questioning Fuang Hu beside her. What did you mean by that phone call? Do you look down on me? Immediately afterwards, Fuang Hu turned to explain to the other three, in any case, we're relying on the investigation bureau now, and they can mobilize a lot of manpower and resources. Of course we have to make good use of it. The Black Water River is only deep in the middle, and it's very difficult to hide in the other sections. So we just need to block the flow at the upstream and down downstream, and then pump out all the river water. Hearing this, the three people were immediately stunned, and exclaimed in surprise, so that's how it can be done. At this moment, Shen Lingxue looked embarrassed, and subconsciously looked away. Because of my inertial thinking, I subconsciously thought that only spiritual masters could deal with ghosts. Now, scientific and technological means are actually much more economical and efficient than letting spiritual masters take risks. However, Fuang Hu was very indifferent. Because in his eyes, he didn't care whether Yu Ling was an ordinary person. As long as it could make the ghost feel pain, then any means could be used. Time passed quickly, and in the early morning of the next day, everyone gradually woke up. Fuang Hu had already been standing by their side. At this moment, when he saw that Shen Lingxue and the other three had woken up, he immediately put on the sunglasses that he had prepared. Then he led Shen Lingxue and the other three towards Blackwater Village. When they entered Blackwater Village, they immediately attracted the attention of countless villagers. However, the gazes of these villagers were mainly curious, and there was no hostility at all. The two women beside them saw Shen Lingxue's clothes, and began to whisper, these clothes are so beautiful, and her hair, it's so beautiful, my dry hair is about to fall out, hearing this, Shen Lingxue looked helpless, and her cheeks flushed, 
However, the hair of the villagers was jet black and shiny, as if they had grown up eating black sesame seeds. Seeing this scene, Zhao Hao and the fat guy trembled in fear. Their hair was exactly the same as the village chiefs. Could it be that the villagers here are all ghosts? At the same time, near the Black Water River, a special action team dressed in combat uniforms and carrying M416 rifles, had tightly surrounded the Black Water River and pulled up a cordon around it to prevent outsiders from coming to sabotage it. Another team inside the cordon had already begun to take action, and were laboriously digging a pit with shovels in order to prepare to divert the water. They had a clear division of labor, some people were pulling bundles of plastic pipes, while others were installing water pumps and generators. It was obvious that they had made precise and professional calculations to divert the river water to the nearby lowlands. At this moment, Fuang Hu and the others had already arrived. From afar, they could already hear two people arguing with the action team. They saw two people, a man and a woman, both wearing mountaineering jackets and backpacks, looking like they were on a trip. At the same time, Fuang Hu had already arrived behind them. At this moment, Fuang Hu took out his ID. Investigator from the administration bureau, Fuang Hu. Fuang Hu's sudden voice startled a male tourist. As for the members of the action team, their expressions immediately changed, and they ran over to Fuang Hu. Investigator Fuang, Special Action Team Number 10 reporting for duty. Fuang Hu nodded. Seeing this, the man and woman came over. As soon as the woman opened her mouth, an arrogant and shrewish tone came out. Are you their commander? What right do you have to? But Fuang Hu didn't give her a chance to finish speaking. He directly walked through the cordon and ordered the members to drive them away. The special action team immediately took action, and two members went out to escort the man and woman out. The man was quite obedient, and didn't resist at all. On the contrary, the woman pointed at Fuang Hu and kept yelling, You guys just wait. I'm going to complain about you. Do you guys know who I am? My father is Zhang or he. When the man and woman gradually disappeared from sight, Huang Hu turned to ask the special action team, have you brought enough equipment? The members of the special action team replied in unison that they had brought enough. Hearing the satisfactory answer, Fuang Hu began to order them to start pumping water. Following Fuang Hu's order, the sound of machinery roared. Under the action of dozens of water pumps, the water level of the river dropped very quickly. Seeing this, Zhao Hao was so surprised that his jaw dropped. Are these the professionals? Their work efficiency is really amazing. As for Fuang Hu, he remained calm. If firearms were not significantly effective against ghosts, and I'm afraid that spiritual masters would have nothing to do. After three hours of continuous pumping, the water level of the river had been drained, revealing the mud at the bottom of the river. However, when the water level had been drained, the water ghost still did not appear. Suddenly, Zhao Hao stared at a spot in the mud and shouted, a corpse. There's a female corpse there. They saw that under the mud in the middle of the river, there was a female corpse with a bald head, and half of her body was buried. Seeing this, the fat guy was extremely shocked. Damn it, who is so cruel? Who is so cruel? He cut her face into four pieces. At this moment, Fuang Hu didn't answer, but directly opened his bloodline. Taking advantage of the moment when everyone was paying attention to the corpse and thanks to the cover of his sunglasses, he used his blood copper to search through the mud. A moment later, with the assistance of the blood copper, Fuang Hu quickly discovered the target. At this moment, the blood copper's field of vision stopped at a small frog in the middle of the river. And in that small frog, there were a few strands of black hair. Seeing this, he immediately closed his blood copper pointed at the small frog, and said to Shen Lingxue, use your fire to attack that frog. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue did not hesitate, and directly followed Fuang Hu's instructions. She raised her palm, and a bright purple flame appeared. The temperature around her also suddenly increased. Immediately after, she threw the flame in her hand towards the position that Fuang Hu had indicated. At this moment, the flame was like a long dragon, and it charged straight towards the puddle. Only a loud bang was heard, and the flame burst into a fierce blade and a wave of heat spread everywhere. The water in the puddle instantly boiled and evaporated, and even the moist mud beside it began to crack. At the same time, a shrill scream suddenly came from the bottom of the puddle. Immediately after, a mass of burnt black hair with a pungent smell struggled out of the ground and whipped frantically into the air. The mass of burnt black hair was directly thrown out, as strong as a lizard with its tail cut off. Zhao Hao was terrified and shouted, the ghost has appeared. As for Fuang Hu, he calmly put his hands in his pockets, and calmly stared at the hair ghost. At this moment, the hair ghost seemed to be angered, and its hair began to spread rapidly, looking like a spider web spreading. 
5 meters, 10 meters, 20 meters, it seemed to want to cover everyone there. At this moment, Shen Lingxue made her move. She looked at the hair ghost and gritted her teeth. Last night, I was soaked in the cold lake water all night, and I must take revenge. She raised her hand, and condensed streams of flames, and continuously shot them at the hair ghost. But at that moment, a crisp gunshot rang out. Hearing the sound, Fuang Hu frowned, and instinctively felt that something was wrong. It was obvious that they were well-trained soldiers, who knew that guns were ineffective against ghosts. So why did they load their guns without orders? Filled with doubt, Fuang Hu calmly glanced at the special action team. He saw that the muzzles of the special action team's guns were all pointed at Fuang Hu and the others. Seeing this, Zhao Hao shouted loudly, Hey, 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 what are you guys trying to do? Are you trying to kill people? At this moment, Shen Lingxue angrily rushed forward. If you don't want to die, then put down your weapons. I'm warning you. Before she could finish speaking, a member of the special action team shouted sternly, Quick, quick, get out of the way, we can't control our bodies anymore. As soon as he finished speaking, everyone on the special action team pulled the trigger. Only the sound of gunfire was heard, and the fiery bullets shot towards Fuang Hu and the others. In the blink of an eye, Fuang Hu and the others were shot into a sieve. Just now, Fuang Hu had been shot to death by the special action team, and the whole group was lying in a pool of blood. However, he quickly retaliated. As time passed, the plot continued to develop at the Blackwater River. At this moment, he looked at the two backpackers. The woman was scolding Fuang Hu. Are you their commander? What gives you the right? But Fuang Hu didn't pay any attention. He looked at the other two people and fell into contemplation. No matter how he looked at them, the two people in front of him were ordinary people, and there was nothing unusual about them. But just in case, he decided to use his own measures. Immediately after, a silver light flashed, and the woman's voice suddenly stopped. Not only that, the whole world suddenly became quiet. Shen Lingxue and the others, as well as the special action team, all stared at Fuang Hu and the two backpackers. They saw that the male backpacker was lying in a pool of blood with his eyes wide open, and there was a scalpel clearly embedded in the woman's fair neck. As the woman fell, Fuang Hu pulled the scalpel out of her neck. But at this moment, he was a little confused. He didn't know if it was because he had acted too quickly and they hadn't had time to react, or if he had guessed wrong. They were just ordinary people, and yet they didn't resist at all. He held the scalpel, looked at the two people who had fallen, and thought again. But the timing of their appearance was too coincidental. Why would ordinary people be traveling in such a remote place? Just then, Shen Lingxie's angry voice broke the silence in his contemplation, Fuang Hu, what are you doing? Hearing this, Fuang Hu stood up and briefly explained that they had a problem. Then he ordered the special action team, to immediately disarm all weapons, start pumping water. As soon as these words were uttered, Chen Lingxue immediately spoke up to stop them, don't be in a hurry. Fuang Hu, I strongly suspect that you have lost control now. You'd better explain it to me. At this moment, Fuang Hu calmly stared at Shen Lingxue. I said they have a problem, so they definitely have a problem. Seeing this, Zhao Hao seemed to have understood something, and he hesitantly spoke up. Brother Tuan, have you realized it? At this moment, the members of the special action team looked at each other. Well, there are investigators here, so there shouldn't be any problems. There shouldn't be any problems. After saying this, all the members of the special action team disarmed themselves, and threw their weapons aside. A few hours later, the water level in the central area of the Blackwater River had dried up again. This time, Fuang Hu did not use the blood copper to check, but directly pointed to a pool of water, and ordered Shen Lingxue to attack the pool of water, quickly destroy the hair ghost. Shen Lingxue looked at Fuang Hu suspiciously, and then began to work. She raised her hand, and the flames in her hand shot straight at the pool of water he had pointed to. Just like before, the hair ghost was once again knocked out of the water and rushed towards Shen Lingxue. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue was not intimidated, and her eyes were filled with anger. The temperature of the flames in her hand seemed to rise with her anger. She raised two fireballs high above her head, and then suddenly merged them into a much larger fireball. With Shen Lingxue's shout of die, the large fireball shot towards the hair ghost like a small sun. There was only a loud bang, and the hair ghost was completely swallowed by the fireball. It burned fiercely until only ashes remained. 
Ashes remained. Seeing this, a glimmer of joy flashed in Shen Lingxue's eyes. But suddenly, a scream from behind made her lose her joy. Shen Lingxue turned her head suspiciously, and saw that the members of the special action team were like wooden puppets, slowly advancing towards her. At the same time, Stiff voices came from their mouths, be careful, we can't control our bodies anymore. Seeing this, Fuang Hu immediately guessed. The hair ghost was dead, but the control over the team members had not been lifted. It seemed that what controlled them was not the hair ghost or other hair ghosts, but other clones that were not completely dead. Immediately afterwards, he moved like a phantom among the special action team. Countless silver lights flashed, and in just a moment, all the members of the team had a bloodstain on their legs. The bloodstain was very faint at first, almost invisible, but just a second later, it spread, until blood gushed out. Then the people who had been slashed fell down one after another. However, the strange thing was that these people, although they had lost their ability to move, did not seem to feel any pain. Feel any pain. They crawled on the ground and tried to kill Fuang Hu and the others. Seeing this, Fuang Hu directly used a hand chop to hit the neck of a member of the special action team. At the same time, he ordered Zhao Hao and the others, knock them out, tie them all up. Hearing this, Zhao Hao and the fat man immediately rushed forward, and ran towards the members of the special action team. Just before, the special action team had been controlled by the hair ghost, so all of them had been tied up by Ki Van. At this moment, the fat man and Zhao Hao were panting. Damn it, it's a good thing that brother Tuan told them to disarm themselves first, or else we would have been shot to death. It really pays to listen to brother Tuan. At the same time, Fuang Hu was making a phone call. It's best if the bureau can arrange for a professional to conduct a comprehensive examination of the members who participated in this operation. A moment later, after giving instructions on everything, Fuang Hu looked at the unconscious team and pondered. Why was the special action team still being controlled? Could it be that besides the backpacking couple and the hair ghost in the Blackwater River, there were others involved? After thinking for a while, Fuang Hu looked towards the Blackwater Village, Fuang Hu looked towards the Blackwater Village, and calmly said, let's go back to Blackwater Village and see. Outside Blackwater Village, Fuang Hu looked at the villagers with long black hair walking around, and fell into deep thought. Normally, after the hair ghost was destroyed, the villagers' hair would return to normal. At this time, Zhao Hao, who was standing beside him, was trembling with fear. The more I look at these villagers, the more afraid I become. Shen Lingxue, who was behind him, showed a look of disdain. At the same time, the village chief was walking towards Fuang Hu with his back bent. Seeing this, Fuang Hu seemed to have made a decision. Faced with the unusual, the best way is to kill everything unusual until everything returns to normal. Immediately afterwards, he also walked towards the village chief. Fuang Hu calmly looked at the village chief's hair. Village chief, may I ask how you have taken care of your hair? You are so old, but your hair is still blacker than that of young people. The village chief looked surprised, and then narrowed his eyes at Fuang Hu. This city boy really knows how to joke. This old man's hair has been gray for more than 10 years. As soon as these words were spoken, the corners of Fuang Hu's mouth suddenly curled up. On his fair, calm face, a sinister and excited smile suddenly appeared, revealing his snow-white teeth. The abnormality has been confirmed. Feel the pain. After saying that, a silver light flashed, a sharp scalpel cut through the air, and fresh blood immediately spurted out. At the same time, Shen Lingxie's terrified scream came from afar, slow down. The village chief's head was cut off easily, and was now slowly sliding to one side. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue angrily said to Fuang Hu, What do you want to do after all? But before she could finish speaking, the anger on her face disappeared immediately, replaced by a look of astonishment. The village chief's neck was not bleeding at all, and the wound inside was not flesh and blood, but strands of severed hair. The hair was jet black and shiny. Seeing this, Yes. Apart from Fuang Hu who remained calm as water, the other three were stunned, their faces filled with disbelief. At this moment, the village chief suddenly flew into the air, and the surrounding air immediately froze, as if it was enveloped by a silent terror, and fell into silence. Meanwhile, the villagers who were walking on the road and those who were working in the fields, began to emit a demonic aura from their bodies, and they all began to change. The long black hair on their heads also began to grow, like small black snakes wriggling. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue realized that something was wrong. Damn it, these villagers are all ghost slaves. To be able to control so many ghost slaves, it must be at least a C-level ghost or even a B-level ghost. The intelligence is wrong. Everyone be careful. 
Immediately afterwards, countless villagers let out terrifying screams, and then rushed towards them like zombies, baring their teeth and glaring as if they wanted to tear them to pieces. Seeing this, Fuang Hu suddenly came to his senses. No wonder there are no ghosts in Blackwater Village, because there is not a single living person in the entire village who can be eaten. At this moment, Shen Lingxie's expression was extremely heavy. Expression was extremely heavy. I'll use the flames to clear the way. Fuang Hu, if I'm not mistaken, your scalpel is the ghost crier, right? These hairs are very strong. So at the moment, only the two of us can deal with them. Lu Suai, Wang Hao, stick close to us. At Shen Lingxie's command, two blazing fireballs were thrown by her into the middle of the ghosts. The ghost slaves in front of them were instantly blown up. Fuang Hu kept waving his scalpel, and with each swing, a ghost slave was cut in half. But they had only rushed out a few dozen meters when they were surrounded by more and more ghost slaves. Immediately afterwards, a scream of terror rang out. It was the fat woman. Several strands of hair were seen wrapped around her, drilling into her mouth and nose. As she tried to cry for help, I don't want to die. Save me. Before she could finish speaking, Lu Suai had already rushed over. As for Shen Lingxue, her spiritual power had been completely exhausted, and there was not a single drop of flame left. However, without her spiritual power, she was like a martial artist who had lost all his internal energy. In just a moment, countless black hairs had wrapped around her. In the same way, countless black snakes kept drilling into his mouth and nose. Just a moment later, Shen Lingxue was also captured. At the same time, Zhao Hao was also tightly bound by the hairs. Countless thick hairs, like a large net, swallowed Zhao Zhao Hao in an instant. He frantically cried for help, brother too, save me. But as the hair grew more and more, before Zhao Hao could finish speaking, he had already died on the spot. Only Fuang Hu was left. But Fuang Hu's defeat was only a matter of time. Moreover, with only five spiritual powers, in terms of endurance, he was not even as good as Shen Lingxue, although he still had a trump card. But if he could not find the mastermind behind it, using the trump card now would also mean that this paranormal event could not be completely resolved. Faced with such a desperate situation, Fuang Hu remained as calm as ever. But he did not want to die an ugly death like Shen Lingxue and the others. So when he felt that his spiritual power was about to run out, he immediately raised the scalpel in his hand. As long as I kill myself fast enough, as long as I kill myself fast enough, then no ghost will be able to kill me. He then stabbed himself in the forehead with the scalpel. With each paranormal event eliminated, the number of corpses increased. After recovering, this time Fuang Hu decided not to act according to common sense, because investigating the truth was the job of the detectives. As for the paranormal events, he only killed them and did not bury them. He was only seen taking out his phone to call Su Ka Han. Su Ka Han, notify the special action team, buy all the gasoline from the nearby gas stations, then place it at the entrance of the village and return to the investigation bureau. After saying that, he hung up the phone directly. As for Shen Lingxue and the others, they immediately looked at him with surprise. Three confused faces asked in unison, Gasoline, what are you going to do? Hearing this, Fuang Hu gave a creepy smile. We're going to burn this village down. Right at that moment, in a secret jungle near Blackwater Village, the two women who had appeared before, now one was kneeling on the ground as a chair, and one was kneeling in front of a woman. The man and woman were seen licking her snow white legs, while the woman in the long dress muttered angrily, I worked so hard to let you two puppets sow discord in the special action team, and they were almost under our control. And in the chaos, I killed those spirit masters. But I didn't expect that Fuang Hu would let them go back directly. Now we have to find another opportunity to strike. I don't know how much longer we have to stay in this deep mountain and old forest. It's really pissing me off. Speaking of this, he immediately kicked the man and woman hard in the face. But the man and woman did not react. Only a dull look with lifeless eyes, like a log lying on the ground. At the same time, the woman in the long dress lifted her skirt, spread her legs wide and shouted angrily at the man and woman, help me relieve this anger. Hearing this, the man and woman replied stiffly, yes, master. Then they crawled to the front of the woman. Next, the man and woman raised their heads, and began to help the woman in the long dress relieve her anger. At this moment, the woman in the long dress, after being relieved, felt a sense of comfort like a tide washing over her, tide, with a look of pleasure, exclaimed, tell me, why doesn't Fuang Hu just die obediently? At the same time, Fuang Hu began to check the gasoline. It must be said that the special action team was very responsible, carrying out orders absolutely, and yet they brought nearly a hundred barrels of gasoline and diesel. At this moment, he looked at the gasoline in front of him, and calmly said, 
I have already sensed it. All the villagers of Blackwater Village are now ghost slaves of the ghost. There is not a single living person. Only by finding the origin of the ghost, can this event be completely resolved. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue and the others were extremely shocked. If what you say is true, then this ghost could be a B-level. We should report to the investigation bureau and wait for assistance. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu looked helpless, standing still and not answering. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue asked in confusion, is something wrong? Fu Wang Hu turned his head back and looked at her calmly, I ask you, how many spirit masters are there in total in the investigation bureau? How many of them are new? How long do you think it will take for the higher ups to send someone? Moreover, has my ability ever made a mistake? Human life is only one. If I am not absolutely sure, I will not take the risk. Then he picked up a barrel of gasoline next to him. He began to pour out the gasoline with an expressionless face and said very calmly, Blackwater Village has no reason to exist anymore. Time passed very quickly. It was already 10 p.m. Fu Wang Hu and the others took advantage of the darkness to split up and act, pouring all the gasoline and diesel all over the village. A moment later, True Hao looked at Fu Wang Hu with a worried expression, Brother Tuan, we have also finished pouring the gasoline. Hearing this, Fu Wang Hu wiped his hands and said to Shen Lingxue, burn it. At this moment, Shen Lingxue hesitated slightly, but in the end, she chose to trust Fu Wang Hu. She was seen extending a slender, snow-white finger, and a small flame immediately appeared on the tip of her finger, and she flicked her finger down. The small flame immediately fell into the gasoline. With a loud bang, the gasoline immediately burst into flames, and the flames rose into the sky dot and the flames soared into the sky. In just a moment, a magnificent display of flames appeared before everyone's eyes. At this time, the trees, the houses, and so on, were all mercilessly devoured by the flames. Under the light of the towering flames, in an instant, the entire Blackwater village was as bright as day, feeling the waves of heat constantly coming. Fu Wang Hu and the others could not help but retreat a little, and looked at the raging flames burning in front of them, and whispered anxiously in their hearts, if we do something wrong, we will commit a great crime. At this moment, Fatty was a little restless, do you guys feel it's too quiet? Such a big fire, there is no scream, and no one runs out. But Fu Wang Hu ignored him, and calmly looked at the flames burning in Blackwater Village. The flames were reflected in his jet black eyes, constantly flickering, and even filled with anticipation, go away, go away, it's time to appear. At this moment, the entire Blackwater Village was completely engulfed in flames. Suddenly, an extremely oppressive roar sounded from within the raging flames. The voice was extremely penetrating. Oppressive roar sounded from within the fierce flames, causing even True Hao and the others, who were far away, to feel pain in their eardrums, holding their ears and groaning in pain. But Fu Wang Hu was very excited, grinning, taking off his sunglasses, revealing his excited, blood-red right eye. Are you finally willing to show up? I saw that under the towering flames, a woman slowly stepped out of the ruins, her hair growing longer and longer, and her voice was filled with anger. I didn't want to kill you at first, but you dared to destroy my home, so you must all die. I saw that she was thin, with rough skin, wearing a red floral dress, dressed like a rural woman. When she appeared, a terrifying, ghostly aura began to spread. In an instant, the sound of rolling waves could be heard from the direction of the Blackwater River. Suddenly, a horrifying sight appeared, a giant wave more than 10 meters high, as if pulled by some magical force, rose from the Blackwater River and rushed towards Blackwater Village. Immediately afterwards, the giant wave crashed down. Afterwards, the giant wave crashed down, like a giant dragon, quickly rushing towards Blackwater Village. The towering flames were extinguished in an instant. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue was extremely surprised, and hurriedly shouted to Fu Wang Hu and the others, he is not a ghost, but a level 2 exorcist. His ability is to control water, but his head is probably possessed by a ghost, and these ghost slaves are all controlled by him. At this moment, Fu Wang Hu gradually understood everything. It seems that last night, he was the one who transferred us to the Blackwater River, and then used the ghost to control the corpses. At the same time, the fierce woman raised her hand, kill them all. Following the woman's voice, the more than 100 ghost slaves beside her all screamed and rushed towards Fu Wang Hu and the others. Seeing this, Shen Lingxue asked worriedly, a level 2 exorcist plus more than 100 ghost slaves, Fu Wang Hu, do you think we can win? But where is the chance of winning? Faced with the attack of more than a hundred ghost slaves, Fu Wang Hu was not only not afraid, but also sneered, the chance of winning lies with me. After saying that, Fu Wang Hu began to think. Fu Wang Hu began to think, since he is an exorcist, 
the best solution is to choose to resurrect after death to mobilize heavy weapons. But that would be too boring and tasteless. I want to defeat him when he is at his strongest, using the strong ghost energy to invade his mind, thereby achieving the purpose of tempering, lighting up more spirituality, and enhancing my own strength. Only in this way can we make the ghosts all over the world suffer. At this moment, seeing the ghost slaves getting closer and closer, Fu Wang Hu finally pulled out his scalpel, but he did not attack the ghost, but suddenly stabbed Fatty. At this moment, Fatty's face showed a look of embarrassment, and immediately hugged his bleeding hand, and kept crying out in pain, damn it, what are you doing? At the same time, Fu Wang Hu directly threw the bronze candle lamp towards him, next, you guys are responsible for controlling the ghost slaves, I will find an opportunity to approach him and deal with him. Fatty instinctively caught it, and asked with a puzzled face, what is this, is it ghost energy again? At this moment, Fu Wang Hu explained while breaking through, the bronze candle lamp is used with blood that contains spirituality, can defend against ghosts. Fatty, I'll give you more to use. Hearing this, Fatty said in surprise, oh my god, is this the reason why you suddenly stabbed me? Do you think of me as a blood bag? At the same time, he used his bleeding right hand to cover the candle lamp tightly. When the blood came into contact with the candle lamp, the candle lamp seemed to come back to life and ignited naturally. The light emitted gradually covered everyone. At this moment, more than 100 ghost slaves had rushed in front of them. Fatty was so scared that his face turned pale, and he couldn't even speak. Immediately afterwards, he reached out and held the candle lamp. The next second, the ghosts screamed and rushed into the light of the candle lamp. But the light of the candle lamp was like sulfur uric acid, furiously eroding the bodies of the ghost slaves, following the countless harsh sizzling sounds. The hair that made up their bodies began to twist and deform, emitting black smoke. However, at this moment, Fatty couldn't laugh, because his face was turning pale at a speed visible to the naked eye, as if he had been hollowed out continuously for two, five hours. Hurry up, I can't stand it anymore. Can't hold on much longer. How much longer? Hearing this, Zhao Hao immediately cut his palm, and directly grabbed the candle lamp. It's coming soon. Fatty, hold on, I'll help you. At the same time, Fu Wang Hu rushed forward. A silver light flashed, cleanly and decisively cutting off the head of the ghost slave, and at the same time shouting to Shen Lingxue, quickly clear the way. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue did not hesitate, and suddenly raised his hands, and flames gradually rose. Immediately afterwards, the scorching flames seemed to turn into two rivers of fire, rising from the palms of his hands. At the same time, he raised his hands, and the flames above his head formed a giant torch like a small sun. At this moment, he raised the small torch with one hand, and said to Fu Wang Hu with a serious face, I can only do this, and the rest is up to you. Seeing that he was about to throw the small torch in his hand, suddenly, with a loud bang, a ton of cold water fell from the sky, directly extinguishing Shen Lingxie's small torch, and soaking him from head to toe. This unexpected free shower caught him off guard. He was directly slapped hard on the ground. His originally fluffy hair was now flat, and his exquisite makeup was also smudged. Most pitifully, he was slapped right into the mud, and the mud mixed with water to form a muddy paste. He struggled to get out of the mud, when the woman with black Black hair's deep and angry voice rang out, you damn bitch, do you think I'm just air? You dare to play with fire right in front of me. Hearing this, Shen Lingxue was furious, and he had never been so embarrassed. You stinky bitch, you dare? At the same time, a ton of water fell from the sky, extinguishing his flames once again, and at the same time slapping him hard on the ground. At this moment, the woman with black hair laughed strangely, as if seeing the beauty struggling like this made her very happy. What are you relying on to be so fair and clean, and to dare to pretend to be a savior in front of me? Go play in the mud. At the same time, Zhao Hao and Fatty each held a bronze candle lamp and were now completely exhausted, called out to Fu Wang Hu with difficulty, Antoine, there are too many ghost slaves, we can't take it anymore. At this moment, the situation was extremely critical. Without Shen Lingxie's help, the speed of killing the ghost slaves had slowed down a lot, but the distance between Fu Wang Hu and them was too far, and it was impossible to rush over to save people. And at this moment, due to the distance, Fatty's ability could not be used effectively. Fu Wang Hu calmly observed everything, and he knew that the team was about to reach its limit. Shen Lingxue had been slapped into the mud. Zhao Hao and Fatty had lost too much blood, and after killing dozens of ghosts, 
his own spirituality had been reduced by half. At this moment, he looked at the scalpel, wondering whether to die and be reborn to start over again, or to use the scalpel's trump card to take a risk. Right now, behind Fuang Hu, a confident voice suddenly came, optimistic and full of magnetism, Antoine, excuse me, can you get out of the way? Hearing this, Fuang Hu turned his head back in doubt, and he did not expect that there would be another stranger behind him, and he had also appeared in a silent and soundless manner. He only saw a man who was 1.85 meters tall, with sharp three-dimensional facial features, fair skin, shiny combed hair, and a model-like figure. He was smiling at the demons around him, but this person seemed a little strange, and he also called him Antoine. Suddenly, Fuang Hu thought of Zhao Hao's ability, which would make him tall and handsome after 11 p.m., with muscles all over his body and enhanced physical fitness, mainly enhancing his sexual ability. This person was Zhao Hao. This ability should be called the shape-shifting male duck. At this moment, the optimistic young man, happily smiled a charming smile, and looked at Fuang Hu, who was in doubt, and said gently, that's right, Antoine, it's me, Zhao Hao. At the same time, Fatty looked at Zhao Hao with a look of kidney failure. My friend, who are you? At this moment, Zhao Hao did not answer, but walked forward, and then put his hands in his pockets. With an arrogant expression, he stood alone in front of everyone. I know that everyone is very surprised now, but please don't be surprised, because there are even more surprises still to come. At this moment, the ghost slaves saw him step out of the protection range of the candlelight, like sharks that smell the smell of blood, they rushed towards him frantically. At this moment, Zhao Hao finally took his hands out of his pockets, then crossed his arms and cracked his knuckles, which made a crackling sound. Faced with the ghost slaves who were rushing towards him, he was no longer as panicked as before, but instead showed an arrogant smile. The hour of the rat has come. Before he could finish speaking, with a swoosh, Zhao Hao's figure, like a ghost or a demon, suddenly disappeared from the spot. The next second, like a tiger descending a mountain, he charged straight into the middle of the ghost slaves. He was seen suddenly spreading his arms out, and the left and right sides of the ghost slaves were immediately clamped by his iron-like arms, like the autumn wind sweeping away fallen leaves. With just one strong push, he knocked dozens of ghost slaves to the ground. Next, Zhao Hao threw a hook, and the head of a ghost slave exploded exploded instantly. At this moment, Zhao Hao's fighting power simply exploded, and a reverse hook was thrown out, and the ghost slave on the tree immediately flew into the air, blossoming like fireworks and turning into countless black hairs that filled the sky. At that moment, Zhao Hao easily lifted the ghost slave up, and then used his hands to squeeze it tightly and tear the ghost slave in half. As Zhao Hao continued to exert his strength, the ghost slave suddenly shattered into pieces, like a broken string. At this moment, Fatty looked at Zhao Hao who was displaying his extraordinary power, and his eyes were about to pop out. The whisper of the corpse god, Zhao Hao's ability is too strong. At the same time, Fuang Wen gently asked, did you just see Zhao Hao transform? Fatty nodded and swallowed his saliva. Yes, just now, he was still weak, and was afraid to lean on me. But who would have thought, that at 11 o'clock, a golden light suddenly flashed on his body, and then he seemed to have become a different person, and became extremely confident. Suddenly, Fuang Win was a little puzzled, and interrupted him. Becoming taller and more handsome can be explained by his ability. But what about that shiny bald head? Could it be that his ability can also create glue out of thin air? Could it be that his ability can also create glue out of thin air? Fatty explained with an embarrassed look. Actually, it's not glue. I saw him spit two mouthfuls of saliva into his hand, and then apply it directly to his head. As soon as these words were spoken, Zhao Hao, who was fighting in the distance, seemed to have heard the words that were unfavorable to his image, and he turned his head around in embarrassment. His originally handsome and dashing appearance almost fell to the ground. However, he quickly pretended that nothing had happened, and continued to fight the ghost slaves. It's just that in the next battle, the force of his attack was clearly a little heavier, and the aesthetics were a little more embellished. He continuously passed through the obstacles, straight to the woman who controlled the ghost slaves. When she saw her ghost slaves being killed, the woman was immediately furious, and her face was full of indignation. She suddenly raised her left hand, and her hair immediately flew in the wind, and the torn hairs around Zhao Hao also slowly rose. Very quickly, the billions of hairs under the moonlight turned into a black spider web, as if covering the sky and the earth, and fiercely rushed towards Zhao Hao fiercely rushing towards Zhao Hao. But at this moment, Zhao Hao was not panicking at all, and was still confident and unyielding. 
Do you think that this little trick can control me? It seems that you still have not realized the gap between us. After saying this, he suddenly exerted his strength, and tore it with a force. Under his horrifying strength, the black spider web was immediately torn apart. However, something unexpected suddenly happened, and the torn hairs grew back at a speed that was visible to the naked eye, and quickly wrapped themselves around Zhao Hao's hand. Seeing this, Zhao Hao's expression immediately changed, and he tore at the hair again. But this time, no matter how he tore it, the hair that was bound still grew back, as if it were endless. Seeing this, Zhao Hao was really anxious, and had just put on an act when he was slapped in the face. This was too embarrassing. So he frantically tore at the hair, but did not notice that the hair fragments around him were starting to increase. In the next second, these hairs were like black snakes, and frantically rushed towards Zhao Hao, with the target being his neck. At this moment, he was completely unable to dodge. And then he cried out in horror, Antoine, cried out in horror, Antoine, help me. The words had not yet finished when there was a whoosh, and a silver light descended from the sky, as fast as lightning, splitting the binding hairs in two. That's right, Fuang Win had taken action. What was even more miraculous was that the hairs that Fuang Win had cut were truly unable to recover, and it turned out that he had used the power of pain. At the same time, Zhao Hao, who had been rescued, quickly regained his composure, spat a few mouthfuls of saliva and tried to fix his hairstyle, and even pretended that nothing had happened, and once again smiled coldly and arrogantly. I did not expect that you would be able to push me to this point, and you are enough to be proud of yourself. But this is where it ends. Immediately afterwards, he bent his knee slightly, and suddenly exerted his strength. The ground beneath his feet was trampled into two deep footprints, and his entire body shot out like a bullet from a barrel, and quickly rushed towards the woman. As for the woman, she seemed to be angered by his disdainful attitude, and immediately humped and suddenly flicked her hair. Her long, silver hair swept out in an instant, and the long, silver hair was like a long whip, and it whipped hard at Zhao Hao. It hit him squarely in the chest, and with a thud, Zhao Hao, along with a miserable cry, was instantly whipped away, and his entire body quickly fell into the forest, piercing through countless large trees, creating a long mark and kicking up a large cloud of dust before finally stopping. It was seen that he had only flown for 25 minutes, and then he fell on his back in the pile of trees. It was clear that this was the woman's true strength, and it was completely different from the level of the ghost slaves that Zhao Hao had massacred. At this moment, the woman stared at Zhao Hao, who was lying on the ground, and said fiercely, I hate pretenders the most. Just then, a silver light carrying a bone-chilling coldness, followed the moonlight and descended from the sky. The woman instinctively looked up, and it turned out that it was Fuang Win who had descended from the sky, and was fiercely rushing towards her. At this moment, the high-hanging moon became a backdrop for him, and the clear moonlight and the silver light of the blade were reflected in the eyes of the silver-haired woman at the same time. Seeing this, he chanted a spell, and the silver hair on his head moved, like a powerful and strong tentacle, and at an extremely fast speed, it rushed towards Fuang Win. As expected, Fuang Win's right hand held the scalpel. Immediately, the silver hair swept out and wrapped itself around Fuang Win's right hand, as if it were clamped tightly by an iron clamp, and it could not move at all. Before Fuang Win could react, another strand of silver hair flew out, and headed straight for Fuang Win's left hand, and also wrapped tightly around his left hand. Perhaps she had watched 79 episodes of the movie and was afraid that Fuang Win would use his left hand to hold the scalpel, and by this time, both of his hands were tied up, and he was suspended in the air. However, at this moment, Fuang Win was still as calm as ever, and did not show any sign of panic, only feeling that this silver hair was much harder than when it was black hair. At this moment, the woman immediately smiled triumphantly, and looked at Fuang Win complacently haha, are you afraid now however, not only was Fuang Win not afraid, but on the contrary, he was like a victor, and even said in a cold voice look into my eyes. Immediately afterwards, the four eyes met, and in the blood red eyes, a strange soul fluctuation suddenly erupted, and the fluctuation shot into the woman's eyes in an instant. Her brain was as if it had been hit hard, and a buzzing sound rang out, followed by a thud, and she knelt down, her eyes widening and then she fainted. After the woman fainted, the silver hair immediately released Fuang Win. Fuang Win fell from the air in the same way. At the same time, the scalpel in his hand once again stabbed the woman. But just then, there was suddenly a sound of wind tearing from afar, and two shiny hidden weapons quickly shot towards Fuang Win. Faced with this unexpected hidden weapon, 
Fuang Win was not afraid, and even smiled coldly finally, you're willing to show up, it was seen that his scalpel immediately changed direction, and flashed through the air like lightning, and the two crisp sounds of metal colliding rang out, and the hidden weapons that had been shot were also broken in two, and conveniently fell beside him, at this moment, two men and two women slowly walked out of the forest, led by a woman in a long dress, and accompanied by the traveling couple, and all of them were holding guns and pointing them at Fuang Win, and there was also a strong man man who was over two meters tall, and his whole body was hidden under a hood. After the woman in the long dress appeared, she did not say any more nonsense. She immediately pointed the gun at Fuang Win and ordered him to be killed. After giving the order, the two tourists immediately fired at Fuang Win. Seeing this, Fuang Win was quick to dodge and hide behind a large rock. For him, who had opened up the five senses, this speed was indeed as easy as turning his hand. But at this moment, they did not stop shooting until they ran out of bullets. At this moment, Fuang Win slowly put his head out, and looked at the woman in the long dress, and and finally knew her true purpose. It was seen that the silver-haired woman who had just fainted on the ground, had been carried on the shoulder of the strong man in the hood at some point, and was walking towards the woman in the long dress. Immediately afterwards, the woman in the long dress looked at the silver-haired woman who had been brought over, and her charming eyes showed unspeakable joy. Quick, give her to me. Then the woman in the long dress put her hand on her forehead, and a strange soul fluctuation emitted, as if a parasite had entered her brain. Immediately afterwards, a horrifying scene occurred. It was seen that the silver-haired woman who had been in a coma suddenly opened her eyes. But at this moment, her eyes were lifeless, and her whole body was stiff like a puppet. Immediately afterwards, she stood up, and with a plop, she knelt down in front of the woman in the long dress, wong her knee, and bowed to her master. Not only that, she also took the initiative to pucker her lips, and approached the high heels of the woman in the long dress, and gently kissed the exposed instep of the other person, showing her submission. Seeing this, the woman in the long dress suddenly burst into joyful laughter, and at the same time, her charming face turned pink. The second level soul master and the secret manual, are all mine. This feeling is even more wonderful than reaching the peak. When I return, I will be the master of the association. This time it's his turn to be a dog. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, Fuang Win's calm voice rang out, and interrupted her mad laughter Have you laughed enough? Hearing this, Wang Erni gradually stopped laughing, and turned to look at Fuang Win in a charming way, and her eyes seemed to be able to spin threads, and at the same time, she was a little surprised and said, Fuang Win, right? You know me? Do you also love me? To tell you the truth, thank you for giving me the opportunity to control Wang Erni and Fat Kai, so to show my gratitude, I will grant you the highest honor. Come and kiss my feet. Obediently become my puppet. You will live. Faced with Wang Erni's humiliation, Fuang Win remained as calm as ever. I waited so long for her to come out, and you have so much to say. Aren't you a coward? Humph. Wang Erni frowned slightly, and at the same time, she looked at Fuang Win's calm face, and a nameless fire suddenly rose in her heart. Humph, handsome guy. I thought you were a man who knew the times, but I didn't expect you to be so ignorant of the situation. Kill. At her command, the two-meter tall man next to her suddenly let out a roar. Immediately afterwards, the clothes on his body were torn apart, revealing the blue-gray muscles inside, and those muscles also emitted a metallic shine. In a flash, he was like a giant tank, and rushed towards Fuang Wen. At the same time, Wang Erni also took action. The silver hair on her head grew longer at a speed visible to the naked eye, and shot straight towards Fuang Wen. Faced with such a scene, even a level 2 soul master would have to despair and wait for death. But Fuang Wen smiled. A terrifying cold laugh echoed throughout the place. Like the sound of a ghost from the ninth level of hell demanding a life. Is this all you got? How can I lose? Immediately afterwards, he controlled his soul power, and directly detonated the strange power in the scalpel. It was the power left over from killing countless monsters. In a flash, countless streams of terrifying and chaotic strange energy rose from the scalpel, and turned into screaming black smoke that rushed out. Furthermore, each stream of black smoke seemed to have a terrifying monster screaming inside, and the black smoke, like giant black pythons, continuously coiled and rolled around Fuang Wen. Immediately afterwards, these black smoke followed his nose, mouth, eyes and ears and rushed in frantically. As the strange power continued to pour in, his mind began to become distorted, his aura also became stronger and stronger, and the laughter he emitted also gradually became distorted, and when the strange power contained in the scalpel completely completely flooded Fuang Wen's body. His suppressed mind was also finally completely liberated at this moment. As you can see, 
madness is his nature. A terrifying and ferocious laugh continuously emanated from his throat. At this moment, he seemed to have completely transformed into a different person. His strange right eye emitted a bright red light, and the calmness he had before had turned into the madness of today. Seeing this scene, Wang Erni was extremely shocked. He actually allowed such a strange and chaotic power to invade his body. This is the rhythm of mutual destruction. A madman, this is a madman. Hurry, everyone charge for me. Kill him. However, it was too late. Along with the terrifying laughter, Fuang Wind took action. He held the scalpel in his right hand, and his demonic figure rushed towards Fat Kai. As soon as he heard a crackling sound, the dark ground seemed to be flashed by a bright red lightning was as if a fiery red lightning flashed, and this lightning bolt pierced through the entire battlefield. When Fuang Win once again came into view, he had already reached the other end of the battlefield, and hundreds of fat kai had been pierced, each of them as if they had been paused, frozen in place. When a gentle wind blew by, the heads of the fat kai fell to the ground with a clatter. While dodging, Fuang Win also kicked two small stones. In the next instant, the two stones were like bullets, and embedded themselves in the foreheads of two people. Immediately afterwards, the two people stiffened and fell backwards. Seeing this, the strong Kuang No roared, and charged towards Fuang Win. Seeing the punch that was about to land, Fuang Win did not even bother to look at him. Fuang Win only slashed diagonally, and with a swish, a quick silver light flashed. Immediately, a bloody line appeared on Kuang No's body, and then he let out a scream, his whole body convulsing as if he was in great pain, and then he stiffened and fell. Seeing this, Wang Erni's eyes almost popped out of her head in surprise. Because Kuang No was a soul master who had opened 15 soul powers, and his ability is like an unbreakable steel skin. But first, in order to turn him into a wooden puppet, Wang Erni had to put in a lot of effort, and had even been beaten up a few times. But Fuang Win only needed to wave his hand casually, and Kuang No was instantly killed. Very quickly, Wang Erni joined the battlefield. He unleashed his full aura, and his silver hair danced non-stop, and in a short while, it had grown to tens of meters long. While Fuang Win continuously waved his scalpel in the silver hair, and at the same time, he continuously closed in on Wang Erni. But at this moment, billions of silver hairs wrapped around each other, and in a blink of an eye, they condensed into a sharp, cone-shaped thorn, and stabbed hard into Fuang Win's body. Faced with such a terrifying attack, he did not dodge or evade, but only saw his right eye emit a bright red light, and the corners of his mouth curled into a cold smile. Then he raised the scalpel in his hand, and casually waved it. A loud metallic clatter sounded, and only the short and thin scalpel was seen easily blocking the giant thorn. Seeing this, Wang Erni's face in the distance instantly stiffened. This, Wang Erni's face in the distance instantly stiffened. Impossible, he is only a first level soul master, and he can explode such a terrifying and strange power. He should have been destroyed instantly. Why hasn't he been destroyed yet? At this moment, Fuang Win took action again. With a ferocious expression, he waved the scalpel with all his might, and with a swish, he directly cut off the top of the silver thorn. In a flash, the silver hairs fell to the ground. Seeing his beloved hair being destroyed by him, Wang Erni seemed to be angered, and continuously waved the silver thorn, attacking Fuang Wen from all directions. But in return, only his hair became shorter and shorter. At this moment, Fuang Win's face was full of joy, and his right eye emitted a bright red light. It was not strange to be strange, and his suppressed and changed voice sounded too weak. You are all too weak, why can't you let me kill you to my heart's content? At this moment, he was completely immersed in the scene of killing, and he was enjoying the strange joy of killing. But as he killed the silver-haired woman, he did not hear the painful screams that he had expected, so he stared ferociously at the woman in the long dress, ready for her to replace the silver-haired woman in enduring the pain. Immediately afterwards, he lifted the slit of the long dress, and saw a row of silver daggers tied to the corner of her fair thighs. These daggers were all made of soul steel, although they were not 100% pure. Each dagger contained at least 50 soul steels. In the next instant, there was a sound of wind tearing, and dozens of daggers drew beautiful curves. Under the control of the puppet technique, they bent over from different directions, and rushed towards Fuang Win. Seeing this, Fuang Win took action. His figure moved like a phantom in the narrow space, and the black aura around his body also rolled with it, causing him to almost turn into a black shadow, and his figure could not be seen with the naked eye. In a short while, all the dagger attacks missed, and all of them stabbed the spot where Fuang Win had just set foot. At this moment, Fuang Win turned his head slightly and looked at Wang Erni. In his voice was a hint of disappointment. Is this all the strength of a second level soul master? It seems that the 200 soul power I spent 
spent on buying breasts was wasted. After saying that, he flashed like a phantom from the gap, and quickly approached Wang Erni. His figure flashed continuously in the air, and finally, with a strangle, he arrived in front of Wang Erni. But at this moment, he probably found it too boring, and did not kill Wang Erni directly, but suddenly jumped up and waved the scalpel upward. The scalpel immediately burst out with a dazzling fluorescent light, and in a flash, it overwhelmed the moonlight. Seeing this, Wang Erni was extremely terrified, and raised his hands in despair and shouted, don't, but Fuang Win did not pay attention, and quickly walked behind Wang Erni, and then gently made a cut on his neck, a wound immediately appeared on Wang Erni's neck, and then Fuang Win stared at him coldly, eager to hear his painful screams, immediately afterwards, Wang Erni's head separated from his body, and his body fell to the ground, but he did not make a sound from beginning to end. Seeing this, Fuang Win was very disappointed. Why didn't he scream? Why was there no painful cry? At this moment, he seemed to think of something, and suddenly turned his head and stared at Wang Erni with blood-red pupils. Wang Erni was immediately frightened and trembling. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Win's suppressed and changed voice sounded, I understand. Because you have turned him into a wooden block, then you have to bear the pain for him. At this moment, under the cold moonlight, Fuang Win's whole body was wrapped in black aura, and he walked towards Wang Erni step by step. This time, his steps were very slow, but each step seemed to step on his heart. Looking at Fuang Win approaching step by step, Wang Erni finally understood that he had been waiting for the person behind him to appear, and then he would catch them all in one net. But what made him doubt was, why did Fuang Win absorb such a great and strange power and still be able to maintain his sanity, and not be deformed? At the same time, at the same time, Fuang Win was already standing in front of Wang Erni, and smiled at him intently. Aren't you running? At this moment, his tall figure blocked the moonlight, and covered him. Thin black auras emanated from him, coiling and rising, and vaguely one could hear the countless screams and struggles of strange creatures. Seeing this, Wang Erni was terrified, and looked at Fuang Win in front of him, showing a look of fear. At your speed, I can't escape. Immediately afterwards, Wang Erni's white legs knelt on the ground, and he prepared to use the same method as before to beg Fuang Win for mercy. Although the man in front of him was not like all the men he had had relationships with before, he was not sure if he would spare him, but for now, he could only risk it, and he was sure that no man could resist the submission and weakness of a beauty. Only to see his charming face full of pitiful fear, his eye sockets were red, and pearl-like tears fell from his eyes. Please, please don't kill me. Don't worry, I won't kill you. I just want to put my pain into your body. Hearing this, Wang Erni was immediately stunned. Put my pain into my body? Is this a new term on the internet? If so, it seems that there is hope. After thinking about it, he hurriedly opened his heart, and showed a pleading and flattering expression on his face. As long as you don't kill me, you can do whatever you want with me. At this moment, he raised his neck, and his charming face showed a pitiful look. There was a hint of seduction in it, coupled with the fact that he was kneeling on the ground. A patch of white with a deep groove that could not be seen at the bottom, looked very eye-catching. However, Fuang Win was not moved at all. On the contrary, when he heard Wang Erni say this, the excitement in his eyes became more intense, and the smile on the corner of his mouth became more ferocious. This is what you said. After speaking, Fuang Win raised the scalpel. The shadow formed by the arm and the scalpel was printed on Wang Erni's face. Seeing this, Wang Erni's expression changed greatly, and he realized that he had misunderstood. Putting pain into the body did not mean that at all. At this moment, the scalpel had touched Wang Erni's chin, chin. Wang Erni was covered in cold sweat, and hurriedly begged in a gentle voice, No, don't, please don't. I know I'm wrong. I shouldn't have done that to you. I'm willing to be your sex slave, as long as you spare me. I guarantee that I'll make you feel unprecedented pleasure. I'll do anything, and I'll definitely satisfy you. At the same time, Wang Erni suddenly stuck out his tongue, and licked Fu Wang Win's finger. If you don't believe me, you can try it first, and you can kill me anytime you're not satisfied. He looked at Fuang Win with his romantic eyes like autumn water, and his eyes were full of gentleness and charm. Before, many men had said that, the most charming thing about him was his eyes. None of them could resist it, so he was sure that Fuang Win was no exception. Sure enough, under this gaze, Fuang Win's originally ferocious face gradually returned to normal, and the black aura on his body gradually disappeared. It turned out that Wang Erni's eyes reminded him of his little wife at home. At this moment, 
Fuang Wen stared intently into his eyes, and a strange fascination appeared in his eyes, and he even reached out to gently stroke his delicate face, and at the same time he opened his mouth and said softly, these eyes are like, they really are so much alike. Fuang Wen suddenly said something incomprehensible. Wang Er Ni was very sensitive, and he reacted immediately. Is it like your childhood sweetheart or your wife? Even the most extraordinary men are no exception. Thinking of this, Wang Er Ni was even more delighted, and he felt that he had successfully passed the gate of death, and then he carefully pretended to be naive and asked, do my eyes look like someone? Hearing this, Fuang Wen stared into his eyes and said, your eyes are exactly like my wife's. Seeing this, Wang Er Ni seized the opportunity, and his charm increased a little. Then I can be her substitute, and you can do all the welfare things you do to her to me, and I can even make you more satisfied than her. However, before he could be happy, Fuang Wen's expression suddenly changed, and at this moment, he lowered his head and bowed down in front of Wang Erni, with a terrifying and ferocious face full of endless hatred, endless hatred, and in the blink of an eye, he rushed into Wang Erni's line of sight. The suppressed madness in his voice rang out in his ears once again, so you have to die. After speaking, Fuang Wen raised the scalpel, and stabbed it at his neck. Only a poof was heard, and a little tomato sauce sprayed out. Immediately afterwards, Wang Erni's pupils began to contract uncontrollably, and the thoughts in his brain immediately became blurred. But no matter what, he couldn't understand why he had to die because his eyes were like his wife's. After all, a night of husband and wife is a hundred days of grace, so why not let each other go when there are so many grievances? Sure enough, men are not good things. Normally, the scalpel is very short, and the speed is very fast. Time passes in the blink of an eye, but Wang Er Ni felt that it was very long, making him seem to recall the past, the things that made him regret and suffer. Seeing this, the corners of Fuang Wen's mouth turned up. It seems that you remembered something painful, but your pain has nothing to do with me. Those who kill must be killed, and feel the pain of me really well. Along with the terrible roar, Wang Er Ni fell into boundless pain. Finally, Wang Er Ni died in pain. Perhaps Fuang Wen did not know about Wang Er Ni's tragic past, but even if he did, he would have killed him. When Wang Er Ni was completely motionless, Fuang Wen immediately grabbed the scalpel on his body and began to wipe it, wanting to wipe the blood stains off the knife. Immediately afterwards, he looked at the scalpel with a look of disgust, it's so dirty, it's still cleaner to kill people. Just then, Fuang Wen suddenly heard some strange noises behind him, and he immediately turned his head to look. He only saw Wang Erni's long silver hair suddenly fall off on its own, and then it crawled on the ground like a spider. Just when Fuang Wen thought that he was about to escape, unexpectedly, the silver hair ran straight to Tham Lin Tuyut in the mud puddle. Very quickly, the silver hair reached Tham Lin Tuyut's head, and he saw the silver hair stick to his golden hair, as if it was dyed. It gradually faded away. The golden color gradually turned to silver. Seeing this, Fuang Wen was startled, but his expression remained as calm as water. He only saw that when the silver hair stuck to it, Tham Lin Tuyut, who was originally in a coma, suddenly opened his eyes. First, a hint of fascination flashed in his eyes, and then it became filled with murderous intent, hatred and anger. At the same time, his body began to twist and stand up. When he stood up, a strange aura gradually spread. It was clear that the ghost hair's desire to parasitize the host was gradually awakening. At the same time, Fuang Wen appeared like a demon behind him. At this moment, a loud sound was heard, slap. Fuang Wen violently struck a big wall, and hit it without mercy. This blow seemed to carry a bit of personal grudge. Tham Lin Tuyut was also knocked out, and the pain exceeded the limit that the human body could bear. Tham Lin Tuyut immediately opened his eyes, and fainted again. The silver hair that had been fluttering also fell down. At this time, Fuang Wen walked to his side, and the long silver hair was immediately grabbed by Fuang Wen, grabbed by Fuang Wen in his hand. At the same time, the scalpel began to slide over the silver hair. Just a moment later, Tham Lin Tuyut, who had long hair, directly became a flat top. Fortunately, the silver hair had not yet spread to the roots of his hair. If the roots of his hair were also infected and turned silver, then he would have become bald. At the same time, the strands of hair suddenly seemed like living octopuses, and began to twist frantically, constantly wrapping around Fuang Wen's arm, seeming to want to follow his arm up to his head. Seeing this, Fuang Wen's charming smile appeared on his lips. Looking at the twisting strands of hair, he said indifferently, 
do you want to parasitize me? As you wish. Immediately afterwards, he directly did not resist Fuang Wen and stood still, letting the silver hair continue to crawl up. After a while, his scalp began to itch, and he took out his phone to look in the mirror, and found that his black hair had long since disappeared. In its place was a waterfall of silver hair. Immediately afterwards, Fuang Wen felt a strange and evil aura begin to invade his mind, as if it wanted to distort his mind. But when this strange aura invaded his mind, Fuang Wen's inner heart did not ripple, even wanting to laugh a little. Is that all you have to invade my mind? How ridiculous. He only saw Fuang Wen control his ink black rhombus, fighting back against the long silver hair. When the power of pain carrying with it an endless hatred rushed into the long silver hair, it seemed to receive a kind of terror, and in the blink of an eye, it stood up straight. Then the silver hair began to contract constantly, and even shortened rapidly, unable to hold on. Finally, the silver hair transformed into the shape of Fuang Wen, and the original silver color also returned to black. Seeing that he had finally dealt with all of his enemies, he folded his arms and contemptuously humped, and put away the scalpel in his hand, a terrifying black aura on his body, and the countless strange shadows screaming, also gradually disappeared at this moment, and his face was no longer ferocious and terrifying, but returned to its usual calmness. In the next second, with a pop, the sound of blood vessels bursting rang out, and at the same time, the sound of bones breaking was also heard. He only saw Fuang Wen's entire body. This time, it was like a broken bottle, suddenly spouting out bright red blood. In just a moment, he had become a person covered in blood. However, such a level of pain could not make Fuang Wen change at all, and his expression was as calm as water, as if nothing had happened. It was just that his body could no longer support him, and he fell straight towards the ground. But just when his face was 10 centimeters from the ground, Fuang Wen's body suddenly stopped strangely, as if some force was pulling him back. Only the corners of his mouth turned up, revealing a wicked smile, as if he had foreseen this. Immediately afterwards, he gave an order. A miraculous scene suddenly appeared, and his body stood up straight again, while the silver hair in front of him was cleaning up the battlefield, as flexible as each tentacle. After Fuang Wen stood up, he controlled his hair again. In the blink of an eye, the long silver hair was like countless threads and needles, piercing hard into his body, and then beginning to stitch up the broken wounds and blood vessels. In just a moment, the wounds on Fuang Wen's body that were bleeding profusely, were immediately stopped, but the wounds on his body had not yet healed completely. At this time, he looked at the chaotic battlefield around him, and knew that his decision was correct, which was to hide his trump card until the last minute, and to use the strange power in the scalpel. This power was too powerful. Once used, it would cause great harm to the mind and body. Though he said that his mind was not afraid of being invaded, his human body could not bear it. If he used it too early, after a short burst, his body would completely lose its ability to fight. Even if he destroyed one side, there was still another side. Then, when his body fell into a state of collapse, that would be the situation of being slaughtered. After thinking, he controlled the silver hair and began to clean up the battlefield. Some went to the corpses of Wang Yiren and the others, and began to search them. Some went to clean up the battlefield, and picked up the scattered pieces of flying knives. After cleaning up the battlefield, and put it in a backpack that he had picked up from nowhere, and then put it on Fuang Wen's back. Next, another strand of hair took out a phone, and called Su Ka Han. Then Fuang Wen said calmly, the mission has been completed, send someone to Blackwater Village to pick us up, call the medical staff as well. After saying that, he hung up the phone. Next, he controlled his body and began to search for True Hao. However, he was not worried about True Hao's injuries, because with his physical strength when he transformed into the king, I doubt that even Tham Lang Tuyet could defeat him. He had a perfect chance to challenge higher levels, so that one blow probably would not have seriously injured him. Very quickly, he followed the trail of broken trees in the forest, and easily found True Hao, only to see Fuang Win control the silver hair, and pull the tree trunk that were pressing on his legs away. At this time, True Hao had returned to his old useless appearance. He looked at Fuang Win with tearful eyes, and said, Handsome, you're amazing. I knew you would definitely come to save me. Handsome, I'm really too weak. Before he could finish speaking, Fuang Win immediately interrupted him. Don't say anymore, and listen to these words that are disadvantageous to unity. To tell the truth, looking at True Hao crying and wiping his nose, he only felt that the contrast was too great. During the day, he cried out for Handsome to save his life, and at night, the hour of the rat had arrived. Fuang Win really didn't dare to associate these two people with each other. Then he went to Tham Lang Tuyet and Lu Suai, and gave each of them a big slap on the head, along with the infusion of painful power. He awakened both of them. 
Tham Lang Tuyit had only fainted from the painful power, while Lu Suai had only lost too much blood, and could be considered as having lost some weight. There was no big problem. But right now, Tham Lang Tuyit was in unbearable pain, and suddenly waved her hand. A blazing fire burst out towards Fuang Wen. Can you be more gentle? The blazing fire burst out, and in a flash, Tru Hao and Lu Suai were both stunned, and both of them stared at Tham Lang Tuyit. Her hair. Hearing this, Tham Lang Tuyit glared at the two of them unhappily. What about my hair? Isn't it just a little messy? But when she touched her hair, she found that her long, waterfall-like hair was gone. At this moment, Tham Lang Tuyit was completely panicked, and she quickly turned back to touch her hair. Her hair, which had been so soft, had become as hard as a man's hair, as if she were touching a crew cut. Immediately, a piercing scream rang out. Ah, my hair. Fuang Win replied calmly, it was eaten by the hair demon. In vernacular, Tham Lang Tuyit covered her face and cried out loud. The heroic Lu Suai stepped forward and cleared his throat. Lang Tuyit, you're beautiful even without hair. And there are many people with hair who aren't as beautiful as you are without hair. Besides, it's good not to have hair. And you don't have to wash it every day. Hearing this, Tham Lang Tuyit said angrily, shut up. At the same time, a fireball quickly flew out. Seeing this, Fatty was startled and quickly used teleportation to dodge and said angrily, I was kind enough to comfort you and you still hit me. Suddenly, Fuang Win looked at Lu Suai and said, Fatty, how far did you teleport just now? Hearing this, Fatty was a little surprised and suddenly stopped in his tracks and then looked at the distance. His whole body was immediately filled with joy. I teleported one meter just now. My agility has increased by five. It's really strange. It turns out that just a little increase can create an account. Lang Tuyit, what about you guys? In vernacular, Fuang Win said calmly, five. It's just that when Fuang Win said five, he meant it had increased by five, and not that his agility was five. Just now, Fuang Win had gained a lot in the battle in Blackwater Village, and not only had he subdued the hair demon as a foundation, but he had also directly increased his agility by five. Therefore, he had finally entered the ranks of high-level spiritualists. This was equivalent to breaking through a small realm. Fuang Win could clearly feel that the potential of his body had been opened up more, and his five senses had also become more acute. At this moment, Fuang Win finally understood why Tham Lang Tuyit always called herself a high-level spiritualist. It turned out that the gap between new spiritualists and high-level spiritualists was so great. This gap was not only reflected in physical strength and the five senses, but more importantly, they had more spiritual reserves to support their long-term use. New people encountered spirits because they had two little spirituality, spirits because they had too little spirituality, and usually after using their abilities a few times, their spirituality will be exhausted. Fuang Wen had experienced this feeling many times. Fatty's and Nyat Thien's contributions had increased his spirituality by three and four points, respectively. But when Fuang Wen used the strange power in the scalpel, and was possessed by the hair demon, the two assistants only increased it by five. This means that with the same amount of demonic energy eroding his mind, he had achieved the lowest percentage. Perhaps this was because he had experienced countless deaths, and his mind had transcended the realm of ordinary people, and all of this was thanks to his gentle and lovely wife. At this moment, Fuang Wen silently communicated with his hair. Before, when he controlled the hair demon, he had vaguely discovered some vague fragments of memory in the hair demon's body, and he had finished watching these memories. Fuang Wen had laughed. After watching Wang Er Ni's life, he became even more interested in the strange group of spiritualists, using strange power to deal with strangeness. Then when the power increases, after the spirituality reaches 100, what will happen? Will it directly transform into strangeness what would happen? Would he directly become strange? In other words, is the end point of a spiritualist strangeness? If this is the truth about spiritualists, then for humanity, it's really desperate. None of this has anything to do with Fuang Wen. He doesn't care what demons are, and he doesn't care who is strange. He only knows that between him and strangeness, only one can live. And unfortunately, he won't die. Time passed quickly, and Fuang Wen finally returned home. The moment he stepped through the door, his gentle wife, as always, like a virtuous wife, smiled and greeted her husband, you're back, and this time's mission helped him increase his spirituality. Fuang Wen saw his wife, and a thought immediately sprang to his mind. And at that moment he revealed an excited evil grin. Having transmigrated to this world, the first thing he saw was her. There are some things that he must try at least once. She's right, isn't she? 
my wife. Hearing this, the beautiful and graceful wife showed a look of joy. The gentle smile became ferocious. And at the same time, she looked at Fuang Win weakly, and said, you see me. Immediately afterwards, his wife's fair skin cracked in patches, and her jet black hair seemed to writhe, and she opened her mouth as if she wanted to swallow him. Fuang Win was not to be outdone, and his black hair instantly turned silver. The scalpel in his right hand continuously released chaotic strange power, and streams of black energy poured into his nose and mouth. Next, Fuang Win quickly charged at his wife with the scalpel. Revenge was right before his eyes. Fuang Win's eyes, which had been as calm as dead water, suddenly boiled, and turned into a flame of hatred. At this moment, his right eye was filled with bloodshot, and formed a piece and turned into a blood-red pupil. His whole body emitted a strange aura, and enveloped him. Immediately afterwards, the scalpel had pierced his wife's body. The power of pain, like a shadow, poured into his wife's body. But at this moment, his wife seemed to have lost all her fighting spirit, and did not resist at all. Seeing this, the joy on Fuang Win's face was almost evident. Die. But immediately afterwards, immediately afterwards, and the look of joy on her face suddenly disappeared. She felt something was wrong. It didn't feel right to stab the scalpel. She lowered her head and looked at the place where she had been stabbed, and found that it was like stabbing into a lump of mud. And there was also a strong suction force. Immediately afterwards, she wanted to pull it out, but it was too late. Only to see that under the effect of inertia, Fuang Win's entire hand was also sucked in. Then his forearm, his upper arm, and even his torso. Seeing that Fuang Win was about to be sucked in, no matter how much he struggled, it was useless, and he could only curse in anger, you bitch. At the same time, his wife lowered her head and opened her mouth towards Fuang Win, and gently licked him. On her beautiful face, there was a look of restrained ecstasy. My husband, let's merge into my body. These were the last words that Fuang Win heard as he lost consciousness. Then even his head went in, and he completely lost consciousness. Not long after, Fuang Win once again found himself just having returned home. This time, he clenched his fists and stared at his wife. It's still a little short. It seems that my current strength is still too weak. After thinking for a moment, he decided to ignore his wife, and went straight to the kitchen. Very quickly, he had finished making breakfast, and his wife was sitting at the side, her fair hand propped up under her chin. She gently watched Fuang Win eat breakfast, and Fuang Win at this moment silently set a goal, my beloved wife, even if the endpoint of a spiritualist is strangeness, even if I can't kill you for now, there will come a day when I will make you kneel at my feet and beg for mercy. I will make you feel all the pain that strangeness has brought me in this world.